How's it going? I thought it'd be a good idea to revisit all of the Frostpunk scenarios before number two comes out, just so we're prepared and we know kind of what we're doing. So we're starting with the last one, which is one of my favorites. And uh, well, I haven't played it for a while, so we're just going to have a little bit of fun with it. We're playing it on normal and we are going to go for the perfect generator. That is one of the things I want to do. Uh, so let's get started. We want to do this pretty quickly because I am going to do this all in one, uh, one video. So we'll get some uh, gathering posts down to start with. And also, we'll delete this path around here, just so we've got extra wood we can actually put to use somewhere. So, to start with, we are going to want to gather all of these resource piles here. So, we'll just get workers on all of them for now. And there's a couple of other things we need to do, which is build the docks and also build and activate a fishing harbour or a forager's camp. So... We are probably going to go fishing harbour for that, just because it's a more consistent source of food. But I am going to put a little uh, research area up here for workshops, uh, just laying out the path already. Uh, so let's get the first workshop built. That's all good. What's going on over here? First steps, yeah, all, all good there. So uh, let's get these off there and into the gathering post and we'll do the same with this one over here so we'll put five back on and that's that and that should be good enough to get those resources gathered fairly quickly so let's get another workshop down and well i i'm gonna research the docks to start with and uh we'll go from there because i think getting the docks is important just so we have like a constant source of resources coming in uh so yeah let's go docks oh i need to put engineers in there to get in all the basics don't i there's not there's not bode wells so let's get the docks going get some more engineers on there and should be good to go we need to think about housing as well actually so we're gonna need 90 wood to get everyone housing which we haven't done so people are gonna get ill overnight but that is absolutely fine we're playing on normal so i don't think it's going to cause much of an issue if they get ill straight away um i would anticipate it but i've only got 20 24 wood and i need 25 so saying that i probably could can i delete that no i can't oh i could delete this one over here it doesn't give me enough wood though but that will okay cool I only put that um, little bit of wood there just so you can like squeeze more buildings in. It's quite a good tip. Uh, so, saying that, I do need wood for paths. So, actually, let's do that first. We'll do the paths first. Because they, there's no point building them and then like not using them. So, uh, we'll let them be. Like I said, we're going to try to do this pretty quickly. So, the options, like the choices of stuff, I'm not really going to take not really take long <laughs> deciding what to do saying that totally forgot to um sign a law so we're going to sign chapel first just because we want to get that motivation up as quick as we can because as soon as it goes over 75 percent, we get a boost to efficiency on everything which is really really good i am a little bit um i guess salty <laughs> that we can't sign extended shift here to begin with because extended shift is literally the best i love it it's so so good basically a free uh 40 boost on efficiency um with li very little consequence to um discontent and all that so someone got a cold yeah i'll provide shelter for everyone that's an easy one to do because we had that we had we were planning to do that anyway we're not we're not mean if <laughs> we're going to give everyone a tent so it's all good so we've now got an ill person. The docks have been researched. And we need to build the chapel. So we've got stuff to do. Let's do... We'll do the docks in a minute. We will just get this medical post down. I'll put that right there. And let's finish off building the housing. So yeah, the it's, it's very important you keep everyone alive. On all scenarios, to be totally honest. On Frostpunk... Uh, because the people are your most valuable resource. You can't do anything without the people. I mean, you can do automatons, but they're not as good as like a full 
efficient workforce. Uh, let's have a look. We'll do evening service as well. Actually, no, we won't. Yeah, we. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we will because we'll just we'll just keep hitting that uh, to get that motivation up as soon as we can, like as much as we can and as soon as we can. So looking good. I do need one more house or one more tent, I think. Yeah, I definitely need one more tent. There we go. And let's get some docks down as well. Uh, under resources, we'll put those there. Just realised we haven't been researching anything that day. It's not not ideal, but we'll go over it. So that's... Uh, we'll do faster gathering next just so we can start picking up people. And I put five engineers in that medical bay just so we've got 100% efficiency on that. And all good shelter has been provided so motivation is going up we do need to build that chapel let's not forget about that uh, so these provide motivation to everyone in the vicinity like living in the vicinity so we want it in a central location so we'll put it there that covers everything at the moment and we'll just build out our little settlement around like around the back here so all looking good let's speed it up a little bit Everyone's coming back from the docks because they've built them. And sweet, we can now start getting in um, materials. So what I'll do, I'll get people off there. The chapel has been built. And we'll start bringing wood. I think wood is the most important one at the beginning. Uh, because you need wood to basically build everything. So we're looking good. And uh, we do want to do a, another gathering post, I think. Next... We'll, next we'll go for the um we'll go for the fishing harbor next i think that'll be the the thing to do just so we can get the basic facilities done and we'll have a nice solid foundation uh, can't say the same about the generator but <laughs> we'll have one for the settlement um yep not now because we can't actually sign a law so there's no point of doing that Cool. So we do need to build the telegraph station as well, which is actually really useful. We can use this to order workers, engineers, and um, steam cores as well. So we, we definitely need that. Uh, Gathering Post has uh, run out of resources, so just, we'll just get rid of that. Absolutely fine. And we do need it. Like I said, we need a Gathering Post over here because we need to start gathering up this resource pile here. I'll put people on it for now. It's not that much of an issue but we do want to increase the efficiency of that oh i totally forgot about our food and people have just started getting hungry so let's get the cookhouse down we do have 150 raw food to begin with which is decent i'm not going to worry about knocking out trees um, there's a lot of trees here so we're not going i don't know if we'll use sawmill or not We'll get to it when we get to it. We are getting wood in from the dock, so that's fine. Uh, so, faster gathering has been researched. We were going to do the fishing harbor next, weren't it? So, we need 50 wood for that. With Oh, 49 wood. There we go. Let's, uh, let's get that going. And we've got... Cookhouse has been built. So, we'll put one person in there. As you can see, it makes eight an hour on one. If you do, like, five then like it does increase this number but you don't need it if you think about it it's doing like i don't know about 10 hours there so 10 hours eight that's 80 food you've got 90 people so it'll feed 80 people a day with just one worker so you can use those workers for something else uh, so I, i'll put them on that steel pile we've got a lot of workers not doing anything now and i think that's because all of these piles started um well, they've been de depleted, haven't they? So that's all good. Let's, um, yeah, let's go and get another gathering post there. We can start building that. And what are we actually waiting for? Oh, we can start building the telegraph station. So 20 wood and 25 steel. Let's get people on there. We should have wood coming in at a pretty decent rate now. I would very much like the um <laughs> I would very much like the extended shift right now but unfortunately we can't 
What else am I going to do? I'm going to do radical treatment because this leads on to overcrowding, which I think is super powerful. If you have um, a person in the medical bay, then they, they literally can't die. So overcrowding basically doubles the amount of people you can fit into one medical bay. So that's all good on my... Uh, that's all good on my watch. <laughs> Just get them in there and get them saved. So all good. It doesn't cause that much discontent, I don't think, as well. So what is this? Skeptic. We'll do only fools doubt it. I don't think that has any re uh, repercussions later on. I guess we'll find out. So drawing boards have been done. Let's get fishing harbour. And, oh, this one's depleted now as well. So that's all good. Let's get the telegraph station built. I'll put that. Hmm, where do I want to put this? I'll put it fairly close. Not that it needs to be close. I don't think... Uh, does it need to be heated and stuff? Yeah, I think it does. So, yeah, having it close is, is decent. Things like hunters' huts and that, you can put out the way, so... Um, let's order some stuff in. I know we're going to need a steam core. Let's get some engineers as well. And I think we'll leave it at that for now. The line is open. So, yeah, the next thing to do is literally just do the fishing hut. What I'm going to do is get another... Just another one of those, and because we have got more people coming, I'm going to get another tent built. Uh, I'll get another two built, just in case. Well, we are going to be ordering more people, so. It sounds weird, ordering more people. Like, what are we doing on Amazon? Amazon Prime or something? Weird. So, we are going to, we are going to go foragers' quarters, because now we can send... Well, that will allow us to send people out onto... Uh, it's not the frost land yet, but it's, I guess, the wilderness. Uh, and the wilderness is, like, super powerful. If you can explore the whole of that, you can get a lot of stuff from there. Uh, so, yeah, let's go overcrowding. It's not really necessary at the moment, but it will pay dividends later on. That's what I'm hoping, anyway, when, when people start getting ill building this generator. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be very useful. So the workshop has been built. We have got more engineers coming, haven't we? So we'll whack those in there as soon as they come. Which will be in nine hours. And, well, we just need this wood coming in, right? I think that's enough for the fishing harbour. Yep, yeah, it is. Uh, we'll put the fishing harbour over here because it doesn't actually have to be connected by a path and we want the, like, the resources to be um, like over this way. So, what's going on here? Indignant Engineer. Um, let's do Discontent will Rise because we want to keep that there. I did forget about... Oh, hang on. Evening Service takes 20 food rations. Oh, I didn't realise that. I thought it was free. Clearly not. I think it's free on another scenario but 20 food rations is pretty expensive so forages quarters has been built i'll put that behind the telegraph do we only need one of those i think we only need one of these yeah let's put it i'll put it behind the telegraph let's build a path first though oh actually saying that I might put it over here. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, does it? I can't even make a decision on where to put the, the foragers' quarters. I'm just going to put it there. Then we can get people going out. Uh, so what is the next thing to research here? I'm wondering if we do more foragers. Or even forager carts. Yeah, I think I'll do I think I'll do that and then we will think about doing the generator construction stuff and the reload station as well. So let's do yeah, let's do forager carts first. This will make them a lot faster when exploring. And that's all good for me. Like I said, if you can get if you can get the like the wasteland, what's it called the wilderness? I don't even know if it's called the wilderness. If you can get that 
um, explored quick, then you're sorted. Uh, public house. Yeah, let's do the public house. Again, we do have to build it, but that's all good. So engineers have arrived. Absolutely fantastic. We'll get some workers on the way as well. We'll get 10 of those. And, oh, this has not been built yet. This is taking ages to get built. Let's get people in there. That should activate tomorrow when it becomes working hours. So we're all good. Let's get the pub down because everyone loves the pub. Um, where do I want to put it? Put it over here. And I guess we could do like fight an arena or something like that after. Because that keeps discontent down. I think this does motivation up. Put five people in there. Yeah, motivation rises on that. Absolutely fantastic. And we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We will go until the next um, objective happens, which is build and activate fishing harbour, which should be done any second now. And then we can start building a generator, which is what we're here for, right? Cool. So the generator shaft structure um, we've got to do build profiles manufacture build eight structural profiles and set up the shaft structure and are we ahead of schedule we have a quick check we're about three days ahead of, ahead of schedule which is all good for me so once these have been researched let's get on to that so profiles manufacture get them going and you know what we could probably actually do it with another lot of docks so Get another lot of docks there. And we are not even using the forager's hut. Let's send these uh, let's send these guys out to the reindeer tracks. And hopefully they find some good stuff there. Cool. Boudoir photography. Uh let's leave the picture. Again, I don't know if that has any repercussions later. I think it does, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, I'm thinking now, let's do some of these. Oh, hang on. No, let's do... No, no, no. We won't do bare knuckle bouts. Because that will cause injuries. I think we should be fine, actually. I might do care house. Yeah. I say you might do care house as I sign it. I mean, I will do care house. Put that next to the medical bay. Makes sense to put it there. And that is already connected by a path. Absolutely fantastic. Cool. So profiles and manufacture has been researched. We do want to just build that as soon as we can. That goes in the middle. So I'll, I'll just put it there. And we do need steel actually coming in. So, oh, that was perfect timing. Quitting time. Take a breather. Ten workers came in just as the docks were built so we'll put them straight on there and we've set that to still and what were we going to do next i think we need to do reload station that was what it was wasn't it because the reload station will help us immensely with collecting wood up from from the docks so these guys have reached the reindeer tracks there's nothing there we're just going to send them out like this. Like, uh, no real, like, goals or anything. But that dock is is closed. Okay, it's closed. I thought the, the pile might be full, but it looks like we're good for that. Oh, we need 20 workers in there. Okay, that's fine. We've got nine. We've got nine at the moment. So that, let's, um, let's get some more workers in. Let's get 15 in on that. I think we're all good for engineers at the moment. And let's have a quick look at our housing situation. So we've got vacant beds 25. So, oh, 20 of those were in the care house. So, hmm. So we may need another couple of tents. It's not going to hurt to put another tent down. And then we'll see what happens after that. So these guys can move on. Uh, let's go to collapsed mine. 
Um, I think there is, is a possibility these people can die. <laughs> so, you have to be careful about that. Um, reload station. Still can't do it. Normally, if, like, in the wasteland, if people were going to die, then I will, like, save it just before. Which is a little bit cheeky, I know, but you got to play the game, isn't it? Uh, let's get... We just need to get still coming in so we can actually start on this reload station. Only 10 still. Oh, I'm getting a little bit... Getting a little bit all over the place here. At reload station. There we go. And we do need to build these profile manufacturers. So they take 25... 25 wood for one structural profile. So let's start doing that. So release intentions, let us from home. Um, let's do discontent will rise as well because again, we've got very little discontent, which is absolutely fantastic. And back on here, the problem is, right? If we sign something we need to build it which is which is an issue house of pleasure might be good but then it again people start getting ill what does it do increase motivation let's do it let's do it now we've got the house of pleasure we need more workers in here and that will increase motivation but like i said people will get ill and i don't know if they get i don't know if they get really ill i can't remember what the proper term for it is it's when they get like extra extra ill and are like gonna die <laughs> they might do that but i don't know we'll see we'll see i need those workers in really so i think we're in i think we're in good shape at the moment reload station has been built so these take steam cars steam cores and wooden steel so i think once we've got those two reload stations up and running we should be well we should be uh should be flying right do you want to build another one of those we are three days ahead of schedule still three days ahead of schedule which is good and um, this is really useful actually just because you can see what's coming up so we need steam exchanges and steam and structural profiles and basically even the like it shows you what you need for the perfect generator so we can use that to plan ahead which is Really, really good. Really useful. Cool. People have arrived. Is anyone homeless? No one is homeless. That's what I like to see. So they've arrived. They thought they were going on holiday, but no. They've uh, <laughs> they've gone to work. They've gone to work um, building structural profiles. And then some of them have just gone into the pub um, to do stuff, which I'm not going to explain. Cool. Let's explore that. We'll take the crate like there's no reason not to and then we'll go to cargo convoy it would be very useful if we could have a couple of um scouts going out but at the moment we need to get these structural profiles built right so i think the um, i think the next thing we would do is try and get this wood and still stockpiled a little bit because we are kind of on zero all the time on that which is, uh, I mean, we're using it wisely, I think. Sun's up. Get to work, people. But it's a little bit, like, concerning that it runs out very quickly. So I think reloading station on there will be very, very useful. And then we can get rid of that. That frees up some workers on there. And we'll whack 10 on there. And that's all good. So yeah, we've got more... Ah, we should probably do more workers, right? Let's do... Hmm, I don't want 20. There we go. And these guys have reached the cargo convoy. Um, We could give them back. <laughs> the crates that we picked up, we could give them back. No, we're going to keep them. 
I literally right so everyone for themselves at this point yeah, like at this point right saying that we don't know what's coming this is the this is the very first very first scenario so we all think we're all like we're gonna build the generator and it's all gonna be absolutely fine clearly not so let's go for two of those we are getting there slowly very slowly but with the reload station I think we'll be I think we'll be good I was going to do the same for steel wasn't I because we do need steel for the next lot I think um we built that I don't really want to do burials because we haven't got any dead bodies yet I don't really want to do hearty meals or gruel because we just want to use um we don't have a lot of food coming in bathhouse we might uh, let's let's do the bathhouse not that we're going to use it just yet it's expensive to build though which i don't like cool so efficiency has now risen by 30 percent because we've got motivation up and we've got the foragers coming back with some stuff so we'll send them right back out top tip send them to somewhere they've already been first and it's quicker for them to get there rather than sending them to a brand new place oh so high motivation everything's going absolutely fine hopefully i don't um jinx it what other research are we doing so we should probably start doing these so yeah let's let's get that one researched and because we've got the, the motivation up, we should start to see resource coming in a lot more, like a lot quicker. So we've got five of those, that's six. Oh, what was that? I nearly, I nearly missed it, nearly missed it. Okay, a few people felt ill from breathing in strange fumes. Okay, I'll improve safety, right? This is where it starts getting, this is where it starts getting stuff um starts getting a little bit like on it so let's do safety procedures it lowers fit efficiency by 25 percent but we've got that 35 we've got a 30 percent boost so it's not so it kind of cancels out so we're probably doing that um stop being paranoid or intercept all his letters let's do um uh, let's do that it, I, again I don't know if that has any repercussions but we'll soon find out machine shop has been researched and these have reached the nest in place so let's go to the lake full of fish we can set up a foragers camp there I believe and we just need two two more of these there we go so once that's built, we can actually start on um, the, the actual shaft. So that'll be a good, I think I think we're in a good stand in here. I think we're still in a good stand in. Oh, we've got the workers as well. Amazing. They are homeless though. So let's get them, <laughs> let's get them some tents. Oh, that was not in the right place. Oh, now I can't put it. Can't put it next to it. There and there. Fantastic. Cool. So I think what's helping with motivation is this chapel. Everyone is now living in, in the vicinity of it. So that really does help. Bathhouse I need next. But let's get that um, shaft built. And we'll whack those on there. And you know what? We'll take these 20 out of here. Put them in there. And is there anyone else we can put on there? No, I think that's fine. So we'll get the bathhouse done next. And then we'll do the law. Well, we'll do the law now. What well, I was going to do, safety procedures, wasn't it? We don't have to use it, but we can we sign it. And then we get a little, little motivation bonus. 
so yeah we can set up camp here but we're not going to we're just going to go to hunting grounds i think there's another camp there we seem to be all good for food that might start change uh changing when we start getting more and more people but looks like we're good for now oh i thought i thought i built a path hang on i have built a path is there just a little bit of path not built i think that's someone 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 go ahead and build that path so they can get into the tent There's like a little bit of path there that's not being built. How, how strange. Let's get that sorted, right? <laughs> Someone go build that path. Poor people are freezing out here. Uh, so watering... What was that? Watering place or hunting grounds? All good, but we'll go... We'll continue on. Like I said, the f the food situation seems decent at the moment. You know what? I'm just going to build a path up there. Hopefully it gets built at some point. Uh, toxic gases. Okay, so toxic gases. Ugh, this makes things a lot, lot harder. So each of these has like a safety rating at the moment. It's deadly. Um... So you know what, I'm going to put safety procedures on and that lowers the uh, risk of them getting ill and accidents and stuff. So what I will do, I think the next thing, oh we need to build the bathhouse. Um, health bathhouse, they need to live in the vicinity of it as well. So oh, I need to get, I need to get like right in the middle there. So next to the chapel would be good. I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is just build a couple of more tents, like there and there. Once they are built, I'll delete these two and then I'll put the bathhouse right in the middle. That's going to be like the most useful. And while we're at it, we can do ventilation plant. And then we will need to do the foundry. So we'll just focus on research and generate stuff at the moment. Um, saying that, we probably need to get some more workers in. Let's do that. How many steam cores have we got? We've got three. Ooh, saying that, let's get a reload station. Ooh, get a reload station on there so we can get steel coming in a lot quicker. Get some rest, and we can do another law. So I am going to do extended shift because it's my favorite. So everyone is going to get an extended shift. Um, even, even the shaft structures and these and the cookhouse and pubs fine. Um, let's put one more person in there. I think that's it. Oh, fishing harbor. Fishing Harbour, Docks is done. Get workers on there. That's on extended shift. Nice. And you know what? We could probably think about starting coal in from up here. Because we need coal for the bathhouse. That's what we need. Oh, so there's nothing at Small Waterfall. Let's go to the Rapids next. It's still dangerous. Um, oh, let's get more people on there because why not? They've got to be doing something. And because we've got 20 more people coming in, I do need to build some more. Uh, more tents. So let's get rid of this one and we'll get rid of this one as well. So we need four tents and a bathhouse. I'm trying to remember all of this. I'm starting to get a little bit more um, sick than we have capacity. So I'm wondering, do I? Ah, no, we'll leave it for now. But another medical bay might be needed. 
But was there nothing at the rapids? Okay, let's go to the mountain lake and all over the place. Get up, people. It's work to be done. Cool, so yeah, let's get this bathhouse. I've been talking about it for, for ages, but I haven't, I haven't even done it. So, bathhouse, amazing. And then we need four tents, right? So, let's go one. Oh, not, not there. Two, three. Sneak that in right next to it. Sweet. Let's get rid of that path there. Don't need it. And it gives us two extra wood. All about the little gains. <laughs> All about the little gains. Two extra wood makes a lot of difference. Ooh, so I think we're pretty much set up for now. We are just going to focus on getting these built. So foundry is going to be next. So let's get that going. Bad omen. Oh no. Shoot it away. Don't worry. We can't afford to have um, people not working on it. Um, what else have we got here? Extended shift compensations. Half a ration per day. That's fine. Dispensary. No, I think people can die from that. Short shift might be a good one. After hours. Discontent will rise permanently. But that's not a lot. And we can do... Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Ignore it. Um, let's get the ventilation plant going. Oh, we need steam cores for that. And we need coal for that as well. Oh, no. Okay. Let's get docks going. Another basic docks. And this one will bring in coal. Oh, what's happened? Oh, no, that doesn't. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't realise that was going to happen. Okay. No rescue team available. Um, trapped workers will live. Okay, we have to blow up the cave in. That's it. We need to keep our people alive. Discontent has risen a lot. But I think we were on good track. We were on a, like we were on, like we were on track to finish that very quickly so we're still ahead of schedule that's all good for me it's all good for me saying that i think we do need to start thinking about stockpiling some of these like structural profiles and stuff because you can use those to save workers in the future cool 20 people have arrived we've already got the housing for them as we are prepared I'll, i say that it's being built just it's being built just don't worry people okay we're on strike they are on strike let's negotiate um better working conditions short shift try to appease them no we'll do short shift and we will do workers i think workers is probably the better option because you have more workers um, so you've got Labour Union, Workers' Council. Oh, don't talk to me about Workers' Council. Um, so short shift. It, we'll do short shift next because that's what we said we were going to sign. All good. Um, so yeah, the next thing was the foundry. And so we need to build the Labour Union. I can't remember what it does. I think it helps you with the um, the strikes and stuff. We do need to build a ventilation plant though, because that will, that will help us a lot. A little bit of wood there. Let's get rid of that wood. And get rid of that wood as well. Uh, what does the labor union do? Decrease strike risk in all workplaces. So that is very good. Yeah, we will definitely get that on the go. Cool. Move on from the mountain pass. Avalanche field. Next one on the list. 
So yeah, this should be bringing in coal. We got to put people on it. That's fine. And then we got reload station. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing still. That's fine. So yeah, we'll um think about getting. Actually, let's get some steam cores in. And let's get. We will get some more engineers in as well. So let's all of that. I'm getting more engineers in because I think we need another medical post. Um, do I want to put it there? No, let's not put it there. Put it next next to, to the... Uh, what's that? The cookhouse. I thought it was the pub for a minute. But a good tip, like I said, is just to get people in the medical post. So we do that with overcrowding and um, just having like engineers working. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit once that has built been built uh rustin rails does this go to the does this go to the creve niche i don't know or is that another one creve niche is hilarious it's such a funny name i think but i don't even know what it is. i think it's french for something you can tell i failed french at high school the foundry has been researched let's get that going oh no let's not at the moment we will want to get the reload station on here first and then what else do we want to do so protect protective structures is really good supercharge is good safety improvements food and health finer mesh we could do efficient gathering i don't think we need this at the moment in fact i don't think we need any of this for now upgraded docks fast reloading Generator construction, I think, is going to be the one. So, optimized materials, I'm going to go for next. And while we're at it, I'm going to start doing this. So, from here, for the next one, we need 10. So, we've got 10 on there, and we can actually get people working on that now. And we'll put safety procedures on as well. And it's harmful. If I put that down, no, it doesn't. So, that's fine. This needs, so this is on working hours and this needs a uh, coal. Is it working? No, no, they're not active. And that's because we're not getting coal in, I think. Workers, your work is over for today. Okay. Nothing there. Closed tavern. I think we can, I think we can die around here. What's there? Herd of reindeer. Oh, I didn't go to the herd of reindeer. Or did I? I think I did. But didn't I, did I just like not explore it? Oh, I can't worry about that now. Uh, I do need to build the labor union. Um, I'll put that over here. I haven't really worried about setting out the, the settlement or the workplace very well, but we won't worry about that. Strike risk is very high. Please just complete it before we go on strike. Why is that so dangerous as well? How is anyone surviving there? <laughs> I mean, they're doing a good job. Reach the closed tavern. Take the resources. Ah, oh, the three graves, the rock arch. Let's go to three graves. Motivation rises because of labor union. And we've got things coming. So I'm going to get more workers. Oh, I can't. Just a moment. Oh, we have to wait until they arrive. So that's fine. I think we've got enough, uh, enough housing. Okay. Yeah, let's get let's get some one engineer as well. Um, yeah, I think we're doing I think we're doing okay for workers. Cool. So that is the milestone one achieved. Next, we have to build the foundation. So we're on the shaft. The yeah, shaft structure is done. That's sorted. Um, still three days ahead of schedule. We just need to get these steam exchangers. Now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hang on. I thought these people had steam exchangers. Or did they? Did we bring them back already? I think we brought them back. Yeah, we've got them. So I think we can build it. Yeah, look at that. Tower pumps. Straight in there. 
Um, so yeah, the foundry, we do need to build that. So we need to wait for the steam cores to arrive. Oh no, we don't. We're waiting for wood. Wood is uh, very abundant at the moment, so... Let's get the coal coming in and we'll get the workers on there. We'll put safety procedures on. Again, put them on extended shift just to get them working. And why is that not on? Oh, because we turned it off. Because uh, we don't have any coal. But now we do. We can turn it on. Nah, what's going on there? That takes a lot of coal. Why is that? <laughs> 25 coal per hour. Oh my days. And then this takes 3 coal per hour. So we need 28 coal per hour. And how much are we getting? 28 coal per hour. Oh, extended shift. And extended shift on there, of course. What's going on there? Abandoned site. Um, That's fair. I am thinking about doing a whole story retrospective on um, Ross Punk. So let me know if you want to see that. Where I'm gonna, basically going to go through the whole story, um, going through all the scenarios. That's kind of why I'm playing it as well. <laughs> because I kind of want to remember the story, which is really, I, I think the story is really good on this. Um, let's have a think as well for the next one. Should we just unlock that? Because then we can start using some of the tier three stuff. And we're good for food. Good for medical posts, I think. These are gone to the three graves. Yeah, we're going to we're going to the Creve Niche, I tell you. These lads could very much die. They haven't got much stuff on them though. Oh, literally just ignoring that. Um, let the man grieve. I'm not too worried about them going on strike at the moment. Food for workers minus two. Strike risk. Strike risk. Strike whisk. In in the uh, in there. Okay, right. And what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to start doing more of these profiles um it's a good idea you can actually use these to store the wood if that makes sense so you can put one on that takes 20 off there but if you minus one it puts it back in the stockpile so you can use these buildings just to stockpile wood in which is which is quite a good idea um short shift i said i was going to sign it didn't i let's let's actually sign it and we need to build machine shop, install pressure valves, and install the tower pumps. So the machine shop will get that built. So we and um, the pressure valves, ten structural profiles. It was it was that wasn't it? The pressure valves. I thought I had those. Okay, cool. We've got more people arrive. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get the engineers in there. Again, why are these people not building paths? Or is it just me being stupid and not connecting them up? Uh, they're definitely connected. I'm wondering if they're just not built yet. Oh, something's happening in the middle. Uh, so the owl's motivation will fall even more each morning but our motivation is high so I'm not worried about that we are actually going to get people working on some of these as well um, what was I going to what was I going to uh, what was I going to do um, I could do innov innovative processing or process ventilation coupling I could do efficient fans you know what I want to do efficient fans, I think. Because this toxic gas is a bit of a pain. Where is it? The storehouse or the Creve Niche. There it is. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the Creve Niche. After that, I'm going to bring them back. All right.
Can I do efficient fans yet? No, I can't. The steel is not coming in as quick as I was hoping. Um, that's, I would say that's fine, but it's not really. Let's do, let's order a steam core because we are going to need some of those. Saying so that we can turn this on now and that needs to go to work in hours and this is making things a lot safer which is good tower pumps are on strike didn't even realize that um hearty mills let's do hearty mills i thought like hearty mills would be a good one what's this over here one man one vote labor union agreed uh representatives um let's do let them choose again we are on we have four days ahead of schedule right so we're we're looking good we're looking good in terms of these profile structures or profiles yeah the profile structures how many do we need so we need 50 there then we need at the end none so we need another 50 so let's we'll just start building them right we'll do like 10 at a time how many have we got? We've got nine at the moment. Oh, yes, we do need the safety. We definitely need the safety equipment. Because that literally pays dividends later in the scenario. So we're definitely doing that. Um, these guys take the resources. Okay, these guys are coming back. They are... Well, they've got two steam cores and five of those steel composites, which is very useful i think if we go to the storehouse if we go there then it's a uh, chance they can die so i might not go there <laughs> i might not go there uh, what did we say we were gonna sign uh, it was hearty mills wasn't it cool Mate, I'm a good boss. I'm a good boss. I am going to turn that on as well. The bathhouse. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to check the coal. So yeah, we are gaining coal a day, which is good. So the bathhouse just makes things a lot safer. And stops people getting sick by working on, the, on here. So that's good. That's going to be finished in two days. We've got... Well, day 25, we've got 10 days to finish that, but we want to do that ASAP. Um, so yeah, I was going to do the efficient fans, wasn't I? I could, you know what? I could do some other things. I'm going to do finer mesh. Because I feel like food will start, become a prob start becoming a problem soon once we've got more, more and more people coming on. These are on strike. No, they're not. They're fine. Um, how many do I need for these? It's for the steam exchangers. So we've got enough for this one. We don't need any, but we need 50 for the next lot. The steel composites, I think, is going to be the hardest one. Uh, Finer mesh is ongoing. Discontent is going up quite a lot. <laughs> and I think it's because we've got a lot of... Um, We've got a lot of uh, extended shifts, but that's fine. That's fine. Saying that, these are not. Hang on, these are not on extended shift. These. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was them coming back. Okay, accidentally clicked on it. I can't believe I didn't have these on extended shift. That's not good. Um, foundry. Let's actually. I'm going to do innov innovative process here because that's going to make the production of those very, a lot more efficient. Um power to the people again let's let's just let's just do it keep them happy these are on strike uh we'll do off the uh, rest of the day off there and we'll do again rest of the day off oh workers reject oh full day off okay that's fine it's nearly the end of the day anyway so we're not losing too much um too much there Cool. So these are back. We'll send them out to the rock arch. So we'll do small waterfall first because it's quicker. And then go to rock arch. 
and we can get some more of these cooking so we've got 13 at the moment that's 19 so that's 20 let's do another 10 so that's 30 i think we need 50 right that's fine Cool. everything is going well i say that everything is going well but all good um right we want to do workers council wasn't it that's fine we now need to build it or or the council square what does the council square do before i put it down i think it gives so workers council meet here giving an outlet for workers pleas and ideas Lowering strike risk in nearby workplaces. Okay. Do we want to have it, like, there? Because that covers all three and the middle. So these have reached the small waterfall. Going to the rock arch. I am wondering, actually, if it would be a good idea to start setting up camps out there. Hmm. If food gets a bit... Dire. I, you know what? I don't think food will get a bit, a bit dire for a while. So we'll continue how we're going. Cool. Innovative process researched. I should probably build one of those, right? Foundry. What is it? Foundry. So profiles manufacture, machine shop, and foundry. Yeah, so the foundry is 60 wood steel. Ah, oh, that's what we need, isn't it? We need more steel coming in. So what we're going to do, do the upgraded docks, and then we can get another reload station on this steel one here. So these have reached that. There's nothing to do there, so it's pointless sending them out. Trapper's cabin, uh, cabin, herd of reindeer, storehouse, icy plateau. We'll go Icy Plateau, and then we'll go on to Freight Terminal. I think Freight Terminal's got some stuff there. Cool, upgraded docks. What I'll do is build that overnight or towards the end of the day, just so we've got stuff going. And then fast. let's do faster reloading as well, because that's going to benefit everything. Cool, more people have arrived. We've got nine homeless now. So let's get a tent for them. Again, it's in the vicinity of both the chapel and the bathhouse in that location. So that's good. What's going on here? Engineers plea. Um, relax, you're still in charge. Let's do that. Motivation is really high, so it's not really an issue. We don't want discontent to go much higher, to be honest. Um, We've got safety procedures on. On all, actually, we need to put it on there. So how many of these do we actually need? So we're going to do... We've got the 10 there. Saying that. What are we building? The pressure valves. I totally, totally forgot we needed to build those. Um, that's fine. Those are on strike. Let's take five off there and we'll put those on there and again we'll do we'll do that sweet that's building over there we've got food we're looking absolutely fantastic okay faster reloading has been done that is the work day done as well so let's get these upgraded docks on there hopefully they can build them before they go to bed that would be very helpful if they did and the next thing i think we'll leave I, I, we don't need all of this. Infirmary might be a good one. Let, oh, I was going to do efficient fans, wasn't I? Ventilation plant coupling. We can use another one. Safety improvements. Protective structures. Let's do... I'm going to do the efficient fans because... The ventilation plants are very helpful. I will because I will do two of those, two of those ventilation plants, eventually. So the more efficient they are, the be the better. And saying that, we should probably upgrade. 
Um, well, let's do the the reload station there. We've got a couple more steam cores actually, so let's do upgraded docks on the coal as well, and we'll get more workers. So we'll get twenty more. Ah, I really wanted twenty. But we've got seventeen. We'll have to do with that. That's fine. So again, we're going to need more tents. Uh, we'll put it there, and we'll put one there. Connect those up. Looking good. Explore. There's nothing there. Let's go to the freight terminal. Like I said, I think there is something at the freight terminal. But we'll see. We'll see that when we get to it. Discontent just went up a little bit. Oh. Now, I'm hoping that because the uh, safety, we built the safety equipment, I'm hoping we can use that. Cool. Right. We've got... Oh, no. Hang on. Yes. There we go. The generator will have normal power. Many workers will be gravely injured. Um, and the construction will stop for three hours. That is absolutely fine. Because uh, this still lets us do the um, the uh, perfect generator. That's what I'm looking for. So, gravely injured, construction stops for three hours. Okay, all good. Send rescue equipment. So, that's... I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, what's going on here? Successful evacuation. Well done. Um, we now need to tend to them. So let's put another... Uh, we'll put another... Um, what's it called? Oh, medical post down. We'll put another medical post down. And we'll get those into the medical bay as soon as we can. We've still got two. Oh! Oh no. Several workers were seriously injured by a machine. Oh no. But that's not good. <laughs> I think we did a a good shout by Was it 12 people became amputees? No, that can't be right. I mean, I guess it is. So, we'll have to sign prosthetics. These are on strike now. Um, better working conditions. You have to raise workplace safety above dangerous. We'll, we'll go for it. Um, tower pumps. Put it on short shift, right? That's harmful. I think that's fine. Now we can put people back in there. And we do not have a lot of people. Okay, these are working on, like this stuff up here but I'm wondering if we just get them into these workplaces you know we have got more people coming which is good the coal is the coal is um, not coming in yet because we were rebuilding dock uh, what is this deceive them and take their food oh they might they um, they might die 137 ah uh, let's just not we're not going to risk it we're not going to risk it. Then the storehouse is there. Trapper's cabin. Um, we will... Oh, look, there's nature's sculpture over there. Oh, man, there's a lot of... I think I've missed a lot of stuff out. <laughs> I'm not going to go to these two here. What I will do, though... Uh, did I even get anything? No, they haven't even got anything. I'll just send them over here. So I'm going to send them to collapsed mine first, and then we'll send them to the other place. Getting, getting a bit chaotic out in the in the like wilderness like no idea what's going on out there and we do we do need more people this is the thing we need more people so these are fine because we've got that but we're not using it really annoying and again we uh, we, we're upgrading that. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, let's get a law signed. I think we're going to need to do prosthetics. So we can send the people home or we can get them back to work. I want to get them back to work. So we now can get prosthetics from here. So what I will do instead of actually having more people come, I will get prosthetics. Uh, because we don't, we can, like, we won't have extra people to feed. Oh, I just realised I haven't got anyone in that medical bay. I'm just going to put one in there just so people are getting in. So yeah, prosthetics and um, workers. Oh, I've got 17 workers on the way, so. We'll get these put to work. So I've put five in there. And actually, let's get... Let's get these built. I want to get them built. I feel like I'm slipping behind. We were four days. We're now three days, but it's all good. It's all. I think we're still. I think we're still good. Um, that is. We'll just put that up to the max. How many did we need in total of those? So none for those. Fifty. We just need fifty left, and we've got eight already. So, yeah, we'll keep building these. I don't think we need 10 people in there though. So let's get those on there. Man, this is taking forever, this one. It's dangerous still. So let's get the ventilation plant, the second one coming in. Uh, so you promise not to employ people at this workplace until it's no longer dangerous. Oh, hang on. Okay, safety first. Sorry, I to to totally didn't realise. <laughs> so this one, harmful. What are the actual things? So it is harmful. Like, that is above dangerous. So we can put people on there, right? But this one is dangerous. Okay. We'll put that on a short shift and that becomes harmful. Okay. That's fine. This uh, medical babe has gone down to 0% efficiency, so we'll put another engineer in there. This content of strikes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Um, ventilation plant coupling. Okay, this is what... I think this is what's going to be the key here. Uh, they've reached the collapsed mine, so let's take them to the nature's sculpture. But yeah, I think getting this toxic gas, like sorted is going to be very very helpful because the like the workplace is dangerous and that we're getting a lot of sick people and that is causing efficiency to go down um we will cure the infected they get gravely injured by going to have a bit of fun in the old pub and then that has been researched cool what i will do as well is safety improvements everywhere i think we're good for everything else uh, so yeah, ventilation plant. Let's get another one of those going. And we've got two, we've got two piles of coal coming in. Let's get another reload station on that one. And we can order these prosthetics, right? So let's do ten of those. Like I said, it's gonna it's gonna be useful to have these instead of ordering more people because we don't have to feed them uh, nature's sculpture there's nothing there but we're going further to the field kitchen oh my days it's outrageous people are saying starting, starting to get hungry as well the music's starting to get a little bit let's get a little, let's get a little bit tense as well are we doing well are we still doing well i don't know Probably get more people on there once these prosthetics come we will have more people to work with which is good foragers have reached the field kitchen site 107 i'm hoping there's a, a bunch of stuff there it sounds like there should be cool oh, safety improvements has been researched okay yeah, let's have a little bit of a think about this Protective structures could be good. More foragers. Medical or oh, medical post upgrade. I think we need to do that, definitely. Let's 
strike risk is going up. Okay, so let's check these. That's now safe. So let's put that on normal shift. It goes to unhealthy. This one, put that on that. That goes to unhealthy. That's fine. I can deal with unhealthy. Never forget. Um, oh, no. All workplaces will close for the rest of the day. What is the time? Oh, let's do side with workers. We'll just run forward for now. How um, We're three days ahead of schedule still. That's That's all good. What are these guys doing? Sweet. Oh, it's this this lady. Uh, we'll take them to the camp. Twelve engineers. Outstanding. So we can actually build more tents while we're waiting for those to come. Go there, there, there. I don't know if we needed three. But we'll build three anyway. Transport has arrived. Ten of those. Right, we are getting a lot of people hungry now. So that's because we're on hearty meals. Okay, we'll do standard meals again. They've had enough hearty meals for now. So hearty meals um, uses three food rations from. Hang on. So it's basically one raw food per one ration whereas you can get like double the amount of food on a standard meal so we'll go back to that motivation is well higher and people won't get hungry uh, so labor what are we doing next official doctrine i think this is where things start to get a little bit a little bit funny so let's do collective bargaining actually that'll be useful because then if one like we can negotiate with all workplaces at the same time when they go on strike which is very useful um i kind of want to get these two done now <laughs> like i'm over it i'm ready i'm ready for those to be done so medical bay has been researched um generator construction we'll do safety improvements on there or will we Steam reload station. Nah, we don't need we don't need that. We could go for the next one up. Yeah, let's go for the let's go for the difference engine and then we can open up the, the next lot. People are starving. People are starving now, which is not ideal. We'll get those on there and we'll get a couple on there as well. Cool, so they've arrived back at the camp with a bunch of stuff. We'll put the engineers in there. And also, I'm thinking we put some engineers... Oh no, we can't. Can't put engineers on there. Where do we put them? We can't put them in there either. Okay, I think... I think we're fine for now. Let's order some more of these, and then we'll do... 10 30, we'll do 13 of those that will bring all of our amputees back into work now we can send these guys out the trapper's cabin herd of reindeer mountain lake what i might do i'll send them out to hunting grounds and set up a, a food camp coming in i think that'll be the most Best, well, the best way of doing this food stuff, right? Sorting out this food situation. Cool, that was quick. Um, so yeah, let's do... We'll do safety improvements all across the board. Because the less people we've got getting ill, the better. Back in business. Nice, yeah. People are getting their uh, prosthetics and actually going back to work, which is good. It's a little bit of concern that we've got so many hungry people. So we need another 30 of these, so or 31 in fact. So that's that's that. We'll just let that run in the background now. And these things, the steam exchangers, we've got 15. We need 50 of those as well, okay. And then we need another, so we basically need 95 of those. Oh God, that's a, 
That's a <laughs> that's a lot, isn't it? Um, how many have we got? Fifteen. So we need another eighty. Let's do ten of those for now. Okay, let's get set up the camp there. So they'll bring food back. I think that's going to be. I think that's a good choice. A good solid choice there. And we could actually do redesign templates. Oh, but we're going to do safety safety improvements, weren't we? Across the board. So after we've got all that done, I'm thinking about just upgrading our docks. You know. Sign another law. So what does crowded quarters do in terms of discontent? See, that would be good. Comfortable quarters, though. Nah, we won't We won't do that just yet. We won't do those because those will not help us at all. We won't do that just yet because we don't have any dead bodies, labor, uh, work standardization. Workplaces will be 10% more efficient. We're not going to use short shifts. We won't do that. Let's do official doctrine. Because that can increase motivation and stuff. The hungry are getting fed. We're absolutely amazing. We are so close to completing these two here as well. I'm wondering. I'm putting them on. Um, I'm putting them on uh, extended shift just to get those done, and I will do when the next one as well. Got a lot of wood. Definitely got a lot of wood. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take people off that one, put them on there. People off this dock, not all of it, but take that off and put them on there to get coal coming in. Because we all know Frostpunk, it's going to get cold at some point, isn't it? So we need to get stockpiling some coal. 13 prosthetics have arrived. Now, people, go and get your prosthetics and go back to work, all right? That's what I want. Council protests. Oh, God. Um, I'll try to win them over. 100, 203 food rations will be spent. No, we'll have to do strike risk raising up for two days. 200 food is a lot to just waste. Okay, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Don't know what I'm doing. Just trying just so many things to do. Got seven amputees still. I think we need more workers coming in. Actually saying that, we've got workers. Oh, what's happened? Oh, that was, that's been completed. Fantastic. So we've now got a lot of workers. Let's get those. Oh, we haven't got the foundry, have we? Should have thought about that, but we didn't, so it's that's fine. Cool. So milestone two is complete, the heart of the generator. Sweet. So we've got the foundry being built. Oh, that has been built. So let's get people in there building some of these things. So these take 20 steel and 40 coal. And how many do we need? So we need 25, 45. 70 okay we need 70 in total and we've got 15 so let's do five at the moment we'll put that on we'll put extended shift on and we're good to good to go with that what's going on there site 120 oh we can send out our um scouts to have a look for those so this i think this will be good what i will do is leave the camp and then send them over here. We have got the food on the way, though. The food is on the way. Having another, having another one might be useful, you know. It might be useful to just have a, a, a camp set up out there, bringing food in. So I don't know if this is. We could either do that, or we could actually let's do let's do the um. Uh, advanced fishing harbour. I think that might be a good idea. That would be a very good idea. So, oh, let's see what we need to build decor. 
We need three more of those and ten more of those. Oh, we need two support frames. Okay. So we need we need to get we need to get building on these, don't we? Taking so long. Uh, we are five days ahead of schedule. Absolutely fantastic. Man, I'm very much enjoying <laughs> Frostpunk again. I'm very much looking forward to number two. It's going to be massive in scale, I think. Like, much bigger than this. Just from what I've seen, uh, trailer-wise. Uh, get some more of these going. What's the main thing stopping us there? I think it's still, you know. I think it's still that's stopping us. So. Yeah, the still is not, it's not coming in quick enough, I don't think. So we're going to do advanced fishing harbour. Ah, saying that, we have got loads of food rations already. Um, let's do, let him vent. Hopefully it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go below 75%, which is good. Um, workers camp. Oh, 50 people coming back. Yeah, let's take those. That's, that's really good. So you start building the support frame. We've saved them. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've saved them from the other the other site, but they're gonna go straight back to work. I don't think that's what they were expecting, but it is what it is. The whole the whole world is well, London. I think it's London, isn't it? Or Liverpool is counting on us. Uh we've got forty two vacant beds, so I think we just need thirty. So that's another three houses or three tents. That's fine. And we've got full food as well. So yeah, we didn't really need to do the fishing harbour yet. Saying that we've got 50 people coming, which is not not ideal. We'll get that on there. Um it's dangerous, not ideal. Oh, what was that? Oh, they came back. Okay, so we've got the 50 people. Go to Bald Hill now. Again, we'll go to work. We'll go to workers camp first, and then we'll go to, to Bald Hill. So what are we going to do with these 50 people? I know, put them to work. Uh, generator, we can get the next support frame. So get those people on there. Put it on, has it got a short shift? I'm wondering if I put it on short shift. Because then it's harmful and well we've got 25 people already in the um in the medical post which is not good it's quite a lot it's more than i thought we would have um then the core i need 25 of those so two more of uh, two more of these things there we go cool right what do we need for the next one 50 and 20 so how many of these have we got, we've got 20 already so we need uh, we need 30 more don't we do 10 this is where we need the steel coming in this is where steel is probably the most important um labor what have we got up here selfless sacrifice um one Work must complete on time. Sometimes it requires sacrificing everything in the name of efficiency. Oh, I don't know. Propaganda. Ab abolition. <laughs> abolition of privilege privileges. Um, so we can use engineers to do stuff. That could be good. We won't worry. We won't think about that just yet, though. I might do work. I'll do work standardization because that will increase efficiency while we're on short shift here. Probably the most sensible thing to do. Discontent has risen a little bit. Don't know why, but we'll ignore it. Okay, let's send these out to Bald Hill and well, we're waiting for these. We're waiting for these to be built, aren't we? That's what we're waiting for. The advanced fishing harbour has been researched. I will wait a day before building that because I don't want to waste any time 
two day. Oh, actually, no, let's just build it now because we've got 209 stockpiled. Well, we've got 250 people. I didn't even realize that's how many people we had. Wild. <laughs> Where did they all come from? Um, what else are we doing here? Safety improvements. We could do redes Yeah, let's do redesign templates on there. Because that will make it cheaper to produce these. That will be very useful. We'll put down extended shift as well. And we've got enough to start building the core. Let's get that bad boy plopped down. We'll put safety procedures on. We'll put it on short shift. And, well, we've got two people working on it, but... We need more. We need more than that, right? Oh, that's nearly... Oh, hang on. I thought that was nearly done, but it's not. It's 23% done, but I don't have the progress bar for that uh, for some reason. How strange. Uh, foundry is on strike. Um, negotiate. Offer those. Yeah, we'll offer them the rest of the day off for now. Hopefully they take that. I think they have. I think they have. We don't need them being built at the moment. All oh, hail the generator. Oh, we don't have enough food rations. Oh well. We could have thrown them a party. Uh, there's that. Site 120. Hopefully nothing untoward goes, goes on down at Site 120. Redesign templates have been done. Sweet. Okay, I'm thinking we get um, a couple more steam cores and 10 more workers, or 15 more workers, 15 more workers, because I'm going to, I want to start doing re like faster reloading, which we are going to research now. So steam reloading station, then we can do gathering optimization and then once we've done those, I think we'll be absolutely perfect on on resource there. We are only, only playing on normal, so it's not it's not like critical that we get everything a hundred percent efficient. Your work is over for today. Okay, what are we doing now? We don't want to do that. I'm wondering. What's the best one here? On-site burials, repatriation of bodies. So we send them back. I think, I think that'll be good. We do have to build a morgue. It'd be a bit like <laughs> if I was working here and I saw someone building a morgue with no one's data. I'd be like, hang on. I'd be like, wait, wait a minute. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's just get that down. Um, I can't remember what that does. Did it do motivation up? I'd assume that's motivation up. Spreading anxiety. We'll ignore that. Don't want to go beating up anyone. Structural profiles. How many? We've got 10 of those. Uh, decent. Decent. And then what's that? Snowy Hills. I don't know if that's new or if that's old. We'll go there anyway. So in that case, we can actually just get rid of... Oh, hang on. We're not even making any. Do we even need those? No, we don't actually need any of the structural profiles anymore. So, what they would be used for is the structures, like the safety structures. We don't actually need them, so we can get twenty people out of there, get them straight onto that core, and we could probably even like dismantle this. Yeah, I'm gonna dismantle that. The morgue has been built. Cool. This is Liverpool's last hope of surviving. And it's come down to me to manage. Oh dear. That's not good, is it? That's not good. Um, We've got six people. Why have we got six people doing nothing? What I'm going to do... Because these these people are engineers. I'm gonna build a couple more of these um, workshops. Because why not? 
it, it, it makes it go so much faster. So we're on. How many are we on? We're on like nearly 170% research speed. Basically halves the time, so. Uh, I'm going to take engineers out of there. Put them in there, so yeah. Yeah, 170. Oh, that's a lot of steel. 150 steel. That was decent going there. Let's get these guys back. And I don't think we'll go anywhere else. The, those storehouse, trapper's cabin, herd of reindeer is a long way away. Might just send them to hunting grounds again. Cool. So steam reloading station has been researched. Uh, gathering optimization. They'll be 10% more efficient. Man, we are we are making progress. I tell you, we are making progress here. Five days ahead of schedule. That's what I like. So that's more researched as well. Um, generate construction safety. Yeah, let's do safety improvements there. Saying that, let's get some more of these built. How many do we need? We need 25. No, no, we need 20, right? So let's see if we can actually build those. Just do 10 for now. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is food. And that's but saying that we've got loads of food rations, so we shouldn't shouldn't really be concerned about that. Uh, what else here? Company funerals. Uh, let's do that as well. I said it, was, it would cost still instead, but that's fine. Okay, let's build some more houses or tents. I keep calling them houses, like they're actually going to get like a nice house, but uh, just a tent. Um. Union representative berate you for inequality, making history. I'll think about I'll think about it later. I'll think about it. Don't worry. Just don't worry about it. The engineers, like, we're not going to put them on on the work sites because we need them for research and medical posts. That's, that's the reason we're not doing it. So we've just completed one side of the support frames. So let's put those workers on there. We've got a maximum of 50 on there. And on there, and then I think we can start doing this wood again. That's all absolutely fantastic. We can do reload stations as well. We've got the steam ones. Uh, we'll upgrade them. These take two steam cores, but because we're upgrading, it's only going to take one each. Because essentially, you already use a steam core to do the the bottom one. Oh, look at that! They brought a lot back. Wood still absolutely everything I'm wondering if we now need to focus on coal that's what I'm wondering I think we do I think we need to really focus on coal now uh, because it does start to get cold oh we've got like a couple of days until it starts getting cold so um, gathering post let's do one there one there and oop these these guys can start just gathering these two coal piles so let's do that there that there and we've got two up here don't we so let's get oh that's not an extended shift these are extended shift these are an extended shift that one is as well okay i'm wondering if we just ask for a couple more steam cores so we can start doing yeah let's do another lot of steam cores right so have to wait a little bit before we can start getting that um i was going to send the hunting grounds wasn't i to get some more food in did we even put the yeah we put the advanced fishing harbor down hey those fishermen over there are working hard i tell you working hard just set it and forget it and then they bring us food and it's all good yeah, let's put some workers on there. Yeah, coal is definitely going to be the one to go for here. Fire danger. Oh, we need to build... We Right, we definitely want to build the dampers. Definitely. 
I don't know what that cost, but we had it. We had enough of it, which is good. Set up camp. So that's going to bring us some good food. And yeah, let's have another quick look at this. So if the steam exchanges, how many are we on? 25. And that's because, all right, that's because we needed steel. All right, so they only take 16 steel now instead of the 20, which is good. And oh, what's going on here? Oh, let them strike. Okay, let them strike. That's fine. Because otherwise we'd have to send, like, well, the militia in. We don't have a militia, so I don't think that's very good. But we are on, on unhealthy. But that's only because toxic gases are up. Once that goes... Oh, it's going up again next time. But that's fine. Because we've got the two ventilation plants. I think we're, I think we're golden on, on that. Um, what else can we do here? We don't need any of that. Infirmary might be a good one to do. Advanced docks, resource depot, upgrade, charcoal kiln, sawmill. Charcoal kiln might be good. if Because we've got a lot of wood coming in now. I'll do it, just so we've got the option there. But we might not use it. Oh, we're going to order a couple of more of these, won't we? So... Two of those. Do we need any more workers? We don't need any prosthetics. I think we're I think we're fine for workers. 283, that's more than enough. These guys are on strike. Comfortable quarters. You know what? I'm gonna do comfortable quarters, alright? So let's start building some more uh, some more tents. They're not gonna be in range of anything, but I don't think that really matters. We'll go with five to begin with. And hopefully that is good enough. Uh, we do need to sign the comfortable quarters law. So I'm going to do that like, straight away. Because otherwise I will forget. Uh, administration. Comfortable quarters. There we go. Hopefully. Listen, everybody. New regulations. Got 27 homeless. 11 homeless. Oh, we're going to need one more. One more lot of tents. So comfortable quarters can now fit 12 people in. And I think that increases motivation. Our, our motivation is sky high. I say that as it just drops. <laughs> Why did it drop? Oh, hang on. We need three more. Oh, no. Let's build another one then. Cool. We've now got some workers from somewhere. I don't know where they came from, but we've got 18 workers doing nothing. We need to get them. We need to get them doing something. We'll put one in the pub. In fact, we can. Oh, we need to wait for these steam uh, steam cores, don't we? And then we'll put them on there. Get the coal coming in. And you know what I'm actually going to do now? Do the resource depot upgrade. Because that will allow us to stockpile more steel and that. Um, man, we are doing... I hate to say it, but I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well here. And we've done it pretty quick. We're seven days ahead of schedule. I've never, I've never seen that. I'm pretty sure all of you have, but I haven't. I just need to remember to put these on, on to cook. So... We need 50 and 20. So let's get some more of these on. So we need 16 of those. What's going on here? Let them strike. Oh, they're going on strike again. Um, try appease them with double rations. Okay. We had a lot of rations and discontent was pretty low. So let's get them actually working on something. Oh, again, we just need steel, don't we? I think we're 
good for steam exchanges now we just need oh we just need 20 of those so we need we just need another five ah that's not as bad as i thought the three okay that's it resource depot upgrade nice one uh, let's do supercharge. I don't think we, I don't think we're gonna need those. You know, I don't think we're gonna need those. That's a charcoal kiln. So yeah, we're just waiting on this core to be built, aren't we? Fifty percent. Is it? Well, we can speed it up, but it's gonna become. Dang, it's dangerous anyway. So we've got safety procedures on. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep that on for now. We'll just I think we'll just focus on other stuff, right? The, the core is under control. That is under control. I think maybe just trying to get these resources like more like efficient. So Steam reloading station on there and on there. We'll get a couple of steam cores back once these ventilation plants are gone. I think when we do the core, then um, the toxic gases go away. I think that's what happens. So yeah, let's do. Let's just do these things. I don't. I don't think we need them actually. So there's even any point of doing them. Okay, it's starting to get snow or cold with the first snow. <laughs> so, motivation will start to fall even more. The things to do that we can use to get motivation up. Let's do evening service. That's decent. Plus food, but I think it's worth it. I don't know what else we can actually do to increase motivation. I'm pretty sure there's some more laws, but I don't really want to sign them. Like cocaine pills and bare knuckle bouts. Um, yeah, I don't think we want to do those. Labour, dispensary, I'm pretty sure people can die on that. Extended shift, um, they'll have half a food ration. Propaganda, let's do, prop let's do propaganda. Um, I don't think we need any, but this increases efficiency all over the place. So, we want our things covered here so ideally we want it like we want it here that's where we want it so let's do a quick path up there and then we can put our agitator that covers a lot of things and then the other workplaces we could do one over here for the medical bays and the cookhouse i don't think that's really necessary I think I think up here. So we'll do a little little path around there. We'll do one. Well, ideally it would be it would be there ideally. There you go, and then that covers the two steel and the. The wood and we could have well you know what let's just put one up here as well we've got we've got enough stuff going for it so there we go oh something's happening uh oh uh oh I, just, I keep forgetting stuff like this happens we did do the fire stuff though didn't we fire in the core yeah here we go so um, use the fire dampers that we did. The generator will be of normal quality. Many workers will be gravely injured. Some process progress on the core will be lost. Yeah, we need to do that. One of these medical bays is not running because it's on zero efficiency. So we'll just put another one in there. That did set us back, but we've got 20 hours until it's done. So maybe like three days. So there it goes on short shift. Eight till four. That's a short shift. 
<laughs> right. I say it's a short shift. That's pretty much why I do at work. So, um, an engineer known for his criticism, um, he had it coming. The workers really don't like the engineers, do they? Okay, what else can we do? Protective structures. I don't think. Okay, I don't think we need. I don't think we need anything. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this charcoal kiln thing. Um. Oh, the hunting grounds has been depleted, so we'll send them to Lake Full of Fish. We'll be having fish for the next few days, which is fine. Okay, the agitators have been built. Motivation will be up. Absolutely beautiful. Cool. Charcoal kilns are now better. I guess we'll do advanced docks and that. Oh, change of plans. The frost is coming soon expected. Uh, in 12 days, stopping all navigation and fishing, cease all shipments in 10 days, start stockpiling food and materials. Okay, then an icebreaker will be coming in, in 18 days. So we've got, we've got, well, we've got to move. We've, we've got to move. Uh, the wilderness is starting to freeze over. Uh, it's getting a little bit cold. It, I'm, it just looks cold, doesn't it? You know what we could do? We probably should start building some stock. Uh, some stockpiles. Um, cool. Let's see. We've got heating. So I think we need to do these. Uh, what we're we doing? Advanced docks. We'll have bought that. I think we need to, like I said, start stockpiling some stuff. But before we do that, we we'll, we will basically do all of this. So let's do braziers, heaters, and then the insulation. And then we'll do the stockpiles. And then we'll go for heating again. More more laws to sign. But we won't worry about those. I'm, I'm really hoping this is not all going to go disastrously wrong now. That's what normally happens in Frostpunk. You seem to be doing well and then, then it all goes wrong. You're still six days ahead of schedule. So... That's done. We'll do heaters next. Oh, we've got eight people being uh, amputees, so let's order some of those and let's let's just get a couple of steam cores because there's no harm not to. They'll be there in a day. Um, ooh, what? I keep forgetting to put these on, um, so. We need 50 of those. We got, we've got the 20 of those. Oh, we got 50 of those. Okay, so we now can start thinking about the optional upgrade. So we need another 10, 25 of these. Let's do those first. So 15 there. Uh, these have reached there. I think that's finished now. Right, I think we need to... Oh, no, hang on. Nope. What's going on here? Oh, okay. That's what's happened. They've um, the f they can't deliver the food because we haven't got any space for it. So yeah, we will have to start doing stockpiles. Have we got? Oh, we have got resource depots. I didn't even realise. Okay, we'll do a bunch of these. We'll do four to begin with, and that'll be one for each each thing um leave the slogans on discontent is creeping up a little bit more than i would like but it's fine cool let's do food rations so they can deliver we'll do um wood we'll do coal and we'll do steel and now what's this Healthcare insulation again. We'll just do that. I I thought I thought we didn't have these resource depots for some reason. Saying that you can use these to kind of stockpile your stuff, like I said before. But 
I literally, you know what, I can't bother to keep that in my brain as well as everything else. So we won't do that. Um, how many more did we need of these? It was 26 and we've got 30. So I think we needed 45 more. Yeah, it was 45 more, so. You know, we'll just we'll just keep we'll just keep putting it on until until we get to 45. So these steel ones are the 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 steam sorry the steam ones, not the advanced ones. Motivation has gone up. We literally have got 18 people sitting around doing nothing. Um, wood, wood seems to be absolutely fine now. So I'm, I'm kind of lost at what to do. Healthcare has been done. Um, let's do healthcare installation two, and then we'll do improved heaters. Oh, transport has arrived. Ah, oh, you know what we could do? Put some people on these coal piles. Just collect those up as quick as we can. There's a lot of coal over there. I do have to remember they are over there. It's when it does go a bit colder and they're out there on the coal pile, they're gonna they're gonna freeze, and that ain't good. Cool health, mate. We are going through these so quick. Healthcare installations now have been researched. So yeah, we'll just we'll just continue doing this this tech tree. Time to this should be done tomorrow, and that puts us. We're still five days ahead of schedule. I think we just need to let it run. Just need to let it run now. People are getting hungry, but we've got a lot of food. I wonder. Let's you know what. Let's do some more. Um resource depots let's go one two three four what well, i'm a little bit worried about actually now 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 i've actually engaged my brain after how many two hours we may need to get more wood coming in so i want to upgrade that dock to uh the upgraded docks and then i am going to put a steam reloading station on both of those on both of the piles, that is. Can I do that now? I can do that on that one. Ooh, efficient burners have been researched. Let's see, improve the blowers. My favourite. And uh, well, we do need to build. We, we do need to build those braziers at some point. Uh, graffiti. Uh, let's do have engineers clean it up we have dipped below there so i'm going to use some of that to get motivation back up what else can we use to get motivation up oh there we go milestone three has been achieved we now need to assemble the generator um for that we do a thermal hole so we need two of these which we've got Um, we will keep it on. Oh, hang on! I thought the I thought the venom. Oh no! I thought toxic gas was going to be done by now. Oh, it is. There we go. I clearly, clearly know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I, I don't think I do, but I clearly do. So glad I'm glad to hear that toxic gases are done. So we can actually just dismantle these and get the steam cores back, and that will well give us more coal coming in, right? So that we can actually use to build the steam reload station when they do get when they do get dismantled. Let's set one of those as raw food, but still, 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 no, that needs to be that needs to be food rations. Okay, so let's yeah, let's continue with these here. Oh, what's that? Chaos rising. Mate, we have got it under control here. Nothing is going wrong at all. Cool. 
Cool. So let's get that other steam reload station down. Oh, we need workers. We definitely need workers. Do I do I bring more workers in? Oh, I don't know. No, we're not going to bring more workers in because, well, we're going to have to feed them. We're going to have to put like housing for them. We're going to have to like, you know, we're going to have to spend a lot of stuff on them to get them working, which we don't want to do. So we'll leave that for now. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I just hope it won't get any colder. Famous last words. The snow is coming in. Not ideal. But we now need to start building these heaters and stuff. So let's um let's start over here. We'll heat up that lot. We'll heat that lot there. We'll heat um that lot there. Now this is difficult to find out where to put these heaters, but we'll do that for now. Actually, we do need to put over there, over there as well. Don't need to heat those. Probably do with heating the medical bays. That'd be useful. And I think, I think that's good. I think that's good just depends how much coal will be burning. I mean, we've got a lot coming in, but those braziers aren't, they aren't on at the moment. So let's do improved heaters and then we can unlock the next level and do it. So it's all turning snowy and cold and the lush greenery is gone. Um, end of disease. Okay. House of pleasure will no longer raise motivation. There we go. We don't need that anymore. Oh wow, look at that. Motivation dropped dramatically. That was a Maybe they were getting a lot of motivation from the old house of pleasure. Cool, improved heaters have been researched. So automatic prototyping is expensive, but I think worth it. So we've got five workers from the house of pleasure there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these three off there. Put them on there. And well, what would be good actually is having a massive, massive stockpile of coal. So we might actually research. I'll research the rest of the heat and stuff, and then I'll research the the coal thing, right? What well, is a little bit concerning, put it on extended shift, is the progress, because we've got to do two of these. So how can we make that even quicker? Oh, we can use overdrive. We can use steam exchanges to do overdrive. Okay. But then we also want to do the additional upgrades, don't we? So yeah, let's continue just building stuff. Um, we needed uh, 25 of these. So we've got 20, so let's get another five. And, oh no, we've got 18, so seven more. And then we need 45 of the other ones and we've got zero. So, oh, let's get those. To, well, we need to get them up, right? I think using the overdrive will be a good idea. So automatic prototyping, advanced burners, um, again, coal reduction of 33% additional, absolutely amazing. We are doing, we are doing well, we are doing well. Um, construction would advance, what's that? Yeah, of course, there's no reason not to. So that's going to be finished in two days. Yeah, let's use one of those. Now it's just less than two days. We are out of steam exchanges though. That's fine. 
Just don't worry about it. Cool. Um, got boats coming in. Prostitutes are checked. Advanced burners research. I didn't think I'd say those three things in, in one sentence. Um, heaters, efficiency upgrade. We just need more. Still for that. But once once we're on that, all good. We've we've rocketed through that um, heat tech tree. We did that so quick, impressive. So have we got enough of these? I think we do now. We've got twenty. Oh no, we need twenty five. And we've got. Oh, we have got twenty five. I keep getting mixed up with the structural profiles and still composites. So I want to take these workers out here and start work on the one next to it. So we'll put extended shift on, put safety procedures on, and it's unhealthy. Okay. These are stuck again because we haven't got enough space in there, but that's all fine. That's like the least of our worries right now. Food, food is looking good. We just need to keep, keep kicking these things, don't we? Which is which is steel. Um, yeah, we need to get more steel. That's only fifteen percent efficiency. Twelve days. That's not going to cut it. We just need to get more people on it. Alarming rumors. Uh, let people talk. Have we got? Anything we can do with these. That does cover that. So that's good. I'm going to do that just to try and get motivation up. That's not a lot. Maybe I am missing something here with these. Selfless sacrifice. Now I don't know if that actually... um, You know... I don't think that is good because <laughs> you, like, I think people start dying if you use it. We'll use it when we need to, right? But I don't think we will. Troubled father, um, censor the letter. Well, we don't like, I don't really like censoring, but it is what it is. Cool. So I was going to say stockpile some stuff, wasn't I? But um, I was going to do a large resource depot. Let's do advanced supercharge. I think that'll be helpful for us to get to the um, to the generator, uh, like the perfect generator. I think that'll be that'll be good. Cool, so we've got a nice, nice little, like, city going on here. I like that. And then we've got, like, our workplaces over here. So we've got... A, I, I quite like this layout. And then we've kind of got, like, an off... Like, the workers district here. Cool. We can now get a bunch of stuff. I'm wondering if we just do... Some steam cores. Maybe some prosthetics. You know what? Having... We may let's do some more workers, right? We'll do twenty more workers. So we'll need to get some more tents in. So we'll go one, two. We have got crowded quarters on, but that's I'm hoping there will be enough for some more uh, some more people coming. Yeah. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We are not looking good on steel, and that's just because we are using a lot of it to get these done. Our motivation went up, and then it went straight back down. Oh, that's annoying. Do another law. Um, extended shifts cause less discontent. No, we won't worry about that. Administration. I think we're done for laws at the moment. Unless things get desperate, we won't we won't be signing anymore. So that's been done. 
I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's do infirmary just in case we need it, but I don't think we will. I could start bringing steel in. Yeah, let's start bringing. Oh no, hang on. Hmm. Maybe I need to do the advanced docks to get more steel in. It's just taking a long time to get steel. That's <laughs> that's the main thing here. Infirmary has been researched. Let's just hang back on research, right? Because that does take... I keep forgetting it takes resources to, to do that. Um, so, yeah, we're just, we're just waiting for workers. What I could do... Regular shifts everywhere. Mm, let's let's do that because that will lower discontent. What I'm going to do is just going to remove some of these engineers and put them in the medical bay just to make their efficiency like higher. This one's nearly done. Uh, we on normal shifts now, aren't we? Transport has arrived. Okay, so we've got those there. No one's hungry. No one's no no one's. <laughs> No one's homeless. Everyone's hungry. Maybe they're not hungry anymore because they went straight to get some food. All good there. All good. Uh, let's get some... I was going to say get more workers on here, but we can't. We've got one person doing nothing. What is, what is that? Engineer doing nothing. We always want to have... We always want to have, like, people doing something. You don't want them just hanging around doing nothing. Like doing nothing. What did I say? You really want people to do something. You don't want them hanging around doing nothing. Because otherwise it becomes a problem. Cool. I just want to get on to the next bit now. I just want to get on to the next bit. Saying that. What's going on now? What is going on? It's getting colder. Of course it is. It's frostpunk. I guess in the story, it never gets higher. Like the temperature never goes higher. We're now constantly at like minus twenty. I would like, I would, I would not be able to survive in minus twenty. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Now, do we swap the infirmary? I don't see the point because we are pr doing pretty well on caring for the for the sick so I don't know anything about putting an infirmary down if it's actually going to make a difference we won't worry about that um let's hope for the best oh hang on do we need the people's militia because I think people start going mental we're going to do it we're going to do it I think people start running for the docks and stuff Do we want them to just be able to go? Because we don't want anyone to get injured or die. Good old Aunt Sally. Who's Aunt Sally? No idea, but good old Aunt Sally. Oh, this must must be done soon. I don't know why these progress bars aren't showing any progress, but as long as as long as it gets completed, I don't care. Still five days ahead of schedule. Just another quick check. 45 of those. So we need another 14. Cool. We could actually put another one of these down. We could, yeah, we could actually put another like machine shop down to do double the amount, but you know what? I don't think we will need to. We'll advance it by 20. Uh, give the man his parcel. That's all good. We've got enough food rations. Last orders. Okay, so last order we can do. I don't think we need anything. It's another lot of prosthetics, I guess in case anything happens and maybe some stinkers there we go but yeah we won't be getting any more work because i don't think we need any more 
Oh, so one half is done. We put the rest on there. And I may start using uh, the advanced, like the boost, I think. So, again, we're in really good shape here. So, we can no longer get help sent. Food is coming in. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to get those in at some point. So, where's the still? To swap that still over to raw food. Probably should have thought about that because we need to stockpile some raw food. Um, resource depot. Again, let's, let's put a couple of those down. I'm going to stockpile raw food. So one will be for raw food, one will be for. Um, one will be for steel. Even though I don't think we need it for steel, but. Okay, safety or speed. We'll go for safety. The suspicious fire has caused us to, to be safe, but. I think it I think that stopped to work for two hours, but it's not working anyway, so that's fine. Um again we did have high motivation just for a second. Right, I really want to check the heat. Is everyone nice and toasty? I think we are. We've got um heaters we can use. Let's put a heater on that one. Put heaters on these as well. Um it's going to cost a lot of coal to do that, but I think it'll be worth it to stop people getting ill. And you know what? This might be, it might be a really good idea just to do the infirmary anyway. So I will get rid of this one. I'll get rid of this one. I'll put the infirmary in its place. Risky business taking the sick people out of the infirmary. Oh no. Uh oh, that's not good. The infirmary don't fit there. Oh, that's annoying. Um, get over it. Um, ah, that's really that's really annoying. I thought it was gonna fit in there. I could get rid of that and rebuild it. Oh no, you can't you can't get rid of it. Oh no. Okay, I guess we'll just put it over here. Put it over there and we'll put an infirmary. Uh, we'll put a brazier next to it. Hopefully those, those two people don't die because they're out of the medical post. Oh, that's really, that's really annoying. Um, people's militia. We will do that just because we Attention. may need it. Cool, so that's that's in. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Realised. We just had workers. Oh, hang on. We can now use workers in engineering places, but if we have them working in a medical bay, it's not good because they can accidentally kill people. I was wondering where we got 30, 39 engineers from these people just came back and I don't know what they brought however um, are they disbanded no nope, I think they're I think they're done let's just bring them back because that is now empty these ones down here we could go to them but I'm not gonna risk it I don't think we've got enough time Motivation rises, that's all good. Cool, so people's militia, we now need to upgrade that one there for that. And, oh, is this the last thing? Oh no. Okay, people are going to run off now. And this is why you need the people's militia. So you have more options to do. I don't know if it's a really good option to have the people's militia. We'll see. So if you stop them, yeah, you need the people's militia for that. I think people get hurt. 20% of 
um, workers and engineers leave, and motivation will fall greatly. So let let them go. We had a lot of people anyway, so I don't think that's too much of an ish. I still think we're good. And we'll put that on extended shift. And what is that? Five steam exchangers. What are steam exchangers? Those. We, why can't we use them? Oh, construction site is not active. Why is it not active? That's really odd. Uh, weird, but I'm hoping. Oh, it's not active because it's in the middle of the night. So I got really confused. Cool. We'll disband these guys. This will give us a few more workers than that. Not that we need them. We've got like just people doing nothing. We'll get that going as well. Um. I might as well put people in there. Let's just get people in all of these places. Oh, hang on. We won't have them on. We won't have them on the actual coal pile. Now we can put people in there, in there, and in there. Cool. So, oh, that's what happened, right? Everyone, like, someone, um, well, because people lot left, some of them left the actual workplaces as well. So. That's fine. I think everyone just realised we're the last. We're the last hope. Cool. So, should we use supercharge? Yeah, let's use it. We've got 23 hours until that's done. Um, what is? What is next? 45 of those, and we've got. Where we got 40. Ah, oh, we just need another five. We are doing we are doing well. We're doing very, very well. Uh, let's do they know what's best because discontent is minuscule. We are doing so well. Uh, what I will do is on resources. Uh, what was uh, I had a I had a good idea. Medical mechanization and infirmary checklists that's what we'll do and I could even you know what I'm going to do another infirmary because we've got so many resources another one of those and with that mechanization we can build them both up with the same amount of engineers that we've got here um, engineer will be hurt. Yeah, let's punish the engineer. We've got enough medical bays for them, so it's a bit <laughs> morally ambiguous, but oh well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll put five in there. We'll put the rest in there. Oh, we've got this medical bay as well. Let's get them out of there. I just hope he goes into the medical way. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, the, so when people get sick, they actually physically have to walk to the hospitals and that. And if they die on the way, then they die on the way. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. So that's why there's no point having your medical base like well out of the way because they physically have to go to it to be order uh, in order to get treated. So. Oh, it's getting colder. It's getting colder. Okay, so everything is still looking good. I don't know what else we can do really in terms of heating up. Saying that I know what we can do. We can put more braziers down. So we can heat. Actually, no. These are covered by a brazier, aren't they already? So, yeah, there's nothing really else we can do. I don't know how cold it gets. I'm wondering if it goes to the minus 50. The sea has frozen over, and if we need it, oh, I was saying that we might need it. Still, we can get steel from this shipwreck here, but the docks are now frozen over. So that's it. That's it for resources. And I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. 
Cold steel. There we go. Right. Just get this one done. Just get this finished. We've got four hours until it's finished, so that'll be done tomorrow. No, no, that should be done any second. We've got an hour left of the workday because we're on extended shift. Hour left to do it. Um, oh, I won't address that right now. If you do that, that is a death wish. I tell you. It's impossible to get all the um, homes like done. So we're not going to do terror. That's a weird show of force. Um, I don't think we need that either. We'll leave that for now because we're not we're not mean are we come on this must be stage five done it must be oh my god that must be on like 99.99999 percent crazy so we've got one amputee we've got in a lot of people sick so i think it was really good that we built these infirmaries and you know what we could actually build another one i'm gonna build another one because i think that's a good idea um let's build it i'll oh, build it over here again is that in range though no it's not in range of that i'm gonna move i'm gonna move that one move it a little bit over Wee, there we go. We've got it. Our toil is over. Well, it's not because we're going to go for the uh, perfect generator. But it is operational and we're, we're good. We did it. Well done. We are now going to go for the optional, the perfect generator. Cool. So we've got to wait for the rescue in five days. But um, while we're waiting for that, how do we do this? There we go. The riser system. Oh, you do it through research. Okay. So start that. Get those engineers in there. Good work. Good work. Good work. We'll get some engineers in there as well. So, is there any engineers working in places we don't want them to? No, I think we're good. So, that's 11 hours. Oh, this one hasn't been on extended... Oh, hang on. Oh, they're not on extended shift anymore, are they? Because we turned them all off. Okay, crazed preacher. Um, let him be. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We just don't want... Um, what don't we want? I... Uh, we don't want anything bad to happen to anyone this content dropped dramatically there we go let's add another one the generator overdrive and then i think we've got enough for the last one so we've got 20 and 15 um and that is yeah 20 and 15 sorted we've done that perfectly i don't know what else we can do we just need to wait out the storm um, we've got enough coal for it, I think. I think. Saying that, we should probably be a bit more efficient with these, right? Get rid of that one. And that should still cover all of the houses over there. It does. It does. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I am a little bit concerned. The food seems to go be going down quite a bit. So we've got about four days food, which is about four days food there. And we've got about four days coal. We've got four days coal. Oh my. Oh, this is going to this is going to come down to the wire. Um, it's going to be good though. It's going to be good. Discontent raises global strike risk. Doesn't matter. We don't need these anymore. Let's get them out. I think once we've researched the last thing for the generator then maybe we just get everyone out of work you all go home yeah let's yeah that's what we need to do now just get everyone out of these workplaces because they will be there um oh what the hell 
We need a revolutionary tribunal. Let's do that. We will have to sign Terra. I don't want to, but I don't want to kill the engineer. That's the thing. Um, so yeah, let's get these people out of all of these air, like places because they will be at these like workplaces doing work, and we don't want that because it just means we have to heat them. Um, so we can get rid of once we've done that, we can get rid of some of these. Um, you know, what's it called? The, there's a brazier around here somewhere which is heating all of these workplaces so we don't need that what is this motivation will rise oh yeah let's put that on didn't even utilize that oh my days so what we kind of want to do now is just keep motivation above 25 percent just so we've got that for here oh look we've got 50 oh it's minus 50 right luckily that's the lowest it goes uh low motivation Oh, it's low motivation anyway, so that's fine. We just need to survive until day 45, and then we'll be absolutely fine. And then that's the last thing. That is the last thing for the perfect generator. Let's just hope. <laughs> Let's just hope the food and the coal, like works what i'm going to do is going to turn that off because that is now taking coal unnecessarily so we'll save a bit of coal there um i'm trying to think where else we need to save coal it's just that brazier these two braziers here come on you got you over halfway on that on the research We've got people sick. They're going straight into the infirmary, though, so that's good. The infirmary is actually doing its job. Oh, my God, look, 48, 49, 50. Oh, my days, 50 people, 51 people sick, but they all got a space in the hospital, which is good. And that is because I think these are cold yet. Yeah. What is there's nothing we can do, actually. There's nothing we can do now. These are all comfortable. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I do need to pass that terror act. Um, um, execution place will lower strike risk. Each execution. Oh my god. One person we execute each day. No, I don't want to sign that. If we do pass terror or we let that time out, I think we'll let it time out and then, well, hopefully it doesn't matter. But we'll see. Oh no. I'm gonna let it time out and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't matter. I'm hoping like discontent will just fall. Okay. The generator is done though, that's good. The generator is done, we've got to survive for like two more days. One day, 22 hours. Oh, you know what actually? I'm gonna sign that law, but I'm not gonna build the execution place. Because I don't know if that's a, I don't know if we need to sign it or not. Okay, right, let's get these people out of here. because we need to now build the execution place in three days, but the icebreaker comes in less than three days. It comes in two, like basically two days. So we're fine for that. No one will die because we don't have to execute anyone. The execution place though is pretty, pretty sick. Um, <laughs> we totally know it's pretty sick. Uh, let's turn off that brazier. Turn off that. It's not gonna save as much coal, but Oh, you know what? We've got loads of coal. We've got loads of coal. Loads of coal. Five days of coal left. So I think that's pretty much done. We're just going to wait out the last day. Food is looking good. So we've got 250 people. You know what? I think if we had actually had, had the people's militia 
and those people didn't leave, I think we would have been in a much worse position. So it was good it was good that they actually left. So like feeding an extra fifty people or however many it was would have been I don't know, it would have been a bit touch and go, I'm not gonna lie. Would have been a bit touch and go. The work day starts. Glory to the working class. Man, this has been really good. Oh, there's a really cold tent there. Ah, it's fine. They can, they can, they can survive for another day, can't they? <laughs> no one has died as well either, which is good. The last time I said that in my last paper of the last album, someone died like basically instantly after saying that. But I think we're good. Uh, let's get these. Let's. I don't want to not. I don't want to dismantle it. I just want to turn it off. If, this, if you dismantle it, people have to go there and then they go out in the cold and they get sick. What's happened here? Missing lookout. Oh no. Um, let's look for him. Come on, we got we got to we got to find the lot. I said that, didn't I? I said no one's died and then someone's gone missing. Literally, I shouldn't have said anything. We have sent five people out though to look for them. Hopefully, they get back in time. I don't know where they've gone. Bait of the lookout. Um, as if, like, they're going after a polar bear. I think that's said. We've got five sick people, but they're not going in for some reason into the hospital. Oh, they are now. They are now. Cool. Motivation is going down, but there's no need to be motivated anymore. Like, the fate has been sealed. We've built the generator. We've put all upgrades on it. Like, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. No one has died as well yet. No one has died. I think that's pretty, pretty good. The shift begins, but it's, it doesn't because we are, um, we're done. We're done with this. It's, it's over. It's over. And there we go. The temperature rises. The icebreaker must come. I wonder what happened to the lookout at the end there. We did our best. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've waited so long for this day. I think everyone has, to be honest. The toil is over. No, let's be honest. The toil is just beginning. And it truly is a marvel. The generator is a... Uh, the kindling of a flame we did it we did it so i love these time lapses at the end this is our settlement how we built it how we survived and we did it so i'll leave this on but thank you so much for watching stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one The fall of winter home i feel like this is going to kick my butt because it is super difficult and i'm going to make it a little bit harder because we're going to go for the fully upgraded dreadnought i do not have a strategy for this except for get as many resources as quickly as possible because that dreadnought takes a lot of resources to get fully upgraded 
we have a city already built and we have to restore the city because the leader before us did a terrible job i mean look at the layout of this this place absolutely awful uh we will be getting rid of some of these paths to begin with um so yeah let's do that now actually this will clear up a bunch of space and give us some wood as well we're gonna try and get uh, gathering posts in wherever we can because we've got all of these like ruins here we need to collect up and I do want to clear all of those out because that's going to give us space to build I feel like focusing on the middle is going to be more beneficial to start with uh, but saying that we've got so many workers and we've got child labor as well signed so we've got enough workers to do whatever we want really uh, so let's continue clearing this out just for now. How many wood we've got? Uh, 86. Let's go for a little bit more. I'll try and get to 100 wood. Hopefully I can do that. I mean, the layout over here is not too bad apart from that bit there. Oh, I haven't Oh, I haven't disconnected anything really. In fact, yeah, I think that's fine. We've got 95. We'll, just, we'll start with that. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to do as well is do a snow pit. I just want to relocate this and I'm going to put that over where well, it needs to be out of the way really. Let's put these uh, next to our hunter's hut over here. Cool. So the snow pit is over there because there is one right in the middle somewhere. I can't see where it is. Ah, it's right there. Okay, so we need to get rid of that when the other snow pit is built because we cannot do it at the moment. So. A great start 82 of our people have died already <laughs> that's not my fault all right not my fault um but the remaining people that are alive can go straight to work we've got a lot of workplaces already built um like i said we've got child labor so any gathering posts or cook houses i'm gonna put uh children in i don't know if that's a good idea or not but i will find out in a minute right so first technology we're gonna do is going to be more scouts or I should probably employ engineers uh, yeah so we'll get more scouts on the go because I want to be exploring that frost land as quickly as possible and also we've got quite a lot of sick people so let's get all of these medical bays up and running and I'm gonna put heaters on these as well just so they are good to go I'll turn on the generator we're on minus 30 because we do need to have the generator on it from minus 30 and we've got gravely ill people i don't want anyone to die so first of all i'm gonna do radical treatment that's gonna be the first one to do cool, and i think we're pretty much good to go a couple of more workplaces to get children in uh, that's all good and like i said we've got so many we've got so so many um uh people can pretty much do whatever you want so first of all let's get scouts out i'm gonna to go to weather station because i think there are survivors there oh we've also got a um a, an outpost bringing coal in we can only have one outpost and i literally never use outposts but i think i'm gonna use outposts on this scenario uh, because i uh well i never seem to get enough steel i'm gonna clear up this as well because we've got a steel like a steel deposit over there and then we need to get some gathering posts down in other places this is the annoying thing about this scenario it takes so long to get set up um oh i've only got <laughs> only got enough wood to do two two gathering posts let's get rid of some more paths uh, i feel like we can go down here and across here and maybe across there yeah look at this we need to be so careful uh, let's do that one and oh, we've got like a double double path there we'll get rid of that let's get rid of this here as well and that one and i think we can get rid of that one yeah okay looking good we've got some more some more uh wood for paths now which is good and can i get one more gathering post in uh where is the gathering post here it is uh, where can I put this? Oh, I was, I'll put it in the middle here with the snow pit when that gets built. So let's get playing. I would like to get overcrowding as well. So we can get more people in the medical bays. 
but I feel like a lot of people are going to get <laughs> are going to get sick this first night, so not ideal. We'll, we'll go with it. But that's been built. This has been built. It's good. Has the snow pit been built? It has, so we can literally get rid of this one uh, because that is that is way too close to our city. And in fact, that was in the heat zone. The heat zone's on heat zone three. Oh. Not ideal, but we'll go with it. Uh, right, gathering post in the middle there. And then let's actually get people on these ones in the middle because we want to, well, we ideally want to relocate the housing into the middle of, of the map. Um, so we can so we can utilize the heat from the generator. Look, we've got so many like uh, tents and stuff out here. In fact, they are chilly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a steam hub out here ASAP. Uh, so we'll do, uh, maybe we need two. Yeah, let's do one there and then we'll do one up there as well, just to cover all of those houses. And maybe we should do the same over here because I don't want people getting cold overnight in the tents. And we've got enough coal and stuff coming in. And I think, it, I think that's, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Okay. I th the majority of houses are covered or tents are covered. So I'll go with that. So this one, do less harm. Uh, yeah, we've got so many engineers. We don't need them. And we are still collecting up wood and stuff. So let's get another gathering post down. Uh, so just what I don't really mind about where they're going. I just need to get this stuff collected up ASAP. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oh, delete that path. That's fine. I'm hoping I can fit one in there. I can. Look at that. Amazing. Um, what have we got here? Oh, the, the coal has come in, but it's got nowhere to go. So what I actually will do is put a couple of resource depots down. Um, these can be outside of the heat zone. So I'm just going to whack them down here. I have like a, a, like a line of them. Maybe go into this area here as well. So this will just allow us to stockpile some coal when uh, when stuff is coming in and more scouts have been researched so let's get another bunch of people going out um, where do I want to go snow cliff let's go snow cliff and let's get kids in there right the next thing we need to think about is food we need to stockpile a lot of food a lot of steel essentially we need to stockpile a lot of stuff <laughs> so uh, how many people we've got? 66 people left. Um, let's just get them on any of these ruins. I think that's going to be a good idea. So these have reached that. So we're going to bring the engineers to the city. If we don't escort them, some will die. And and essentially, you need <laughs> you need as many engineers as you can on this uh, on this scenario. Uh, what's this? The end of weather forecast. Oh no, we don't know what the weather's going to be doing. Um, but, right, that's not good because I have, I have no idea how, how the weather works on this or on this scenario. Uh, we've got a wall drill. I'm going to put the wall drill down as well. I don't see any harm in doing that. It does use a steam core, but it doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we've got more gathering posts up. Let's get kids in there. Uh, we've got another one pop up there and yeah let's set that to coal and i think we're good to begin with um cold homes i literally never do cold homes it's sign yourself a death wish um oh i should probably say the objectives <laughs> we've got to get rid of at least 30 ruins raise hope to 50 percent and reduce dis discontent to 25 so we'll think about doing that in a bit uh, the next one we will do faster gathering we need 10 wood for that though uh, that's fine, we can just delete some more stuff around here. Uh, yeah, that's nine wood. Oh, so close. We'll get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that as well, in fact. Uh, get rid of that. And get rid of that. <laughs> There's a lot of useless paths around here. Get rid of that as well. Okay. Let's do um, what we're going to do we were going to do we were going to go in the workshop weren't we <laughs> that's what we were going to do 
uh, faster gathering just because we want to gather this stuff up as quick as possible and um, we have got 33 engineers so i'm thinking about doing some more medical posts right, i've got another law to sign as well overcrowding i was going to do overcrowding wasn't i i'm thinking maybe we do emergency shift no let's do overcrowding first because i don't want anyone to die and this will give us enough capacity to squeeze everyone in oh we've got we've got engineers that are homeless at midnight which is not good let's get them a tent so ideally these need to be in the, in the heat zone um i feel like this is just gonna be very oh no we're out of wood <laughs> we're out of wood not ideal hoping we'll uh, get some more well we'll have some more like, resources coming in fairly quickly i mean we've got the wall drill haven't we so let's get people on there we'll fill that up with engineers as well these guys have reached the snow cliff let's explore that uh what a steam core nice uh to the lone boulder like i can see a lone boulder over there let's go to it it's the only thing for miles i guess you would do that all right minus 40 let's put steam level up to two and we need to we need to get these we need to get these tents down uh so right yeah that's good up there let's get a path to it as well what's going on over here first amputee right we need to do care house and prosthetics so those are the next two laws to sign because if you've got amputees and you get that message then uh, you need to have prosthetics signed to prevent anyone from dying uh, we've got a kid in the ruins not ideal so we'll get engineers on there and i'm actually going to put down a couple of workshops i want to get this research done fairly quickly as well we'll put these in heat zones if we can fit them in get one there we'll do three cool that's all good food people are getting hungry but we have got food rations We've got a lot of food rations in fact however we do need to stockpile some someone's got frostbite not ideal over there ah it's because it's um because it's very cold over there okay everywhere else is fine it's just that place i don't mind about that we've got the well i say we've got the capacity in the in the medical bays we don't really we need a maybe one more uh fewer amputations that's all good that came from the uh, little choice we made earlier uh, send these to the broken tree and uh let's do let's do um steam steel works might be a good one to do next because like i said we need a lot of we need a lot of resources so yeah i'm gonna do steam steam steel works and get that down as soon as we can that should be cleared hopefully tomorrow maybe uh, some ruins have been cleared uh, i was going to do another medical post wasn't i let's get that down i would like to swap out the medical post for infirmaries at some point but they do take steam cores so it might be a little bit tricky we are actually um removing quite a few things here ah what's that okay so we fill up on resources so this is why we need these resource depots because if you don't have these the people just will not like pick up anything because there's nowhere to put the stuff so i'm just gonna have a little bank of stuff over here uh, these guys have reached a lone boulder nothing to do there of course it isn't and enter the shrouded cave I would like those those uh, lighter scout sleds to be fair so uh, let's set that one for steel that one for wood do this one for coal and this one will do f right we need to we need to do food now we haven't got no food oh dear this is looking good here for now i'll keep this how, how it is 
and we've got like a couple of well, we've got three coal mines we can put down that might be useful and then medical post no food hunters huts that's what we need we get hunters huts going uh, we've got enough people for it so a few of these um a few of these ruins have actually been depleted so you can actually use those people for something else uh, nothing to do with the broken tree oh okay right the steel bridge this is where we can get an automaton but i have a tactic for this okay <laughs> so we'll we'll discuss it in a bit oh what's this oh generators run out of coal okay not not ideal we'll leave it for now but that's not that's not good we need to get these okay that's good we got the coal coming in now we'll put it on heat level two and i'm going to put it on just heat zone whatever it was two that's fine now these ones they can deal with being cold okay that's fine uh, nice we saved that kid in there a lot of stuff has happened so a lot of more uh, ruins got um, picked up which is good and oh, they've got raw food nice so I'm gonna actually bring this raw food back that will be very useful in fact, that'll be very useful to come back um, and then we need to do care house yeah we need to do care house and prosthetics that's what we need to do right what else was i going to do here it might be a good idea to do medical post upgrade and flying hunters industrial it to be fair we be a good thing to do everything so i'm going to do lighter scout sleds that's probably the best thing to do at the moment and again a lot of, a lot of resource piles are actually um getting picked up so gathering post this has got nothing to pick up now what's happened here child injured oh no uh give the kid a day off He's, he deserves it we'll get rid of that as well because that's got no gatherable resources and we'll actually just move those to somewhere else so uh, let's do well ideally we want to be picking up everything i'll move those over here that one over there Let's do that there, that there. There's <laughs> so many, so many things. And that one there, and that one there. Now that is way too many uh, resource. Uh, well, I say that. I was going to say that's probably only too many gathering posts for how, however many people we've got, but I don't think it is. I think we'll be able to fill it all up. And that will be every single resource uh, in fact every single ruin uh, every single ruin covered so that would be good let's again let's just use the kids for this because we can use the adults for more dangerous stuff uh, that's good that's good so I need to I need to think about food food more because we are we keep running out of food oh we've got one person uh, yeah we've got one person homeless and that is because we actually uh, cleared the ruins and the kid came out of it so I'm gonna get rid of the pub for now and I'm actually gonna get rid of that cook house because I want to I want to start laying out this uh, this city a bit better so put paths where I can I need to get tent I just need to get one tent down really actually we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the um the pub to clear first before we do that uh, again let's get people in here people in here oh let's get that's right that's been resource uh, research what other things can we do uh, resource depot upgrade I think would be a good idea like uh, we need to actually think about stockpiling some of this stuff for the dreadnought let's add those there and they've reached the automaton so this is the steel bridge we can send the automaton to the city but i'm going to leave it on duty because what it does it clears the snow 
and we are well it opens up this iron deposit so i'll go to snowy hill first and then we'll go iron deposit and we'll think about doing a outpost a bit later on right it's getting very late so i do need to build that um build that tent so let's do that i was good right the plan was actually to move stuff into the center of the city that's like the tents and stuff I might leave them where they are. I don't see any reason to, to move them. Uh, because we've got like some bunk houses already and stuff. I think if we just cover them with... Ah, uh, saying that, if we if we like move them to the middle, we can get rid of some of these steam hubs, you know. So that would be very useful. Uh, I am actually going to do a care house because I need to do that. Uh, are these covered? Yeah, everything everything is covered now. So yeah, I'll put the care house down. I'll put that in the middle and I'll do a couple of medical posts as well in the middle. Nice, right, they've come back. They've come back. That's good stuff. They brought the 100 food with them. Uh, freshwater springs, that gives you food source, I think. But we'll go to the Dreadnought and we'll, we'll get food just from hot houses and stuff. So we are getting a lot of people back. Uh, the generator has run out of coal again, so I think I think we need to think about coal. <laughs> Let's get engineers in there. And this out, hang on, this outpost didn't have anyone in there. That outpost is still doing coal, right? Where are they though? Okay, I think right, it's still there apparently. I guess that's a good thing. We just need to get that generator turned back on. Uh, protective mother. Uh, yeah, let her have the day off. That's fine. Okay, it's cold. It's it's warmer. It's warmer. That's a good thing. Right, scene level two on that. Right, we're back and cooking so we've reached the dreadnought we'll take the resources there but this is what we have to upgrade um in terms of going further afield well we'll just we'll just continue exploring right uh, storm show i think there's i think there's people there don't quote me on that though um yeah i think maybe thinking about coal will be a good thing Ah, right, we've got to clear these ruins before we can use those coal deposits, but that's fine. We've got we've got one being built. Uh, so that's research, so we'll be able to store more stuff. All good. And I wonder if we go steam. Uh, no, let's do... Right, I think we need to do medical post upgrade and start thinking about infirmaries because we've got a lot of sick people uh, oh cookhouse yeah let's let's do that because their efficiency boosting by 40 percent is actually really good we do need to we do need to get hope to rise it's about 25 percent at the moment okay again we've got lots of lots of resources lots of um stuff being picked up so we're looking good here And we'll have a nice old, big old space over over this area to, to build stuff in. I'm thinking maybe I should do uh, uh, cook houses or something. Uh, not cook houses. Um, hot houses. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Uh, the last camp. These guys are going right into the mountains, aren't they? Ah, sweet. Right, we've got um, engineers coming back. So we'll bring them to the city. Again, if you send them on their own, then they could die. It's not good. And the coal mine is now up and running. Absolutely fantastic. Hungry people are getting fed, but we've this is the thing, right? We've got a lot of people to feed. We've got a, we've got a hell of a lot of people to feed, so not good. Um, so yeah, let's think about doing food stuff now. And we've got the steam still works. 
I'm going to put that down, that down there as well. So we've got two steam steelworks on the go. And then we'll have a steel outpost to do as well. Then we'll have three of these. Is that getting picked up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually getting picked up over it. No, it's not. Okay, right. We'll get people in there. Put one there. We'll put one there. <laughs> There's a few things I missed out, but that's that's fine. I'm just very concerned about this coal. What I might do is put it on heat level one. That will extend the life a little bit. And then we were going to sign prosthetics, weren't we? That's the next thing to sign. So that prevents someone from dying. But also we can uh, take all the amputees and get them get them prosthetics, which is good. Uh, these guys send them along. They're picking up some good resources there. Saying that, let's build some more housing. I'm going to do bunk. Uh, hang on. All right, I'm going to do. A, I'm going to do a little experiment. Okay. So ten wood. For that, if I dismantle it, you get eight wood. Okay. I'm going to do bunk houses from now on because we will get a little bit of steel back when we dismantle them. And we will be dismantling, dismantling them later on because we just won't need them. But I'm hoping bunk houses is going to be enough to stop people from getting sick. Uh, so that's run out of resources 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 oh my oh my days that's run out of resources what's going on over here oh no someone someone's trapped uh they have reached the city is that covered that is that is covered right but i'll put people on there anyway because that'll speed it up right let's get children in there children in there and that Oh, children in there as well. And then that should be everything. <laughs> that should be everything. I do need to think about getting hope up now. Uh, double rations for the kids. No, no. We need all the food we can get. So, yeah, talking about food. Let's get some more hunters. Uh, hunters huts down. What is this here? Oh, it's a gathering post. I'll dismantle that for now. Because that is actually gathering... That is actually gathering coal from the coal thumper. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to relocate it to there. And now we've got flying hunters. Okay, let's get flying hunters on the go. Everywhere that can be a fly flying hunter is going to be a flying hunter. And then I'm going to put like an extra two down. This may be a little bit overkill, but I'm telling you, <laughs> we need a lot of food later on uh, that's cool that steam still works is now operational what's this one why is generator to be active oh the generator is not even on sorry guys i didn't realize <laughs> i didn't realize uh hope will rise slightly that's good um we've got people i guess hidden in the <laughs> hidden in the ruins let them be Discontent will rise, but it's not over twenty-five percent. That's okay. So yeah, I need to get um, I need to get hope up now. That's going to be the thing. We've got five days, five days left to do that, which is which is fine. Um, people are hungry. Well, let's feed them. I feel like I can do that. We need to feed everyone and then stockpile three hundred and two food with the new hunters, with the new fine hunters we just put down. That is, that is achievable. Uh, cool, we've got more resources there. Send them on. These guys came back. So I'm going to send them to... Um, let's send them over... No, let's send them back over here. Because this will open up the iron deposit. And then we can send them over to these... Like this rock formation and then freshwater springs. I think that will be the plan. so that's all good there so this coal is getting collected by these two and then we've got the coal mine i'm pretty sure we've got another coal half thumper somewhere else this gathering post can just go that's absolutely fine this one should be should be gone in a minute um 
Right, workshop. What were we doing? I'm going I'm going crazy. I'm going all over the place. <laughs> I'm just trying to do it as quick as possible. Possibly uh, we don't need factory just yet. We might need it a little bit later. Hunting tactics, I think that reduces the amount of people. Yeah, it does. I'm thinking, you know, let's do... I think we need to focus on resources. So let's do let's do generator efficiency, and then we'll we'll go for the resources after. That's what we'll do, because generator efficiency is basically going to give us more more coal to to use. So ah, people are actually starving now. It's not ideal. Just hold on for one more day, all right? The food is coming. We've got so many hunters out there flying around collecting up food it should be should be um, a buffet when you get back don't worry about it okay we've reached there we'll move on to the iron deposit like I said I'm going to leave that automaton there for now we've got see we've got a lot of people not doing anything we ideally need to get them in somewhere That can go like that. Put one more person in there. Okay, so this has now been depleted. I think that's where the... No, I thought that was where the coal mines were. No, the coal mines are over here. I'll tell you, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. How much food did we bring back? Not a lot. For what we would... I not as a lot um, not as much as I was expecting. Let's 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 say that. Um I'm gonna put three cookhouses down. Again, that may seem a little bit overkill, but we need to get um we need to get making food. Uh, so yeah, let's do resources, steam coal mine and steam wool draw I do next. What's what's that? I don't know what's going on divided in death okay we want to get hope up that's what we that's what our thing is isn't it now okay we've man these these guys are running around out here all the time okay so <laughs> they've reached the iron deposit so we've got a the ability now to do an iron outpost which will be very useful uh, these guys explore the barren hollow are these actually coming in? I don't even know if these are, are coming any anymore. So how strange! Um, I swear they were like meant to be there forever. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Uh, we need to move these along as well. <laughs> so right, let's uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, right, people. People need more food. <laughs> I'm gonna do pot houses. Uh, that's gonna be our next next thing. Um, we've got a nice heat zone over here. We can use. Don't want to use up all of the, the steam cores though, because they they take one steam core each. So yeah, let's get people in there. And you know what I'm gonna do as well. I'm going to get another coal mine down and I'm going to do more flying hunters. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so let's get those. We can kind of use the paths already now because we don't really have to lay out the city that well. Um, let's do that and that there. All houses are covered, I think. Or all tents are covered by a heat zone. This one's run out of resources so we can get that up. And scouts again have reached somewhere else okay so two steam calls would be very good but we could die so i'm only going to do what we can be what we can safely take i'm not going to risk it i'm not going to save scummy either because it's a bit scummy <laughs> normally i would normally i'd be saving and that but i can't i can't be bothered today i just want to do this quick as quick as possible and uh we'll be good to go let's get children in there and this other hot house up and running. And I'm suspecting 
the temperature is going to drop very soon because <laughs> we haven't had a temperature drop in a while. We pull back a, a bunch of steel, that's good, but it's it, the thing is, it's not a lot of steel. That's the thing. This is why we need a, a lot more. Um, yeah, we've only got 500 steel coming in. I don't know how much that steam steel works makes a month. Makes a month like it's a flipping job. How much it makes a day or it produces. Okay, right, we've got another law to sign. We need to get we need to get hope up. Now I'm gonna use faith. Faith is a bit OP, I'm not gonna lie. But this scenario is hardcore, so I don't mind using it. Uh, that will go yeah, that'll be pretty good there. And I'll cover as many people as possible. That right in the middle there would be would be perfect. Well not perfect, but fine. You know what? Let's do we could just we could just do so many. That's it. That would be that would be plenty. I just want to get that hope up as quick as possible, and then we can move on to the next bit. So we're about thirty percent on hope, which is decent, and it's colder. Like I said, I, I was I was anticipating this. It's minus fifty. Okay. Steam level three. Let's put it on three as well. And there's a bunch of cold. Actually, no. Do we need it on three? No, we don't. There's some cold. There's some cold homes. So I'm going to swap everything that's freezing out for a bunkhouse. I don't want them getting freezing overnight. And then we've got these two up here, which are which are freezing so put heaters on those so how much is a heater one coal every hour and that is three coal per hour so it's going to be better to have yeah it's going to be better to have two heaters on there oh we need to change we need to change one of these resource depots to <laughs> to um food because we can't actually store enough food um that's not good just put a bunch down here and while we're at it we've got the church we can use this sermon to get that hope up a little bit more and then it, it might be a little bit tight here we've got one day five oh no that's for that's for the food okay the food should be fine so let's get that as well we'll do all these food rations right maybe a bit overkill on the food rations but we're doing overkill on everything so it's all good absolutely all good uh, okay nothing to do there rest in hulk nothing to do there either oh my god we're going to the mass grave i think one of these yeah that one's got quite a bit of resources uh got three steam cores there that'd be very useful when it comes back. Okay, so we've got enough food. We just people go and need just people need to go and eat it. <laughs> that's that's the next problem. Well, hope is so close. Hope is so close. Uh, right. So we did the didn't do steam. Didn't we do that last time. I remember what we did last last time. Uh, steam wall drill. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually change the outpost now. Because I think that is not, not doing it. So these guys can go to the iron deposit and we're going to start bringing in steel. And hopefully that will be good. So again, we've got a lot of people doing nothing. Uh, oh, even more steam cores. All right, that's really good. Let's get these back. Let's get these back and uh, put to use. Uh, cool. Rest in hope. Nothing much there. And bring those back as well. Cool. The only last thing we need to do is freshwater springs. So we'll, we'll head out there, but I don't think there's anything to do out there, really. 
can't use that for another two days. Got two days, 17 hours left before we need to get that hope up. Those cookhouses just need to, to work. Okay, that was good. <laughs> I was going to say, they're running out of time to feed everyone, but luckily everyone was fed. Hope rises. Ah, okay, and that is hope restored. Absolutely amazing. Uh, examine the generator. So this is where we have to do um, like the repair station. The generator is going to start deteriorating. In fact, it already, it already has started deteriorating. We just need to uh, repair it. So what were we doing here? resources steam wall we'll let that go first but then we need to do this repair station up here and then we just need to get all the engineers on there having a, having a look at it okay what's going on right let's get this steel coming in the iron deposit outpost is now up so that's 200 steel every one day decent amount decent amount these guys have put stuff back so yeah we're going to send them to freshwater springs i don't think I don't think there's anything there. There, mi there might be food because it, I think it does let you set up a food outpost. But we shall see. We shall see. Uh, cut off his leg. That's fine. Don't want him to die. Steam wall drill has been researched. Okay. Let's get that in. And we need to get... Probably need to put heater on that as well. We're doing okay, you know, for... We're doing okay for um, sick people, so that's good. I think this might be the time to go down extended shift. <laughs> I think this is going to be the time to do it. Uh, that's cold. I think, you know what, I will leave it at cold. And then let's get the uh, repair station underway. That should, that should be researched fairly quickly. That's good. We do need to get more food coming in, though. I said we've got we've got a lot of food to produce in the end so let's do more hunters or flying hunters hangers i'll do another four i would have done five if i could if i could have fit it in but i couldn't so we'll just go with that for now you know what would actually be really useful as well it would be one of those big big old resource depots because we're filling up on steel and I don't I need well, I need more steel basically <laughs> that's what we need well these have come back so we can actually disband those they don't really need to do anything else uh, so yeah let's get rid of those Moves us another five people and then ah, there is raw food here oh and we go forward okay but yeah there is a like a food outpost there so I don't think we'll be using that because we've got all these food like food producing things in our city now 625 people is a lot of people to feed it's a lot of people to feed oh wow okay generator is off that's not good um right we need to we need to think about these steam steam coal mines we've got three of them three must be enough Come on, we got, we've, we've got coal coming back in now. It's not enough. It's not enough to keep the generator on. Okay, right. The extended shift is coming. Okay, the extended shift is coming. Sorry, guys, but it has to happen. It has to happen at some point. Our discontent is so low, so I'm just going to put everything that we can on extended ship so this is going to be quite difficult to see where everything is but it will be worth it like it literally will be worth it this content is rising at a rapid rate but we can actually just get rid of the extended shift in it um and it will actually go down by the same amount so i'm not too worried about putting these on extended shift absolutely fine uh, what's there there is nothing there so we're going to frozen forest cool uh what is what's that no gatherable resources and that is because that is empty okay that's fine just need 
Ah, it's on 20%. It's on 20%. Okay, right. I think we're, we're good at the moment. This is the repair station. Yeah, repair station is good. Um, We need more resource. We need more resource depots. That's what we need. Just get repair station on. Steam coal mine. I'm going to put one of them on extended shift. Uh, sorry, the 24 hour shift. Because we need. Uh, we need it working. We definitely need it working. And now this can go on those so they actually go to work. And the cook houses as well need to need to have heat. Oh, I think it's because okay, we ran out of coal again, okay. We ran out of coal an awful lot, <laughs> which is not ideal. Um right, we've got the repair station. Let's put thirty well. Let's let's do that. We're not going to fill it all the way up because we've got sick people to deal with. Actually, interestingly, amputees. How many have we got? I'm wondering. Well, it would be nice to see if they're an engineer, like if they're an engineer or a worker, because if they're all engineers, potentially another 38 engineer sees. Uh, cool. So the last Dreadnought Chief Engineer of the team investigating the cause of generation malfunction takes you aside. Uh, basically, we need to <laughs> we need to leave the city. He's telling us. Maybe. And by maybe means we definitely do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do factory. I'm gonna start getting amp uh, prosthetics for these amputees. And while we're at it, I am gonna actually put more. Resource depots down. I have like a little little field of resource depots over here. And they're gonna be doing steel, I think. I don't know if you need wood for the dreadnought, I can't remember. But there's 298 of it there. So let's bring that back to the city. That's all good. These are yeah, these are just haven't got anywhere to put the steel, so once that's done. I'll be bringing another bunch. So yeah, let's get still coming in. Okay, we're looking right. We're looking pretty good. I say that just as someone died. What has gone on over it? An amputee suicide. Oh no, did I not sign prosthetics? Oh, I did. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened then. Oh well, is what it is. Um, right. That's so random. I didn't realise. That could happen when you had prosthetics signed. Anyway, he missed out. The temperature is just rising. It should have. It should have. Should have held on for one more day. Uh, okay. Now I'm thinking food add additives. Now this is a bit of a controversial one. I don't. I never use food additives, but this will help us produce a lot more food. People are going to get ill though. I think our medical facilities are going to be up to it. And I think we're going to need more resource depots. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, let's do let's do more of them over here. Do another four, and that's going to be for food. Factory has been researched. These guys have come back. So again, nothing for nothing left for them to do. So we'll go we'll go with that. Uh, so right, let's get these amputees back to work. I think that's going to be a good tactic to do now. Uh, we want this in a heat zone. That will do there. Yeah, the generator report is ready. What is going on? It's dead. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just broken. It's broken. Oh my god, look at that hope drop. Oh no. I, th I was thinking um, discontent would rise, but... It is what it is. Okay, so let's have a think. Work efficiency will fall by 10% if we do that. I don't want to do that. 10% is that a lot? It is quite a bit, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to do I know of a, I'm going to lie. I do know of another C because <laughs> because I think I know how to get out of it. Uh, we do need to build the evacuation centre now. This goes down here can find it then for a minute uh, but yeah we're this is where we prepare 
to get people out of the city and we should be uh i think we're in a pretty good pretty good state at the moment i'm gonna do oh hang on i'm thinking about doing infirmary i'm gonna do infirmary because we have got a lot of sick people oh my we've got a lot of sick people <laughs> i didn't realize uh, we've got repair station improvements we can do as well, which is fine. Uh, right, let's get engineers off here. We don't need them on there just for now. But we'll start using some of this still to do prosthetics. We've got 37 to make. That's a lot, isn't it? Uh, 370, 370 still, that's not too bad. But it will give us an extra 37 people to work with. And I'm hoping some of them are going to be engineers. Right, so here we are. We're going to be evacuating everyone. We need to send... First of all... 25 engineers. So... Where have we got them? We've got some here. Actually, we'll, we'll leave those till last. Because we have got some actually working in... Uh, like gathering posts and stuff, haven't we? So, no, we've got four up here. Um... Let's see where else we've got. Okay, I thought we had more people. Ah, we've got eight in there. Okay. Get those out. Uh, we can stockpile some coal here. I'm getting distracted. I'm literally getting distracted. More food rations. This coal... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Oh no. Like I've got a lot of yellow bars as well, which means efficiency is down across the board right we've got 12 free so i'm thinking let's take them off here so we need another well let's put okay we've got 11 on there that's fine so let's get these sent to the dreadnought and send those and well Hopefully we're in a good state. I feel like we're in a good state. Off goes the old uh, train. I think that's called the Creve Niche. If, you, <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, I love the Creve. It's such a weird name. I don't know what it means. But um, it's on its way to the Dreadnought. It's all good. And we did have the infirmary, didn't we? So, yeah, let's... Oh, we don't have any steam cores. Ah, that was a bit of a pointless pointless research thing um uh, whatever it's fine just don't worry about it we will do the repair efficiency upgrade because that will be useful I'm trying to think where we can get a steam core from i guess one of these now nah, but we need them we need them there i wonder if we can take let's dismantle one of these the hot houses And I'll replace, I'll use the steam core we get from there with the, um, with the infirmary. Okay, we've got another one of these we can do. So, I am thinking organ transplants because that gives us the 20% boost to efficiency on all of our medical places. And... Yeah, let's let's put down the infirmary now. We again we'll put it in a heat zone over here. I don't think I've been that efficient with with the coal, but we are gaining, which is good. Uh, we are on minus thirty though. <laughs> we are only on minus thirty. Uh, okay, let's get a couple of these out. Put them in there, and that will work much quicker. That's good. And again, we need. I need to stockpile this, these food rations. Okay, so that's all good. Repair efficiency has been upgraded. Seven hours till they get there still. To the uh, Dreadnought. Emergency repair. I'm thinking maybe we now do... Right, we don't need those. We don't need any of these, I don't think. Coal, coal mine optimization. No, I feel like that's unnecessary. 
maybe oh maybe these insulation ones now insulations would be pretty good because it basically gives you a free heat zone for nothing so yeah i think that's going to be the tactic to go with and i you know what i think we're good with food because once we start evacuating people out of the city then we will be able to like we don't have to feed as many people so we'll be able to stockpile more food uh cool the first crew is in place we've got 25 engineers there we now need to send steel to fit out the dreadnought send food rations and send a steam core okay so we do need a steam core <laughs> right what do we do what do we do where do we get that steam core from did this take a steam core yeah it does okay right that's interesting that takes two steam cores. I wonder if we swap that for a, just a normal wall drill. We could do that. Or we swap one of these steam coal mines. Yeah, let's do. Let's get rid of that, and then we'll put a normal coal mine there. Uh, right. But what do we need to do first? We need to send steel to it. So let's go to cabins. We'll send. No, nope, we don't want to send all the steel. We'll send 300 steel like it says and then we need to send food rations i'm wondering do i just send all of the food rations and then that gives us you know what i'm gonna probably say yes and maybe do the same oh, actually no sorry right so we can only send like 2500 resources at, at a time right so i'm gonna do Oh, hang on. No, let's do a thousand steel. No, let's do one. Let's let's just do this, that, and then as much food as possible. And then we do need to send the steam core as well, don't we? Which we will get in a minute once that has been dismantled. Okay, that's been dismantled. So <laughs> let's get the normal coal mine back in back in place, and then send one steam core. And we can actually start sending people. So I'm going to send 50, 50 children. So they're not doing anything. So I'm just going to send them off. Off it goes. Into the unknown. And uh, good luck, I guess. Just send 50 children on there with no adult supervision. Um, this guy knows... Um, he knows about our lies. We have to agree to his demands, I think. So we'll have to send two children and two engineers on the next um, evacuation train, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's do some other heat things. So gather and post insulation, cookhouse insulation. Yeah, we'll do cookhouse insulation. That'll be a good one because we do need to continue making food. And where is this? This needs to go on extended shift. Okay. Saying that, we probably need to do faith keepers. Faith keepers is going to is going to be a good one to get uh, to get on. And look, we've got a lot of people that aren't sick. Like we've got low sickness, which is really surprising. <laughs> so uh, let's do five days to send all the children. I'm going to do it. I feel like I can do that. We already sent 50 of them, didn't we? So, we've got another 130 to do. So, that's going to take three days at least. We've got four, five days to do it. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I feel like we've got a lot of engineers not doing anything. So, let's get them out of these. Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Health, health posts? It's literally written right there. Medical posts. Oh my god, you can tell it's it's pretty late where I am. I need to go to bed. I've got work in the morning. <laughs> right. Where else are they? This, this city is laid out so bad. I don't know how anyone survived in it. We'll just get these out and put them in here. So basically, the more engineers you have in here, the less chance of it is breaking down or something. I think that's how it works. And we've got another research thing we can do. 
Uh, I'll do... Well, I'm thinking maybe we do the next... The next one up. Yeah, let's do the next one up. That'll be good. Uh, long hours of toil. I won't address that right now because we love the extended shift. And little amputees. Oh my god, that's so... That's so bleak. Children with no... No limbs. That's... That's made me actually really sad. We are getting in prosthetics though, don't worry. It's just the price to pay to, get to survive the city. Oh, right, even in prayers. Let's put these on. That one does cost food, but we've got we've got so much food. Hope rises because we're telling them that hope will rise. And it's, you know what, you know what? I think we've done pretty well so far. I thought this was going to be much harder. Ah, right, saying that I haven't completed it yet, but we need to um, we need to actually get get going because we've still got a long way to go on these. We've got a bunch of steam cores to go. Uh oh, something's happened to the generator. I just had a thought. Are we even going to have enough steam cores? Okay, so the. Generator has malfunctioned. Not good. Now, how are we going to repair? It repairs in 10 hours. That's that's not too bad, I don't think. What we can do, take these people out of those metal posts, put them on there because they are just going to freeze anyway. So we might as well just get them out. Get them in there. So that's reduced it to six hours, that's good. So by the time the morning comes, it should be repaired. I just hope people don't get sick. Uh, limited space. The, the space aboard is limited. We could build additional cabins. Um, okay, cool. cool. So this is the fully upgraded Dreadnought, right? <laughs> we need to start kitting out this Dreadnought by sending resources and stuff. So. We've got a bunch of people here, right? Or a bunch of things here. First of all, send at least two engineers to the Dreadnought. Right. We can do that. So let's get those two out. Put them in there. And then ten, send two children. So that's fine. But then... We need to send all the children, so let's do that. We'll send all the children. Or as many as we can. And then we need to send these resources for the fully upgraded. So it's 5,000 coal. Everyone. Like 500 people. And then 5,000 food rations. And then convert five of the cabins. Now I did have a thought. Are we actually going to have enough steam cores? I will think about that later. <laughs> right, so... I think the first thing maybe to do is to get food on there so let's send as much food as we can so that's going to be all food and then we'll start sending well, let's send that coal okay sweet I do need to get these prosthetics though going hopefully well we've got 15 left to make it's a lot is a lot okay the generator come on be repaired because it's just dropped temperature okay the generator is back operational let's get that on steam level two and the difference engine has been researched now i don't know why this is a good thing oh generator efficiency that could be good we don't need those resources can't still work we don't need that I think maybe infirmary checklists would be a good a good one. That speeds up recovery because I feel like we're gonna get a lot of sick people very soon. It's gonna go down to like minus a billion, I think. So we're around that. This is not this is not working properly, I don't think. Oh no, that's it's not working because it's full, that's why. So what we could do is actually change that one to coal. So yeah, we don't actually need any wood. So 
that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. I have to send one work on the next transport. Let's do that. We want to, we want to keep these this discontent and hope in check. Because that could screw us over. Just a bit concerned about this still, actually. This doesn't seem to produce a lot of steel. Oh, this could be a this right. This could be the downfall. Uh, we are getting some more sick people as well, so I'm going to take a bunch of people off there and just put them over here, so we can get at least people in. Uh, so that's good. Faith keepers. We'll sign that. I don't. I don't know if we'll need it. To be fair, uh, did they reach? They reached the dreadnought. That's good. So here he comes. The train is returning. So it was sent at least one worker this time, wasn't it? So let's uh, do one worker. All the children, and then I guess we'll do all the other all the other workers. We need to be sending full amounts each time. Oh my god, it's going minus 50. Uh, what do we need here? We need more steam cores, I think. I think we need another steam core. Let's send let's send all the coal we can actually. So we just need to send a whole bunch more coal, and then we can start getting rid of these coal mines. In fact, no one's actually in that one. Let's just get rid of it. Now, I did say I was concerned about steel, because how much steel do we need to send? Um, oh no, hang on, we, did we send all the steel? I think we did. I'm getting confused. <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. No, we, did, we can't have sent all the steel. We can't have. No, okay, I am thinking we maybe need to upgrade the steel. Uh, still things. Okay, right here we go. A large group of, group of people will leave the city, and this is why we needed faith keepers. But saying that, faith keepers, I think kills like maybe will kill people. We will have to let them go. There's nothing we can do about that. We have still got enough people we can save, so that is fine. It's looking very chilly on here, isn't it? Very chilly indeed. So yeah, I'm actually I'm actually gonna do the advanced steel works. That's what I'm gonna do because that I think that's gonna be our only chance to get more steel. We have got the outpost coming, but I don't think it's enough. I just don't think it's enough. Long hours of toil. No, we've got to keep that one. We've got to keep that one. <laughs> We have faith keepers. Okay, so I will put this down because that will increase hope, I think. And you know what would be good? Uh, the uh, the shrines. I think the shrines will be good. So we'll, we'll do that next. That increases workplace efficiency. We need to get faith keepers in there to so get discontent down and hope hope up a little bit. We have got children on the way to the Dreadnought. They are nearly there, so we'll do that. Stowaways. Oh, no. See, look, again, we need to send the guards in. Uh, let's say ice. I see. What can I do about it? Faith Keepers are on patrol. No one's going to be messing with the Faith Keepers anymore, but we, I, think that's, I think we've done that a little bit too late. That's fine, just don't worry about it. Um, we have got... Right, we're waiting on steel, aren't we? Oh, damn, that's why. Because we've got no workers in there. Okay. That's why the steel has gone down. Let's get rid of some people out of these hunters' huts. Put them in there. That is why we were not getting any steel. Oh, my days. How did I not see that? And then this... Oh, we're going down to minus 60, so this needs another heater now 
Because that is just outside the heat zone. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Cool. Right, I am thinking, where are these children working? Because I've forgotten we actually have children in the workplaces, so I need to get those out of the workplaces. Uh, the truth must come out. So a group of engineers here, they want to talk to you. Okay, we consequences may be diet. That is fine, we can deal with it. So these are going to tell them that we lied about there being another city. I mean, what else were we going to do? Like, I didn't want workplace efficiency to decrease by 10% because they would have no chance. They literally have no chance. Like, it's fine. It's just fine. I'll be like, they'll be like shouting at me. I'll be like, just don't worry about it. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> right, discontent. A large group has stolen 553 food rations. That's fine. And 240 wood. We've got a lot of each of those, so don't worry about it. Uh, right. Let's get these kids on there. I'm going to try and get other kids on there as well. So we've got 10 in here. Five in the cookhouse. Uh, nine in here. I'm just going to take kids off everywhere and replace them. Oh, I say that, replace them with workers. We don't actually have enough workers. Oh god, we've got to, we've got to get rid of sixty nine children as well. This is not good. This, I thought we were I thought we were doing really well. Um, that is a water coal though, so that's decent. Uh, cabins, steam coal. We'll send that, and then we'll send as much of that as possible. Okay, so we've got one day, twenty three hours left, and that goes in twenty four hours. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We will see, right, if that works. Okay, we've got the advanced still works. Did we even need... Yeah, we did, to be fair, we did. We need... Look, we need a lot of this still, don't we? <laughs> oh, my, oh my god. And we need a lot of steam cores. This is where it gets so difficult. Saying that, these are very cold and no one's, no one's in them, so we can just get rid of them. I have a sneaking suspicion that coal production is going to be down as well yeah look where has everyone gone um when well, i know i've been evacuating evacuating them i didn't realize that many had gone and also i guess we had a couple of a couple of people just leave on their own like on their own accord i guess yeah we've only got 230 people left now that's like less than half what else can we do here? I'm wondering, do we do improved heater? Because it is going to get very, very chilly soon. And then the law. I said shrine, didn't I? Yeah. Let's do shrine. This could be pretty useful. I'll put one over here next to these steelworks. And where else needs them? What else are we doing? Uh, cook house could be actually no we don't have anyone in the hot house uh, I think well we only need one but I'll just put a couple more down to satisfy the uh, the old requirement down here this is crazy again cold workplaces anything saying like keep the temperature up I don't do it is like impossible to do I've got a thousand food. Oh. oh no. The generator has failed again. It's going to be repaired in one day. I can. Oh, it's minus. It's minus 60. Uh, raise hope. I'll use Faith Keepers to silence them. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, it was going so well. We'll continue, though. We'll continue. save the children right the children will be gone soon right we'll definitely do that that will raise hope surely everyone's going oh look everyone's freezing cold the infirmary's not working in oh the infirmary hasn't had anyone in it oh dear 
what is what is going on here? <laughs> Let's get everyone everyone in there that we can. Uh, we don't need. Oh my god, the engineers have gone from there as well. It's because we sent sent the twenty five engineers off, wouldn't it? Um, right, what five? Five we can use. Is there anyone anywhere else? Right, it's there. That's not working. We've still got two amputees. Okay, we'll, we'll keep those in there, making those amputees, because we do need to actually give everyone a prosthetic before we send the kids off, right? The dreadnought is fueled. Okay, nice. We can now send it. <laughs> we can send it, but we need to we need to get another cabin and we need to get some more food rations in for it to be successful. And then then we can maybe do the last one. We'll see. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we've got enough seal, but um, I do need to get. Oh, I do need to get those children prosthetics. There's two. There's two prosthetics. Go and get your go and get your legs, kids, and then then you'll be on and on your way. Might be a good idea to do one of these. The temple might be a good one. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. I'm not going to worry about where it is because it's just, it's just cold, isn't it? It's just cold anyway. How much longer? We got eight hours left on that. I feel like we're going to have a few deaths coming in soon. Uh, losing a limb, yeah, that's that's standard for minus sixty. Just don't worry about it. Oh wow, look at this sickness here. The temple was built. I told you this was going going too well for it to for it to be good. Um, all right, let's get hope up. Where's temple as well? Uh, the temple I put over here. You can use this one to get discontent down and hope up a little bit. Just go and grab your amp. Just go and grab your legs. Oh, another amputee as well. Um, okay, right. Let's get all the steel going. We'll send. We'll send. Actually, we'll send all the prov provisions, all the children we can. And we don't need to send any more coal. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We need to keep some people back. That's good. I thought. Um. I thought. We'd have to give everyone an, an like a every amputee a prosthetic, but it looks like the kids already got them. Come on, just get that, just get that repaired, guys. Come on, all the children are safe, so efficiency goes up. The generator is operational again. Let's get that on heat level two. Okay, heat level two will do for now, and then we can just start deleting some of these freezing no one's going to go in them we need to get engineers into those so yeah let's take everyone off there all of your engineers go in there and then i'm just going to put a couple in each of these just because we want to get people into the into the medical bays in fact i'm going to pause it while we do this um so if there's someone in a medical bay they won't die and you can get the uh, medical bay operational just by having like one engineer in them. I think that's fine. So let's actually just fill these ones up with these and then we'll put a couple on there. It's not going to make a difference at this point, I don't think. But what else do we need to do? We need to send another 96 people, send another bunch of food and then more steel. Oh, I didn't put... I didn't put the... Uh, Advance still works, right? We need to get those built as soon as we can. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of workplaces that are not fully staffed. And that is because we've got a lot of people doing food. So let's actually just get rid of that. And we'll, we'll get more people into the workplaces that actually matter. I've really... Um, Drop the ball on that to be honest. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was not not the best. We are running out of valuable time as well on these still these advanced still places. So they're making 4.3 an hour. That's like nothing. Oh my god. So we've got 200 people uh, 200 still coming in a day. Again, it's just not it's just not enough still, I don't think. I 
You've got to be stockpiling that from the very beginning. That's outrageous. We do need to start thinking about steam cores as well. Right, I'm going to get rid of the, this one. This will give us a steam core. And I think we've got enough wood as well. So I'm going to get rid of the wall drill. I think we're good. And the hot house as well. We don't use that, do we? So we'll get rid of that. I think we are doing as much as we can. More coal would be very nice. Oh no, hang on. I've got rid of one of the... I've got one of the... Rid of, ugh. One of the steel coal mines. I didn't mean to do that. We do need, we do need that operational. And on extended shift, that was <laughs> that was a bit of a not a good thing to do. Right. We do have a steam core to send though. That's good. So that's a deck, and then we need another another one, and then we need oh we need one more. That will be deck four done. Saying that. Yeah, that will be deck four done. We can send 50 people and we need to send... Okay, yeah, we need to send those. Oh, no. I sent it without any people on. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Because we've got seven days left. We need people in the city, don't we? Uh, okay, we've got another law to sign we got anything we can do over here moonshine let's get that going and yeah we're out of we're out of coal again so we're, we're getting a lot of oh my god everyone is getting ill this is not ideal all because i've deleted one of the, the coal mines ah oh, we need to do another shrine as well uh that would be good over here Let's get that built. Okay, we're minus 50. It's not as it's not as bad now. Shrines are built. Let's get that on heat level one. I'm wondering if that's gonna be enough. Okay, that is enough to heat homes and stuff, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that for now. Let's get workers off there. I think we need to just take all the workers off. I say that I was gonna say to take all the workers off this these hunters huts and I'll, I'll get some engineers in here and in here because we are trying to still research stuff how long until the next one to be sent nine hours nine hours the temples influence people that's Fantastic. Is there any other thing we can do here? <laughs> oh no, is there anything? Like, nothing really to do with efficiency that we can do. Coal mining optimization, but I don't think I need that. Heating, I think that's fine. I mean, maybe this could be... This could be good. And then, yeah, I think that could be good. We do need to get this generator back up and running when it does go down. Okay, we're going to run out of coal again. Saying that, if we can keep it at this level. I'll put that on heat zone one. That will save us about. That will save us a lot of uh, coal, I think. And it's not really affecting anything. Okay, we'll keep it at range one for now. And we can send some more stuff along. So, provisions. Let's send the rest of the food to max that out. The cabins will send all of the steel. And then people, we won't send the people just yet. We need to get we need to get this done, right? I'm just concerned where we're gonna get the other steam cores from. We can get rid of the factory actually. That'll be that'll be a good source of things. Let's get rid of let's get rid of these as well. I mean we're not using them. Oh no, we do need to use them actually. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's do that. I'm going to change to regular food as well because we were using sawdust. Uh, let's get a heater on there. And I think we're I think we're back on track. I think we're back on track. <laughs> I think we're back on track. Oh, what is going on here? Um, 
let's do that. I don't know if that's going to cause any issues. The only thing I'm concerned about is this steel. And there's nothing really we can do about it yet. Like, well, there's nothing we can do about it at all. Except for get rid of some buildings. That's all we can do, really. Uh, so let's think about this. Anywhere that like no like people aren't living in, we're gonna get rid of. We don't need it. And that way we can um see what's using up coal and stuff like that. People are living in the bunkhouse, that's fine. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm tempted to use this raw food until the end of the end of the run, you know. Let's get rid of that. Okay, right. And then we could probably get rid of some of these as well. Like you build the city and then you basically demolish the city when you go when you go. Just the nature of this uh nature of this uh, nature of this scenario, so let's get rid of that. Just get rid of everything. That's all I'm that's all I'm doing. Okay, we'll go with this for now. Uh drunken meltdown. Uh, escort him home doesn't really matter. So we've got quite a few people taking food or like gathering food in the night, which is good. We're up to like, ooh, we're up to nearly a thousand still actually with deleting all of that stuff. Oh, the generator, classic, classic timing generator. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? <laughs> Where are these people? Where are these engineers? All right, come over here. All right, this one's all right. This one's not working. This one's not working. So take them out. We don't need to research anything else. Let's get them on there. We have got emergency repair. So let's advance that by ten percent. That's two days though. Two days. We need to just get all engineers on. All engineers on hand. They're there because that. That literally halved it. What else? What else do you want from me? What else do you want from me? Come on. Okay, we'll go with that for now. That's fine. Can we send anyone else so far? Yep, yeah, maybe in a second we can. Generate a malfunction. Okay. Now the issue with this, which I forgot, is this stress is going to start rising. So we need to repair it before that happens. Oh dear. Emergency repairs started again for some reason. Oh, it costs wood and steel. And you can use it. F oh, okay, right. We're going to try and use that as much as we can then. Because, yeah, that stress is rising, man. nice. I don't know what happened there, but it was good. <laughs> um, let's do that. You've got nine hours left on that repair. Oh no, someone, they've taken some food. Uh, let them go. I don't want anyone to die. So that's seven hours and this is rising. Oh my god. I'm going to use one more advance by 10. 10%. There we go. That should that should be good. And then right, what we need to do is actually send the steam cores, don't we? So we've got one steam core. More still. Right, let's pause this. Oh, some something's happened over here. No, still moan about long <laughs> still moan about long shifts in this situation. There's nothing else to do. Just work. So that's another 1,030. One steam core. Provisions, we've got enough provisions. People, we don't have enough people. We will get them in there though. How many people do we need? We need another, another 50, 61. Another 61 people to go. But we do need another, well we, wow. We need 4,000 still. Oh my god. 
Right, let's send that. And then we've got basically two more to do. Okay, generator is operational. That's good. Heating level has been reduced by one though. So essentially, if we're on the steam level two, it means we're on steam level one. Which is not ideal, but we go with it. I think we just need to start deleting everything now. I will leave a few of these um, resource depots and I'll have them on still. But if there's anyone, if there's anything that can be deleted, I'm just going to delete it. And hopefully no one goes homeless. That's fine. We can get rid of that. That's fine as well. Okay, we don't actually need the wood, but I think it's quite, <laughs> it's quite funny just to like get rid of it. And get rid of oh, let's hit those and then delete it Got 42 engineers in here oh my god I'm getting overwhelmed getting overwhelmed I think what might be a good idea actually if we start if we do some more research on this repair station it'll make it go a little bit quicker when that does happen again we're never gonna be doing we're never gonna be doing the the um you know we're never going to be doing the fully upgraded i'm sorry it's it's too hard it's just too difficult what else can we do law wise um nothing let's just leave the laws we are we are getting towards the dire situation at the end here and it gets colder just to just to rub salt in the wound we put it on heat level no let's yeah let's put it on heat level three just for now get rid of that get rid of that <laughs> get rid of that get rid of everything we need four thousand still let's see if that's actually possible so 11 and out so that's 100 and well, they say 150 a day, so that's 300 a day. So we're basically getting 500 a day. We've got four days, so that's 2,000. It's yeah, it's never going to happen. But we'll go to the bitter end. I don't think I've ever seen a playthrough where like this has been possible. I just don't see it ever happening. But we're going to give it. We're going to we're going to go to the bitter end. What we're gonna do let's do that and then i'll get rid of it get rid of a couple of these that tent can go faith keepers can go temple can this temple can go everything's going everything is going ah oh, poor people man poor people okay we'll leave it at that for now Okay, we can send another lot of people saying that. What do we need to send? We do need to send some steam core. So let's get rid of that. And I think we need oh, I think we do need to send more steel, right? Yeah, we need a lot more steel. So we'll have we will, we will just be missing one uh, one deck, right? I'm going to start sending people. 35 there. Let's get. We're just going to we're just going to go with the amount of coal we've got at the moment because we've got 2,000. It's about a day. I don't think we'll be surviving any longer than that. Which is very disappointing. Oh, saying that. No, we will keep one. We will keep one coal mine operational. We will keep one coal mine operational and hopefully that's good enough. Right, we'll send 50 people. So we had enough food. It was just still, wasn't it? Still. Work is over for today. 
work is over for the day is probably over for like <laughs> the next the next lot like for the rest of time i'm sorry everyone sorry the care house no one is in the care house so we'll delete that the cook house will keep operational these two they can go are oh, the fighting arena can go i've still got like these these can go gathering post that can go actually that's yeah that can go this can go everything freezing can go oh this is so 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 bleak we're just packing up and leaving spent a lot a lot of time in the city There's nothing else we can do done my best oh it does get warmer okay we'll put steam level two just to save a bit of coal And we need to send another 12 people and we've got three cabins okay we've got three cabins we can launch the dreadnought remember at any time so we can win the scenario uh, i won't address that right now people are gonna have to you're gonna have to keep working just keep working keep working okay right this is probably gonna be one of the last ones we send so send the steam cores and the steel all of the steel we've got in terms of that we need another 3500 provisions is fine coal is fine steam cores we're sending two over and then people we just need to send another 12 over so i'm wondering do we just send Actually, no, we'll keep... Right, we'll keep those. Let's take... Uh, that's the seam coal mine, isn't it? So we'll replace those there. With engineers. Okay. We're going to keep... We're going to keep all the engineers at the city. So that's fine. Let's put them back in there. So let's go... People send okay right the only thing we are missing is two, two steam cores which we can easily oh can we easily get them yeah two steam cores are here in the steam coal mine so we'll delete that it's just the steel so we've got three days <laughs> got three days and is there anything else we can do oh, i'm wondering do we do i'm doing it 24 two 24 hour shifts that's what I'm doing. I reckon someone's going to die there, but what else can we do? Oh, the generator shut down. Oh no. Uh oh. So it's going to take two days to repair. Someone died. Uh, yeah, that was fine. Someone died on the extended shift like we thought it would do. Okay, let's get engineers into there, okay? Because of, we need to we need to we need to save the generator. 2 days, that's a long time. That is a long long time. That's a long time, but there's nothing else really we can do. I'm going to leave one person in the infirmary, but those on there and that on there and i think we can start dismantling these over here so uh yeah oh we've uh, you know what we've still got 120 123 people that's a lot of people is there anywhere like anywhere else we can get still i don't think i don't think there is We've got two over there on 24 hour shifts. It is a clutch law that I never do that. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, let's get rid of these paths. Again, we don't need the wood, but we are just dismantling everything now. Unfortunately, the tents don't give us. They don't give us steel, but that does. The old. Um, 
steam hub. I'm just gonna get rid of these paths here. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that. That. I just hate the layout of this city. It's awful. I'm glad to get rid of all of it. Oh no. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Get that path built back ASAP. Quickly, 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 quickly. Because we are running out. That was not good. Because all of these now, they went down for like an hour or two hours, which is. That's a bit. Of, that's a, quite a bit of steel. Not, not, um, not being done, picked up. Uh, that's on 25%, and that is still on one day. You know what? That might actually be enough. 30%. One day. Ah, no, no. Right, I think we need to do this. I don't like that at all. <laughs> that's going up an awful, an awful lot. Uh, we can swap these out, can't we? Swap all these engineers out for workers because we had them collecting food, which is a bit of a waste, but it is what it is. One engineer as well somewhere. Oh, they're in there keeping it. Well, I say keeping everyone alive. We do need to keep it. The couple out. Get that at least operational. Put them back in there. Okay. We will do that again. 50 still. Oh, that's a lot of still. Um, oh no, half the pop, half the population is is leaving. Okay, I'm doing what I can. Doing what I can. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Still got a day left on that. It's like at 47%. That's going to be close. Okay. So we've got 900 still. We just needed another like day or like another couple of days. And I think we could have maybe done it. But we are gonna, like I said, we are gonna go. We're gonna go to the bitter end, okay? Send that off. We're out of still. We just don't wanna time out here and we don't want this to blow up right if we can repair this we'll be in a good good position hold on for a couple of days come on guys can't you see the the generator is going to blow up or we're just going to run out of time <laughs> i would like to get this um this repaired right this will be a good good end to the the scenario i think we'll repair it i think that'll be fine Going minus 50. We just need to keep an eye on that. We've got another day. Another two days, really. 68. Oh, hang on. Okay, I thought I thought they weren't working overnight for some reason, but of course, of course they were. Uh oh, this is actually gonna be really close. I don't think actually I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh no. Why is that? There's only 18 people on there. Where is everyone? Oh, did they... Did they leave? It says we should have 47 engineers. Oh, they're on their way. <laughs> they're on their way. They're just, they're just gone. Right, I think this is not ideal. Okay, what... Right, everyone... I was, this is this is sad. I've got to take everyone off. I don't. I'm kind of right. Let's get everyone off. Who else is like working? So five workers are over here, literally contributing nothing. And you got that. Okay. So do we have the ability to send another one? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to get everyone out, but I think it is time to launch. We cannot do anything else. Uh, so we'll go to the map. These people here go into the Dreadnought. They are going to have a bad shock when they get there. Because it's not going to be there. So we're going to launch. And uh, that's it. So I think we got very close to doing the... Um, doing the actual uh, fully upgraded Dreadnought. 
so close. Give us a couple of extra days and we would have, would have been able to do it, I reckon. The generator nearly blew up as well, let's be honest. So that wasn't ideal. But I, uh, yeah, that's a tricky, tricky scenario. The generator blows up. The dreadnought is on its way. But we did evacuate. I was going to say everyone, but like, we didn't. We evacuated most people. So thank you for watching. I'll leave you with the time lapse as always. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more Frostpunk. So stay safe, have fun. And I'll see you on the next one. Can we create a Frostpunk Utopia? Well, today we're going to find out because this is what you wanted to see. We're playing a new home with good laws only. And this is going to be tricky because the good laws are not as powerful as the bad laws. And I really don't play this scenario either. So I have no real strategy for this. However, we are just going to start by collecting resources. That's probably a good thing to do to start with. So. <laughs> I think the main thing we want to be doing here is just following the objectives down the bottom and just trying to get as many resources as possible to begin with because this is going to get sketchy. It gets so, so cold. And you know what? I'm actually quite looking forward to it because I haven't I haven't played this one for, for a while. Let's sign our first law. We're going to be going for sustain life first. That's one of the good laws. Everything else requires you to build uh, to build something so we don't really want to be doing that and we've got a bunch of wood now as well so you we can start on housing so yeah we'll get we'll get every everyone a tent for the first night i think that's probably a good idea just to stop people getting sick i think that's eight one two three four five six seven eight yep cool and i kind of want to get a gathering post down or a couple of gathering posts down so we can start gathering these more efficiently now one of my tactics for playing <laughs> for playing frostpunk is extended shift and just use that the whole time we're not going to have extended shift this time which is not ideal so we're going to have to work around that and also i don't have radical treatment again which is one of my go-to laws which uh, again not ideal saying that we're not even going to have organ transplants which is another one of my <laughs> go-to laws so it's not not looking good hopefully no one gets sick overnight we've got 200 wood and yeah we need to turn the turn the generator on first night you only have really have to have generator or tents you, you don't have to have both however having both will prevent people from getting sick i hope and i say that and i'm just anticipating people getting sick as they just did <laughs> so let, Let's get the medical post down when we can and get people let's get people in here as well. So I want to be using our work as efficiently as possible. And honestly, I don't think we can have anyone doing nothing. Because that's one of the one of the big things is Frostpunk is just trying to get as many people working as possible. Otherwise it's just wasted wasted manpower. It's not ideal. Do need to get that medical post down ASAP because we've got four sick people. 
It's quite a lot for the first night, to be honest. So let's get that down there. And get those people healed up. Now, we need to secure food. That's the next thing to do. So we need to do Hunter's Hut or, or a hot house, And then a cookhouse. So I think what I'll do first... I'll do cookhouse first because we've got 100 raw food. Let's get those... Let's get those on there. I'm wondering if people got sick was because they were working on the on the resource piles overnight or, or in the cold or something. Possibly the reason. Let's get a few more of these down as well. So that's some more wood over there, which is going to be very useful. Yeah, at the beginning, I think wood is the most important thing to collect. So we'll get that going. So we've got, yeah, we've got two wood piles there. And a steel wreckage and then up here we've got steel coal coal and coal so yeah we'll, we'll get a couple more resource uh resource gathering posts down there but first of all i got distracted <laughs> we need to get this cookhouse down don't we and start making food otherwise people are going to get hungry it's day three that's about the time people do get hungry and we don't have enough wood for it so we need 10 more wood we could do we can do this so this is going to give us six wood and if we just recreate that path so we've got plus three wood there so it hasn't hasn't helped at all <laughs> deleting that bit of path there uh, it's one of the good tactics so on some of the other scenarios is just to like delete the the path in the middle to begin with that can give you like a nice little boost of wood to to get you through like the first few days however that hasn't that hasn't happened this time how much is the hunter's hut? I never noticed. 20 wood. Okay. So that's going to be the next couple of things to do then. We'll get... I feel like we need two hunter's huts and one cookhouse. So yeah, we'll we'll do that. So the first steel wreckage has been depleted. That's fine. Let's get this cookhouse down. Now, it's going to go... It's going to go... Well, it's going to go down in temperature very soon which is not not ideal because we want to have this cookhouse in the heat zone in fact i'm just going to do a little bit of uh a little bit of like rearranging here so if you basically if you put paths down in certain areas you can kind of like make things look nice <laughs> and and it's actually really useful for squeezing in things as well i think what we'll do we'll get a a workshop down and research heaters that's probably going to be a good thing to do to combat this uh, so let's get people in there to begin with and i want to get that food converted as soon as we can just as we got starving people that was really good actually uh, right we've got engineers we've got spare engineers back let's do so oh we want to do heaters well yeah that's probably a good thing to do to start with saying that we've got we've uh, no, we'll do. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on heaters, and then we'll do. Um, we'll do faster gathering next time. Just put another workshop down, just because I want to get this research done as well. And we've got engineers doing nothing. So, what was that? There's a couple of piles depleted. So, oh, we got that wood pile. I think it was, and then a coal pile over here. So. Once this is done, there's not much wood left there. We'll move that one over to here, or even up here. Uh, what laws can we actually sign, though? Extra rations for the ill. Yeah, let's sign that one. That's another, that's another utopia law. Again, we don't need to build anything with that, so we just get out of the way to begin with. Family torn apart. So we are going to have to build the um, beacon. I totally forgot. Ah, we need hunter's huts. That, that's what it is, isn't it? So, I'm going to put these... These don't have to be heated, so they can go out the way. I am going to put a couple over here, though. We're going to go for two to begin with. And I think we'll do ten in each. We are. We will start finding survivors soon, and then we can... We can up the ante with food and stuff. As we, as we get it. So, yeah, let's put fifteen in that one, and we'll put five in the other. If we have five, that is. Because how many does that get us? 15 a day, which is not a lot. Not a lot at all. So let's get, yeah, let's get five in there. 
So we're getting a 20 a day, and then you can convert that into 40 a day, and we've got 80. So it's not enough, but we'll have to make do for now. Cool. So the cookhouse has now stopped working, and that is because it's too cold. I wonder if people will still go and eat in there, though, if it's too cold. Not too sure about that. I think they do. They just won't make food. Uh, so let's go faster gathering. We'll see. We'll see that will like make a huge difference to our resourcing, which is good. And this gathering post is now depleted, so let's get rid of it. Uh, we'll get rid of that path as well. Delete, and we'll move that over to. That's going to be cold and still, isn't it? Yeah, we'll, we'll put it over here for now. And once this one is done, which is going to be like literally now, we'll move that one over as well. So in fact, we start that. Start the build now. All good. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. And again, we'll get rid of the path as well because that gives us a little bit of extra wood. And then we can bring that path up there. Absolutely fantastic. So I am wondering, do we start on the beacon now? Yeah, I think we have to we have to do the beacon now, and then we have to rescue survivors of the lost exhibition. Exhibition, expedition. It's not a, it's not an exhibition, is it? Right, these are t these are still waiting to be demolished. That's fine, and we do have fifteen workers not doing anything. And I think that's because we haven't got these gathering posts built yet. So yeah, let's get. I feel like we need to have coal coming in over still, so we'll put, right, we'll favour this over here, and then once we've got, in fact, let's do, we only need one in there. So, yeah, you only need one because at the start you don't need to feed that many people. So we'll, we'll stick one in there and then we can use those workers elsewhere, which is good. The beacon should be researched at some point. We could probably do the same actually with the engineers, but I don't want to because we are getting people ill quite a lot, which is not not ideal. Cool, so we can introduce a new law. So triage we don't want to do. Care house is going to be a good one. Then we've got these. So not corpse disposal, but cemetery we need to do. I think everything else requires you to build stuff. So again, we'll leave it for now until we need it and until we've got like proper resources coming in. It's all kind of a little bit like coming in dribs and drabs at the moment. And the beacon has been done. So we'll put that out the way as well. I'll put that up here next to the, next to the coal. Uh, I kind of want it next to it, but we'll put it, we'll put it there. So it's it's far on far enough away for it not to be a, a nuisance and if, if it is then we can just move it can't we but I want to get that built now so I want to take let's take four people out of there they should go and start building that and I will take one person out of there go on. they should they should go and start building it yeah there we go and then we can use those five to send out into the uh, into the frost land and get them explorers or in survivors back sweet the beacon has been built a beacon of hope we can search the frost land what will we find we'll find a whole lot of nothing actually that's not true we will we'll find a lot of resources in there so one of the good things about the frost land is like if you explore it fully 100 you're going to get a ton of ton of resources uh, so you know what actually might be a good idea to uh, do some of the like more scouts and lighter scout sleds stuff like that that might be a good tactic for this one it's a good tactic on all the other scenarios so why wouldn't it be but yeah we've got scouts going out to begin with that's all good with me those hunters off going into the uh, into the frost land or going somewhere to go and hunt for food Ooh, so we're going to search. They'll be there in 10 hours. 
and I am wondering we need to think about getting wood in so what have we got here sawmill that's going to be our ne next best thing to do because there are no more resource piles with wood on it's only these two here that's another hundred wood that's like nothing so yeah sawmill is probably a good one to go to next we are getting more people sick than we do have capacity so ah temperature has gone up though so i'm going to leave that for now i was going to build another medical post but i don't think that's going to be necessary cool so we got to the survivors we are going to escort them back and that is because we don't want them to die if you send them send them back on their own they will most likely die so what i'm actually going to do i'm going to start with some tents so how many how many people were there so that's 20 36 i think if i can I, it's, it's late where i am i can't i can't do quick maths when it's late so we're gonna need another four tents so let's go one two three and we've run out of wood amazing saying that we do need this we do need the sawmill and uh you know what that's fine isn't it i was gonna say is there even enough wood in our stockpile to uh to do this to do the tents and the sawmill but there is so yeah let's get the sawmill down when we can that is so a few more resources there we go and i'll put it up here because well i say that no let's put it let's put it over here ideally it would go right where that steel pile is but we can't um i'll, I'll put it to like oh, you know what let's put it here don't want to destroy anything just yet if you place it over the wood then it, it like over the trees it can get destroyed uh sorry it can't get destroyed the wood gets destroyed <laughs> and survivors have arrived at the city absolutely fantastic cool so the reunions are going on and i just realized i'm not capturing my cursor so here we go right we are now capturing the cursor so you can see where i'm pointing sorry about that um that's annoying isn't it so let's keep going with this And the search for others. People found a trail leading to the wilderness. We should follow it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and do that. So we'll just yeah, we'll just follow the objectives out here as well. Finding another settlement. Oh, what else are we gonna do here? Exploration, heating. No, hunt let's do hunter's gear. That'll that'll be a good one to do next. Because we are well, we have got more people now so we need we need to feed them right let's get that path done as well cool oh that one hasn't got hasn't got a path okay it's got it's got a path now so hopefully they got in got in in time and yeah our wood, our wood situation is not great <laughs> but we have got more people now which is good let's get them to work get them into the old hunter's hut as well and i think we really need to we i we need another medical bay essentially that's going to be our next next thing to do i think is get another medical bay down get on top of that and we should be all good so wood crates have been depleted just in time. Oh, saying that, we've got one more pile. I was going to say, just in time for the sawmill to, to kick into action. Cool. So let's do another one. We're going to do hunter's gear, weren't we? That's going to be good. And let's get that medical post down. I think, well, I think we've got, yeah, we've got engineers. So that's all good. There we go. Gathering post has been depleted. What's this one? Ah, that's because the coal is full. So what I'm going to do, I want to actually start stockpiling stuff. So let's do a little stockpile area over here. Quite expensive on wood, but it's a, it's a necessary thing we need to do because otherwise it's just wasted 
Wasted time, wasted efficiency and all, and all that stuff. Cool, so we'll take those resources. We'll go to Steel Bridge. I think we're going to get an automaton soon. It'll be very fun. And let's gear research and see what the next thing is. Probably... Uh, let's do Steelworks next. We'll do the whole top row, I think, before moving on. Cold homes, I never do cold homes, just don't worry about it. Cold homes is like impossible. I swear, I swear, like you do cold homes and then the temperature always drops, so it's like ridiculous. You can never do it. Cool, so just setting those two resource depots to uh, cold just so we can start again stockpiling stuff. That's all good, and yeah, look at that. We need, we need that medical bay open. There we go, we've got capacity for 10. I'm thinking we should probably do infirmaries at some point as well, fairly quickly. Because that will help alleviate some of the uh, medical bay stuff, or woes in fact. Oh, yeah, the automaton. Send it to the city. We're going to use that. And these guys are going to continue to the weather station. But what have we got here? Deserted bridge. Hope falls slightly. Just, uh, just don't worry about it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So we've got spare workers. We've got children as well. What we need to do actually is actually get child shelters I think and then we can go on to medic apprentices so yeah let's get the child shelters down and Listen, built everyone, new law is we're going to need two of these and where am I going to put them let's put them yeah let's do well I was going to say do one one next to the other but we can only do one we've got 19 children though which is annoying so <laughs> I think all of them have to be in a child shelter for your apprentice laws to like make a difference, I think. But we got the steelworks, so that's all good. I don't mind don't mind that. Steam hub is gonna be a next one to do. Because we're gonna lay out our steam hubs very efficiently, I think. <laughs> that's gonna be the goal anyway. Because they it's, but essentially, steam hubs are more efficient than the range setting on here. Saying that range, the range setting just makes it e just makes it easier. So I may actually do just the range setting and just be done with it. Cool. So these guys have reached the weather station. Let's go to Winter Home. Oh, our favourite. We were just there last <laughs> last playthrough. That winter home scenario is an absolute nightmare. But we managed we managed to get through it. Uh, still works? Do we need the still works yet? Well, let's put them down anyway. How many there's only two spots for the still works. I don't think we need that much still to begin with, so we only have one for now. And then we'll get to it. Uh, in terms of another law, let's do medic apprentices. They're going to be using. Uh, they're going to be learning about medical procedures and everything in there. They're going to have a great, great time. Cool. Steam Hub has been researched. Absolutely fantastic. And we're going to do Coal Thumper next. I'm actually going to do another, another workshop when I can. Oh, the coal pile has been. De depleted so when we're, we're gonna run out of coal soon yeah there's not a lot of coal on the map so coal thumper is probably a good good shout right now yeah there we go that that one's gone Let's get people in the steel works and the coal thumper has been researched just in time cool i think i'll put it over here you know what let's gather we'll gather this coal pile up and then we'll put the coal thumper over there that's probably going to be the best place for it let's get that workshop down like i said i was going to do like ages ago and that is the first 
layer of stuff done so yeah let's get up to the next next level i think we are going to need a wall drill because this one this one is now gone so yeah let's get that coal thumper down because uh, we have now got no coal whatsoever uh let's rotate that and this is going to be a this is one of the things so this is where maybe child labor would come in handy in the early game you can have like kids working in the res like in the resource gathering posts and they're fine so we'll see we'll see about that winter home is gone we knew that though it's horrid over there so <laughs> um these guys are not happy about that and uh, they don't want to go the same way however we're not gonna we're not gonna be like winter home you got me in charge it's all good you're fine <laughs> you're absolutely fine oh god look at that hope go down jeez that's a lot of hope to lose um in terms of here i guess faith and spiritual strength is going to be utopia more good laws than bad laws here i think and we're not going to do all of this tree because there are some obviously bad laws in here but we'll uh we'll do that when we get to it oh so we're looking i think we're looking pretty good at the moment i would just like a lot more wood coming in though i don't know how much that gets you that um that one still what am i talking about that one sawmill <laughs> I, I can't remember how much that gives you a, gives you like a an hour or whatever i'm not i'm not sure if it's like good or bad the automaton has uh has arrived which is actually quite useful i might put them on the sawmill because then we can have like constant constant wood coming in which will be good that you know that's what i'm gonna do put them on there get the engineers in there and then we'll get the rest in another gathering post next to uh, next to our uh, coal thumper cool so these are i think these are dangerous to have i think i mean they're not as efficient as a hundred percent workforce but they work they work all day all day and all night now got the londoners so the londoners will probably leave um saying that no one wants to leave a utopia so we'll, we'll get the hope up and everything and hopefully they'll stay let's actually think about this right so we do want to get hope up and we'll do that with the house of prayer and i think we should probably start signing some of the other laws uh, people join the londoners we've got 17 people joining the londoners that's quite a lot so don't worry about it we're gonna we're gonna battle them with house of prayer we'll get those down no worries how many days do we have that as well 14 days and it's getting colder oh no <laughs> this is uh this is cold now oh, we probably need a couple more let's yeah let's do that people are getting a little bit hungry and we'll put more people in there we've got two spare i've got two workers spare i don't know where to put them but drawing boards have been done so what was it gonna do what was it gonna do more scouts might be useful however we do need to find survivors first for that because we don't actually have many people i might do wall drill medical post upgrade might be a good one i'll do wall drill for now just because i want that wood coming in thick and fast and survivors ah there we go classic so we'll escort the survivors to the city there's 29 there we're gonna have to build three more tents that's fine though we got one, two, three. I just, I was just trying to decide if I should put them there or not, or move them up here. But I think, I think that's fine there next to the workshops. Cool. So the wall drill's been researched with with more than one workshop. Things get things get done very quickly, which is what I like. What I might do now, actually, is do more scouts, and then we'll, when those extra people come, we'll send them back out 
that's what we'll do because I want to be like I said before I want to be exploring that frost land I do need to build those and I <laughs> the house of prayer I always forget I sign a law and I always forget to actually do the thing it asks you to do so we'll do that when we can I mean wood is coming in 24 7 now so let's do one there and well, that's all we that's all we can do at the moment But we will hit the host, the hope boost straight away. Oh, I literally give you like no hope whatsoever. It's fine though. It's fine. Once we've got the, the other house of prayer down, it's kind of, you want to cover like all of the houses. So I might put it there. I want to like kind of squeeze it in. So I'm going to do this, do the little trick. I say squeeze it in. I just want to. I just want it to be like, um, <laughs> in line with everything else. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. So yeah, let's get that built as well. And that is uh, giving us a nice little boost of hope as well. Actually, we've still got 15 people sick and not enough capacity. However, I feel like we're pretty decent on that front. I think like people are going in and out quite quickly. So and that's because we've got the kids helping out. 20% boost, which is good. Uh what else do we want to do? Medical post upgrade. You know what? Let's do the medical post upgrade. That leads on to infirmary, and I think that'll be very useful. And we do need to get we do need to get hope and everything that like hope up discontent down 20 people are part of Londoners now Londoners now so n again not ideal but we'll deal with it we'll deal with it all thumpers looking good and we can sign another law I am thinking we go over the purpose again even in prayers there we go this allows us to spend food for a boost in hope, so we'll do that definitely. Because again, we're, we're we're quite good on the food front as well. It seems. Oh, that was quick. Medical post upgrade done. Let's have a think about this. Maybe go on to the next level already. We don't really want. I don't. I don't need a hot house yet. Anyway, these don't really need. So yeah, we'll go. You know what? We'll go on to the next one. Did I did I build the wall drill? I don't think I did. Did I? Yeah, there we go. Let's get that down. Put it there. Let's get that connected up to a path. And that's our well, that's our one steam core done. But we've got well, we've got four steam cores on their way. There we go. They've returned safely to the city. <laughs> They're going straight back out. I'll send them back up this way again, just because it's the furthest away. What I always do is send them to the fr like a place they've been before first, and then send them back out. Because then it's quicker. So we've got more workers now, which is good. The rebirth of faith is, faith is going on, and we've got 26 children now. So yep, two of these is still enough for that, which is good. Oh, we've lost one Londoner, which is fantastic. It's only 19 now. I'm a little bit worried about these sick people. Oh, wow. I'm very worried about these sick people. Why did they all get sick? Oh, my days. That was, that was not ideal, was it? I mean, let's get another. Let's get another few medical posts down. I'm going to do one, two. I hope... Well, have we got enough engineers? No, we haven't got any any engineers left. However, we are going to do the thing where if you get them in a medical bay, they just won't die. So we'll rearrange our we'll, we'll rearrange our um, uh, engineers here. So we'll do three in three in two and two in two. There you go. Do you need to connect up to a path as well? So. That'll be good. It's not ideal. We've got 30 people. 
that's sick and don't have a space in a medical bay. This is why I use overcrowding. <laughs> this is why I use overcrowding. Let's get the next one going. And, oh, we were going to send more people out, weren't we? So we'll send them up this way. I think up this way there's Tesla City, which will tell us, well, which is where people can die. So we won't, we won't like send them in there because we don't want anyone to die. Uh, just taking the automaton off the sawmill and putting it on the wall drill, I think, I think it's much quicker. The, I think, wait, yeah, I think the wall drill is much more efficient. Yeah, 9.6 an hour. I think that's I think that's double the amount. I could even get rid of that sawmill. United by faith. Doesn't done anything for our home. Uh our hope though, has it? You'll have to start no right. Freezing homes again. I won't won't address that right now. All good, right, what could be useful is doing bunkhouse. Would be pretty good to get everyone a bunkhouse right now. I think we need to prioritize though <laughs> and i think we're going to prioritize medical stuff uh writing on the wall uh send the cleric to reassure people hopefully slightly oh, these guys have reached the observatory oh there's more people more people coming and we'll escort them back do you need to get housing for them as well uh so let's do well, i want them in range of these Uh, these houses house of prayer uh, let's move these on to snow cliff and I'm thinking we're gonna need more food soon <laughs> we're gonna need more food definitely the London's got more followers why was that well I think we need to do another law okay so in the utopia we are allowed to do fighting arena because well you have fighting in like you have like wrestling and MMA right <laughs> in in real in real life so that's my excuse for using that um, I don't think that's too bad to be fair so let's get a couple of these down I do want to cover everything this will lower discontent which is really good I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover all houses there's one like there's one here and one there which aren't covered, but oh, and there's a couple up there as well. No, well, let's just put one there as well. And I think that should be should be good. Okay, that will hopefully lower discontent enough and bring that tendency down. Hope rises as well with the fire arena, which is absolutely fantastic, and we can do tier two technologies. Um, lighter scouts would be good. Uh, but we're going to do this one, we? infirmary. Yeah, let's do infirmary. I think, yeah, I think food and health is going to be the main things here. So we'll focus on those for now. These guys have reached the city. Hopefully everyone's got a house. It looks like they have. Absolutely fantastic. And we'll send them back out. We'll go to the American camp. Oh, I would like, I would like faster scout sleds as well. Let's do hunting tactics to begin with. That will free up a few workers. You know what? We've got people doing nothing. We've got people doing nothing. So let's get engineers in there. We've got seven engineers still available. So what I will do is build that infirmary. Where can I put it? Let's put put it there. In fact, we could have two. Yeah, let's do two. I don't think that's I don't think that's crazy. I don't think that's crazy at all. Then we can do like four in there and three in the other and that will at least get people into medical bays oh refugee from winter home i don't know what happened to them but we took their stuff so just don't worry about it <laughs> we need the stuff now so it's fine yeah food is going to be a big thing isn't it i'm wondering do we get in with n like another hunter's hut down i think we do people in that infirmary 
get them people healed up and back to work. That's what we want. That is the main thing here. So, uh, we're hopeful slightly. Let's hit this again. And then we need food to do the next one. So, yeah, food is going to be the next thing to do. Okay, so we got cleric beaten we need faith keepers now i don't know if faith keepers is going to be utopia i don't think i don't think it is so we're not going to be doing faith healers oh even more like people well children we need to escort them. 35 children let's go back so again we're going to need more we're gonna need more housing so we've got vacant beds three so yeah and we've got 35 coming back so we need another four four tents that's fine put them right next to the fighting arena <laughs> put them right next to the fighting arena sorry kids just wwe like that's kids kids watch that don't they so that's fine don't worry about it don't worry about it Cool. hunting tactics has been researched that gives us like some extra workers these only take 10 now absolutely fantastic and i think flying hunters might be a good one yeah flying hunters and then healthcare installation will be a good one as well because at the moment well this is livable and these are livable, but temperature will go down and it's going to go down to 40 for quite a while quite a few days there Ah, uh, wood is wood is full up, which means we need we need another load of these resource depots. I'm just putting down as many as I can, just so we can assign them resources when we get to like thing. Steel as well, steel is is getting depleted. So we probably need to do that. Okay, next law. What are we going to do? Public house, cemetery. No one's died yet. Uh, let's do public house. That will be good. That loan discontent. Where can we put that? We'll put that next to the infirmary. And we do need to think about heating this up over here soon. What was the other thing we got? Food. Hunter's hangar. That's what we got. Yeah. I think we need to do another steel mill, or steel, steel works. Because our steel output is not great. Yeah, take those resources, go on to the temporary settlement. We were gonna do healthcare next, weren't we? However, I was I was now thinking steam still works, possibly. Then resource deep upgrade. No, I don't think we should do those. Maybe generate power upgrade. No, 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 I don't think we need these just yet. Let's do Oh, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Let's uh, let's do. Uh, I want to do bunkhouse. Actually, we don't have any steel, so I don't think we can research anything. Uh, we can do steam steel works. Let's do that. That might actually be be decent, you know. Get people in there, and then we have got ten people like doing nothing. So, in fact, I'm gonna take people out that cold thumb because that pile is full they won't work otherwise so they're just sitting there doing nothing and while we're at it we'll put a couple of these on as wood so we can just continually stockpile that wood and the coal is actually getting stockpiled as well dude i think food is going to be yeah I, we need food then we? we definitely need food we're up to 24 londoners which i've never seen I've never seen it that high, to be totally honest. Ooh. 
Everything's going cold. Let's get heaters on. The pub hope rises. Oh, and that tendency's got to go down soon, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Nine days left to sort it out, though, which is quite a lot of time. However, it's quite a lot of Londoners, not going to lie. Not going to lie. Let's take those. Continue to ward colony. Oh, my God. So many. So many places to explore. Um, what else? Were, what else is good here? The temple is good. Shrines increases efficiency and increases hope. Yeah, let's do shrines. Shrines will be a good one. I'll put one here next to those. Put one over here. That covers the wall drill and the steam. Like, well, the, the coal things and I can put one here and that covers if I put it right in the middle there that covers the cookhouse the three workshops and the two infirmaries that would be a good that would be a decent place to put it I think yeah that covers literally everything there absolutely amazing I'll go with that hopefully that raises the hope quite a bit I think as well I was going to do healthcare installation but it looks like we're on top of that so I'm gonna forego that and get lighter scout sets instead here I want to do steam steel works just because I feel like steel is very underrated in the mid game <laughs> just because just because I would basically I say it's underrated basically I forget about it all the time until it's too late uh, people are hungry you know what I I'm gonna do that. That may be a little bit risky. However, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so we'll do hunt. Uh, we need want flying hunters. What hunters hang out, and that's what we need. Um, still for. So yeah, once we've got, you know what? Let's actually do that automaton on there, and let's swap those over to over to the wall drill. These guys have come back with. With the children, we are gonna have to have another. We're gonna have to have another um, child shelter. In fact, we're gonna have to have three more. That's not ideal, is it? So these child shelters, each of them can hold or can house um, fifteen children. So we'll put one there. Do they? Do they take still? Yeah, they take five still. We'll leave that for now. <laughs> Everyone's got a tent, which is good. So we don't need the charge shells just yet. And I really want to just get those hunters' hangers in. Uh, more explore, uh, more explorers or survivors. Even more children, more engineers. Again, that's a lot of people there. There's a lot of people. And these will send them back out over here. So let's go freshwater springs and then we'll send them to Frozen Grove. Yeah, I need I need steel coming in thick and fast. And I don't think there's any other way of getting steel. Other than these these two deposits over there. I mean you can get it from the frostland, but that's not like that will come when it comes you know we need it right now uh, in terms of another law so dueling law is a no house of pleasure no moonshine is a no i think moonshine i think moonshine could maybe be utopia but i'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it the other one here would be care house but we don't have any amputees or gravely ill so don't worry about it just yet cemetery we could do that actually cemetery might be good raise hope but you know what? Let's do the temple. The temple will be good. Because we do need to get that hope raised. A new law has passed. Talking about hope getting raised. Let's put that on. And we should start to see the tendency go down just ever so slightly. I do need to get that. Um, yeah, I do need to get that uh, food stockpile going. The lighter scouts has been researched. Let's right. Let's just get this 
first hummus hanger down. And then we can think about the next thing. So here, let's do healthcare installation. It takes still. Of course it does. We're on minus 40. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. What I'm actually going to do is take people out of there and start filling up these infirmaries. So we've got capacity for 10, 20. Then we've got two medical bays somewhere. Oh, in fact, let's get rid of these two. And we'll put them back in, in these ones. Just because these middle ones are in the heat zones, these ones are out of the heat zone. We don't want. Oh, what's this breath of hope? The shrines are making people hopeful. Which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, we've got 70 food. While we've got that, we may as well just use that to raise hope even more and i think we've got enough for temple no i lie we need 40 40 still all right we'll put these as coal because i did notice we've got the coal filling up cold homes again uh, we could uh, we could have probably done cold homes but uh saying that we'd have had to do another power upgrade on there and it would have been a bit of a nightmare so probably best we didn't do that so yeah, let's get healthcare installation cooking. What have we got left here? We've got 10 workers doing absolutely nothing. So we could put them to work somewhere. Maybe in this, maybe in another gathering post. Yeah, I'll put them in another gathering post next to here and we can start collecting up that coal very quickly. Saying that we've got a lot more people <laughs> now ar arrive. So 53 people, we need another six homes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That will do there. In range of a fighting arena and only one of them was out of the range of, of the House of Prayer. That's fine. Let's load up these infirmaries as well while we're at it. And get those back out. And get these over the frozen groove. I don't know what we're going to find out here. I don't, like I said, I don't really play this scenario much. So I really have no idea. Um, the faith keepers, we can't do it because, well, we don't have faith keepers. We're not going to sign faith keepers either. How many engineers? We've got 15 engineers. So what we, what I'm going to do is stick them in some workshops. So I'll put them up here because eventually we will have to keep that up here and that'd be a good place and it's in range of a shrine as well so the efficiency will be boosted this is what we need efficiency boost so all, of, all across the board healthcare insulation has been done amazing now let's do oh what can we do we do need to do something maybe we do the next one yeah let's do the next one all right, I need to get those other hunters. I need to get them flying hunters down quickly. And you know what? Let's do another two of those. And that way we can, well, this starvation, we don't have a lot of time left <laughs> to do it. In fact, I think we may fail that. It's not, not the best. Uh, oh, what is this? Number of Londoners, Arthur Cleric. Okay, so. 28 Londoners. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, right. This is annoying. So, people will... Uh, right, we're going to leave... Uh, this is annoying because we're going to... It's going to be just luck if people die or not. So, we'll go for it. Our scouts attack the bears. People in the caves join them and... Okay, right, cool. No one died. That was good. <laughs> no one died. Thank God. Uh, that's fine. We've got some wood there. Let's take him over to the large convoy next. And let's get people in these hunters. These hunters huts. They are going off to work. And hopefully that gives us enough raw food to convert. Get people in there as well. Get engineers in here. Having that extended shift is not 
uh, sorry, having the extended shift not on is <laughs> is so weird. I have it on the whole time. I'm wondering if there's another law we can do to raise hope a little bit. Oh, we need to build the temple, don't we? Yeah, we need to need to build a temple. And I'm going to do cemetery just now because hope will rise with that. In fact, hope rises quite a lot with that. Uh, where is the temple? Here it is. This doesn't have to be a, anywhere in particular. I could put it up here. They can make a pilgrimage up there. Oh god, more people have arrived. <laughs> oh, this is getting out of hand. Uh, let's move them up. Like, send them back out. Get these tents down. Again, where do I want to put them? A bit, couple in there. How many do we need? We need three. Yeah, we'll fit those in there just for now. Oh, the people are feeding all over the place. Discontent rises. Temple built, hope rises. Londoners is now tendency down two, which is good, but we want it. We want it more. Really. And okay, we can't do anything about it. We have three days to sign the public penance law. Now I don't know if that's a utopia one or not. We'll see. Let's have a read of it. I oh, know public penance is not. No, it's not a utopia. So we won't be signing that. It could be a bit of a nightmare. People are abandoning the Londoners, which is always nice to see. So we've got another six days for them to go down, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping we have enough time to do that. So, we've got quite a lot of food come back. I'm going to do another cookhouse. We'll just put that over there. It's, it is cold, but... We'll whack a heater on that and hopefully we can start producing that food like quickly like, quick enough to like stockpile stuff so i mean there's a lot of food being being made already but we want more food being made that's what we want come on everyone's fed yeah there we go fantastic okay that's good to know it's good to know we've done that Hope rises as well, which brings us to three three downward arrows on the tendency, which is, I think, the best you can get. Now, let's go that, and we'll do that as well. And hope is hope is off the charts. Amazing. What have we got over here? <laughs> We've got even more survivors. Okay, so that's another 26, 45. Another 45 coming. How many tents have we got we got that so we need five more tents so i am thinking we start doing bunk houses because we've got um we've got double temperature drop coming so got one there let's do a couple over here two three four Can I squeeze that in there no, I can't. How annoying. What I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can squeeze them in, though. We'll just get rid of these ones. We'll do a little... So the, we've got a little path there, and then we're going to try and squeeze them in. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little path. Building that tiny little path just helped us use the space a little bit more efficiently. It was nice. And you know what? We have actually got quite a bit of steel now. So we can put that to use in bunk houses. Saying that, we probably want to do another temperature upgrade or heating upgrade. So. Right, what we could right, what we need to do is start heating stuff out of the way. So yeah, let's do steam hub upgrade. We'll get those that upgraded and then we'll start building those. Then we'll do the generator upgrade and then we'll do some other uh, maybe heaters and I'm wondering what the best so I'm, I'm going to try and do a, like a circular path around the whole thing and then that'll be like the where we'll put the uh, the steam hubs so what else have we got here to do field kitchens and house of healing 
House of Healing, that would give us hope. Build kitchens. You know what? I think we can leave it for now. Care house might be a good one to do, actually, but I do need to do cemetery. I forgot about that. Again, I'm just, just forgetting all over the place, and I will just whack that down in the middle there. Don't see why it can't go there. Good a place as any. This content is creeping up a little bit. We can't do that at the moment because we haven't got any food. And these guys have arrived. Now they have all got houses already, haven't, haven't they? Down to 12 Londoners. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I thought that might be a little bit of an issue. But it's absolutely fine, it seems. Uh, we'll send these guys to the coal mine. We can maybe do an outpost. Yeah, I literally never do outposts. Once we've like... I think once we've got past this bit here, so the temperature drop and the temperature rise, we're going to go fully on resources. So just realise this one sawmill has run out of run out of wood, and we are going to be filling up on steel and wood soon. So let's put that on wood, and we knew yeah we do need to put steel steel down so let's do generator upgrade and when i say steel down i mean a resource depot <laughs> put that down and fill it with steel that's what i mean uh, let's get the path going up there to begin with let's do a, three of those i don't know why just we'll, we'll just do them and these guys have reached the uh the fishing village. So I'm going to leave the village intact. Because this will allow us to build an outpost. But I don't really use outposts. I'm going to dismantle it. I'm going to dismantle it. Because I don't use outposts at all really. And we've got the wall drill. We've got some other things. We've got like we can just use sawmills and stuff. If we're desperate for wood. I don't think we will be. Uh, let's get couple of those steel and one of those wood and eventually what we, what we will do is do the resource depot upgrade okay so we've got the generator power upgrade but I'm gonna put that back down to one just for now and let's start building these steam hubs so the generate so the range of them has increased so you can see they cover quite a lot so I'm thinking if we put them there and then we'll just create a path. Ah, oh, look, it's right on that on that edge. So we'll create a path all the way around, like this. And this will be the uh, like where we put the steam hubs on. So we just need to like cover everything. That's that's what we need to do because that's going to avoid people getting sick. Um, can I do it with this on? No, I can't. You know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that first one be built first, and then we'll go. Oh, what's this? Oh no! Look, having <laughs> having no faith keepers to sort that out is a very annoying. But cool, we've got this now, so. Let's do that there, and then I think, yeah, we'll, just, we'll let that get built as well, because it's, e it's much easier to see, because the snow melts. <laughs> oh, these guys have reached places, so Tesla City, we are going to stay away from the city, because we don't want anyone to die. I don't think there's anyone in there, it's just resources, but I'm not going to risk it for resources, that's fine. Risk it for the survivors, I think, is a good, it's a good idea, but... For resources, we can just get more resources. Uh, let's do that one there. See, this is super efficient. This is. And then, then we'll do another one there. And then we do need one in the middle here. I think. I think it's fine. There. 
Okay, we'll go with that. If there's any cold homes, we'll, we'll be able to see because they'll have snow on top of them. I think everything is covered except for this one. Why is this one not covered? It's, it's just out of range. How annoying is that? What I'm going to do is actually get rid of that, I think, and move it. Yeah, I'll move it up here somewhere. Because that is very annoying. It shouldn't be that cold. It shouldn't be cold there. <laughs> like, out of all the places to be cold, it's cold right in the middle. Okay, take the coal, and again, we can dismantle it. I'm going to dismantle it because, again, I don't use outposts. Explore this, take the resources, send them on even further. Right, I think we've explored all of that. So let's send those to there. Now, the only issue I think we're going to have here is if this public penance law down here, which evildoers will repent, if that fails, which it will, then hope will go down, I think, or discontent will go up. And then that will cause Londoners to be a bit hairy. So, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully people leave the Londoners before this evil, this one, evil do as one goes, or like triggers. So, we'll look at, we'll, we'll do that. Just realise running the game forward without doing nothing. Uh, let's do, let's do Steam. So, uh, what we're we gonna do? I think Resource Depot Upgrade, this will be a good one for now and prepare us for the next thing. Oh, here we go, look. Our coal is going down, so we, maybe we need another coal thumper. Maybe we need another, another lot of coal. Uh, he in... Oh, I feel like me... No, we couldn't literally... Like, we couldn't have done that one because we've got the, the temperature drop coming. For some reason I thought it was already minus 60, but it's not. So two people left the Londoners there, that's good, but it's not enough. It's not enough, I don't think. I bet we get more survivors here. <laughs> oh, we were going to do bunk houses, weren't we? Oh, they came back. We do need to send them out to crash site, though. And we are getting a lot we are getting a lot of sick people maybe it's time for another infirmary yeah we've got a lot of heat zones so let's do another two of those oh look we've got so many people doing nothing that's not good is it <laughs> we need to do we need to get them doing something so let's do another coal thumper Yeah, cold thump up, and we can do another couple of uh, gathering posts. I think that was out of range. No, that was just in range of the shrine. Okay, we'll do that. That's fine, and then we'll do gathering post there as well. And we could probably do another. Probably do another lot of coal thumping over there be very useful to have have actually more coal coming in right so we've got temperature down so let's actually turn the temperature back up then to steam level two and i'm i'm tempted to put it on overdrive as well overnight just to reduce people getting sick uh, let's get people in there let's get people in there and let's hit that and we'll do that as well but I hope I tell you what if this Londoners fails now because of this law one here I'm gonna be I'm gonna be rather annoyed oh no okay so the scouts will reach the Americans and convince them to join yeah talk to them okay sorry I thought thought we could maybe die there but we, it seems like we can't so we're coming back now with some more people 36 more people to be exact. So let's get some more some more tents down. One, two, three. Stick one. Uh, we'll stick one here. And 
and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start on coal mining I think because I want to get like a like a better sort of coal for some reason I don't like coal thumpers I feel like they're too inefficient like they take a lot of people oh no okay losing a limb that's not good so we do need to go down care house and that's annoying because this was freezing cold totally overlooked that so i'm gonna put a steam hub there and actually a steam hub over here as well and they should like that should alleviate the frostbites over here just as we've researched coal explore there that's fine crash site okay i think we can bring these guys back and actually have them in the city now which is good but I do need to do care house, don't I? Let's get the care house down. We only need one of them. Put it over here. Why not? Do we need? Oh, we need. We need more um child shelters. That's what we need. I think. Yeah. I mean, kids are helping out, but I think we need everyone in a car, in a child shelter. I think that's what we need. So I'll put them down, and I think Utopia would have. <laughs> would have child shelters for everyone. So we've got two already. So three, four, five. Make sure it's in in range. Oh look, that's that's cold as well. Ah, it's not anymore because that's covering it. Sweet. Got a nice little in industry bit over here, haven't we? You know what I'm thinking? This might be a bit wild. Putting <laughs> putting more of these workshops down. I mean. We've got engineers. Our healthcare is looking okay at the moment. So I think the maximum you can have is ten before it starts not making a difference. So we'll put ten down. Oh, hang on, we can't have them over here because we need the. Uh, it's covering up the coal mines. So let's get rid of those, and we'll put. Well, we'll just put coal mines down there to begin with. And then we can put these down. Like we can sneak them in there. There we go. Man, what an, what an ugly looking like little bit of the of the city, but I don't care. <laughs> it works. And while while we're at it, we may as well just put a steam steam hub there. Not the most efficient place, but I want those coal mines. Uh, those coal mines covered. Uh, oh my god. People are joining the Londoners still. Are you kidding me? They need to go down. <laughs> they need to just go down. Oh, someone died. Uh, the priest that you sent to change the London speaker, he's dead. Oh my god. That doesn't happen in Utopia, does it? That's not ideal. I don't know. Uh, well, it's one of those things you need to sign the law. You, you need to sign that law, don't you, to, to stop that happening, but. It's not one of the utopia laws, so it's not ideal. Um, infirmary mechanization might be, be good. Bunkhouse. Let's do bunkhouse. I've been talking about bunkhouse for ages, but not doing it. Let's get engineers in here. Oh, we've run out of engineers. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Cool. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That wasn't too bad. We just need to get those, those Londoners out of here be gone just get out of it oh we were gonna uh dismantle those weren't we or disband them in fact yeah let's disband those do we have engineers yeah we've got three engineers free to go in there cool are we doing infirmary no infirmary mechanization ah that's what happened so oh hang on was it no we didn't even do that but I think maybe we should do that next then. Oh, we definitely need that coal. <laughs> we definitely need that coal coming in. So bunkhouses. Right. What we will do is we will leave bunkhouses for now. And I think we just need to focus on resources. I think that's what we need to do. Mainly steam coal mine. Because that normal coal mine is absolutely awful. 
Well, these guys came back with the Americans, so we'll send them back out here. Hopefully they, they don't die. Uh, while we're at it as well, shrine over here might be useful to do efficiency up over here. That will cover the two infirmaries, the two coal mines, and two or three of the workshops. I think that's good. No thanks, of course, no worries. I don't know what I did, but I'll take it. I'll take the credit for that one. And the steam coal mine has been researched. I'll build that I'll build that in the night. And let's do a cook house insulation. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should just do insulations. Insulation is very good. We may need generator power upgrade too and improved heaters as well. You know what we are going to get in a minute or very soon go down three levels to minus i think it's going to go down to minus 70. so yeah bunk houses for everyone i think <laughs> that would be quite useful and coal mining because we're going to need to power the power the um uh, power the generator I said I was going to do that coal mine in the middle of the night, didn't I? But, oh well. No, I said I was going to do bunk house in the middle of the night. No, I didn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's too late here. <laughs> I swear. I can't believe those Londoners are still knocking about. Like, come on, just go away. Okay, the next one to do is prosthetics. And we could do a factory and get that Gaia prosthetic and we should be like all good there so we've got 44 people doing nothing oh man look at that the coal the coal's the coal's gone <laughs> how did that happen that's not good is it come on get back to work and we can get that coal coming in luckily the temperature rose just in time so we can put on Put it on level one and that was sketchy i'm not gonna lie that was very sketchy i was not expecting that coal mine optimization has been researched so we're getting like 160 per hour now whereas one of those debts are 80 a day like not upgraded or anything so we're looking good on coal i think I'm going to do insulation here. So yeah, insulation and let's get everyone bunk houses. That's what I want. We've got a lot of um we've got a lot of steel on that. So we'll just do as many as we can. I literally don't don't care. This is what we're doing. Everyone will have to go and build it though. <laughs> everyone will have to go and build these otherwise we we screwed over overnight. I think that's everyone. Just double check. Yeah, look at that. We had so many resources we could build everyone a bunkhouse. I was not expecting that. Someone does need to go and build them right now, though. Uh, oh, we can send them to stone ship. Yeah. So if one, everyone doesn't have it, like, if no one has a house overnight. We're we're not looking good <laughs> because they'll just get ill and over overrun our healthcare. We don't want that. I'm thinking doing infirmary mechanisation now. That will free up some engineers to do other stuff. So like I said I probably want to do factory, and we could get some more automatons. That would be quite good. You see, right? This is the issue we had. A lot of people were now getting sick because they didn't have a have a house overnight. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I think we did the Londoners. Oh, that's amazing. That was a bit touch and go, not gonna lie. That could have ended badly. Could have ended badly. But we did it. Well done. The Londoners. The Londoners are done. Sweet.
Cool. The only issue now, we've got a lot of sick people. Saying that, we've only got 11 out of the medical bay, which is fine. Look at the city now. It looks so good. Everyone's got a bunkhouse. I love it. So let's explore here. There's nothing to do there. Better to be out in the frost line here. <laughs> in the city, you get put straight to work. So that's going to free up some more engineers, I think. So you've got 20 engineers now. So again, I reckon another infirmary. I know it's a bit crazy, but I just want to get on top of this healthcare issue. And then also we can actually do the factory. So Right, so this temperature drop is only for like a day. Uh, it's still, still a day though. So a day is still a long time in this game. So I'm going to do generator upgrade 2. That should see us through that day and then we can do um, resources. I, I said I was going to do resources, didn't I? But I guess I'm not. <laughs> Let's go to Ice Corridor. Oh, this game, you always, you've got to react. you got to, you got to react, you got to adapt, you got to do what's right. You can do another law. Ceremony funerals, that'll be a good one. Um, we have got someone, we have got someone dead, haven't we? So, poor Lucy Leeds, man. Rip, never forget. Let's get those engineers into those workshops. So we got 220 potential. Oh, saying, oh, I thought it was only 200 it could go up to, but it can go up to 220 apparently. So that's good. Oh, look, people are... We've, we healed up a lot of sick people there. So I'm wondering if it was worth putting that extra one down. I don't think it was. Let's get that out and we'll get the steam core back for them. Unexpected guests. Okay, we will help them. <laughs> I think we need to send people out. Oh no, hang on. No, no, no. They're coming. Oh my god, there's 20, 40, 60, 70 people coming. Okay. Not ideal. We're 23, so we need 50 more beds, I think. So let's get them bunk houses. Only the best. Only the best. One, two, three, four, five. And what are these guys doing? They are doing nothing because we just made them. <laughs> That's why. Let's get let's just disband them again. So we're looking. I think we're looking pretty good. The city's in good shape. I would like to increase resource production though. I'm wondering if we can do another wall drill somewhere wall drill we've got yeah two spots for a wall drill so let's put another one down there we've got steam coal mines are there any more areas yeah there's one here so we'll get that going we'll put a heater on that one and we do need to put a heater on this one as well because we've got 50 people doing nothing and Bunch of engineers doing nothing as well. Generator research upgrade done. And I think we are gonna be doing I wanna I wanna do these then I steam wheel drill. Gathering post installation might be a good one. What else have we got? Could even go to the next we could even go to the next one here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think you know what? Actually, no factory. No, we won't do factory. I'm gonna go to the next one. This should be on. Right, yeah, we've got th level three now, which is good. We need to get these. Um, we need to get these coal mines up and running. So do that. That's chilly, but let's turn the heater on. Stop people getting sick in there. These guys don't need that. That's fine. The different engine has been researched. 
So infirmary checklist, flying hunters, coal mining rationalization, and I might do advanced steelworks. We do need to get this guy a prosthetic though. <laughs> we need to get those in there and a heater on as well. Okay, these <laughs> these resources are going to be coming in fast now, which is good. So we can build pretty much whatever we want. Within reason, of course. Food though, food is an issue. Let's do some more flying hunters. Unless I want to do cook house, or sorry, hot house maybe. Do a couple more of these. Ah, oh, you know what? Cookhouse is good, but it takes steam cores. That's the only issue with it. You probably need like two or three of them, or even four, to uh, be able to feed all of, all of the people in here. Oh, so we're going cold. Let's get on to steam all three. Hopefully, we are covered. Ah, oh, yes, we are. Except here. Oh no. We're not covered at the wall drill. Right, let's get the wall drill off so no one gets sick. This is not ideal over here because we do need this one like online. Otherwise, we're not going to be having enough coal coming in. That's all good there. Oh my days, they're going so far. I didn't even know there was that many things out there. Saying that, 66 per hour. We can do a quick look at the old economy. Yeah, we're losing a we're losing we're losing so we do need more whole stuff going on so maybe oh, we've got coal mining rationalization oh running from the storm okay huge crowd of people have reached the city everyone's welcome 70 people arrived but we already built houses for them didn't we oh did we we need a couple more. Bunk house, one there, one there. Oh, wait, we won't do it there because that's freezing. Just out of range of the, uh, the steam hub there. So heating, what was I going to do? Improved heaters. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best one. To go for next. That is going to cause, that is going to cause issues though. That's going to make everyone. Um, oh, it's still not. It's still too cold. Oh man. Uh, we're going to need another. We're going to need a steam hub there then. That's that's fine. I think we can deal with that. These have reached that. Oh my days. There's even more to the supply depot. Just get there. Please just get there. And we can do another law as well. Okay, I think we're all done with that one. Purpose. Build kitchens. House of healing. Build kitchens. Raises temperature of nearby workplaces by one level. Oh, that's decent. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. So we could put that over here, in fact. Over here as well. I think we need people working in these though so this is not like a silver bullet or anything <laughs> this could be a bit of a nightmare in fact put it here we'll just connect them to paths it should be good to go on those okay we've got no frozen people which is good to know so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, steam, advanced still works. We could even go to the next level. Yeah, let's just get up. Right, I want to get that coal mine done. You know, we get the coal mine done. We've got loads of loads of people as well. We can get all of these up and running. The field kitchens. I think. Right, I think the main thing we need to do now is actually food and I just realized we've got so many more people coming so we've got another 70 there and then another 60 there is that right yeah 70 and 60 so 130 more people so 13 of these oh man 
So let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, put it in the wrong place. Seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Mate, these guys here are getting the life of luxury. They're coming into a bunkhouse, they're loving life. What else is what else is there to live for? I do need food though. <laughs> that is an issue. That is an issue. So maybe we do need to think about hot house. I'll go for the advi like the steel the steam hot house, whatever it is, the upgraded one. And while we're at it, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a few more workshops down. Just because I thought you could do like, I thought we could only do 10, and that would be it. But it looks like you can do more. Hope Rise of the Field Kitchens. Absolutely love to see it. Everyone's welcome. Oh, God. We've got 25 gravely ill people. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Do 40. Yeah, look at that. Literally, we can just... We can just, I feel like we can just put these workshops down all over the place and it'd be fine. So another two. I th Maybe we need another infirmary now because we're another two infirmaries because we've got 50 people like sick, which is not ideal. Just make sure they're in a heat zone. Get them in, get them healed up, get them back out to work. Automatic prototyping has been researched. I'm gonna. I want to do advanced coal mine. In fact, I want to do everything. To be totally honest, um, but this has opened up a lot of things for us, which is really good. So yeah, I'm gonna do advanced. I'm gonna do advanced coal mine, and we're gonna go for it. Saying that we do need steam cores. So that's that's maybe not maybe not the best thing to do. Yeah, let's not. Let's not do that because we are going to need three steam cores for that. We don't have them at the moment, so it's pointless. Same with steam wall drill. This one could be good. Maybe we do these. Efficiency. Yeah, I think we do that then. Efficiencies. Uh, let's start, start with the main generator efficiency going up. That would be quite useful. Um, there's literally even more places to go to. They're going all the way up the mountain. Crazy. Look at that infirmary online. And then also... Oh, there's this one over here We as well. we can get that one online. Cool. And then we can put a couple of people in there. Generator research. Uh, efficiency upgrade. Yeah, we'll do number two as well while we're at it. Hasn't got. Oh, that hasn't got a path to it. Let's put that there. I feel like I'm going to need to stockpile. I keep saying it's food, 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 food. We just do not have enough food. Right. And someone needs to remind me <laughs> to do food. Look how close. Like, look how much that coal goes down though overnight. We've got on my on level three. I think we can put it down to level two. You know, because it's only minus fifty. Carry on. I definitely said new landmark. Uh, our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but may have reached some more promising locations from here. Well, it hasn't opened anything else, but we'll see. We shall see. But we can do another law as well, and I think we will do House of Healing. And I hope this doesn't kill anyone. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it does or not, though. Uh, again, I'm just going to just whack it in anywhere in a heat zone. I don't care where it goes. Literally do not care where it goes. The third wave, everyone's welcome. I forgot about these. Okay, so oh, we've got a bunch more things open up down here. 
and I think we've got the storm coming. So we've got to be careful of that. Let's get out and explore these people, uh, these here. And yeah, the storm is the storm is coming in. Right, we've got we need to right we need to build a few more care houses. I think because we've got a lot of gravely ill. Um, I'm wondering, do I start going down this way? I kind of want to keep in them heat zones. So that there is it. One, two, three, four. I think that's fine. four will give us 60 capacity plus we've got one more so 75 percent capacity in the care house would be good to know 49 in the care house i think that's fine so yeah food 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 so hot house we'll do we'll do all of, we'll do all the hot houses right I just, want the, I just want these guys to come back now. Everything up there is explored, which is absolutely fantastic. These guys can come back and help explore this over here. Yeah, that, that food is going down an awful lot. We've got 598 people. Oh, Hot House. Hot House was like researched well quick there. So good. Annoyingly, we're not going to have enough steam cores actually to build. <laughs> To build what we want i mean we can do one but we're not going to be able to upgrade it and then i'm gonna to have to do another few heat zones as well it's fine but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do that for now uh just because i feel like i put heaters on there and it should cover everything so the steam hubs should cover everything. Oh my days, even more survivors. 19 there. We got start we got yeah, we got starving people now, which is not good. So let's get that whole house down. And I'm gonna do a steam hub as well. So I think that is just I think that's just fine there. So I'll do it here for now. What's that? Oh, that's for the uh, outpost depots, isn't it? Industrial hothouse has been researched, but we do not have the steam cores for it. So we could do that. We could do that. Oh, flying hunter's gear. Oh, why didn't I see that before? Let's do flying hunter's gear. Because that will increase food production by quite a bit. Those people just arrived, somehow got into a house. I didn't build any more, but I think we should. We've got 84 vacant beds. Oh, wow. Okay. I've overbuilt, definitely. I think that's because we built care houses and child shelters, I think. The wood is now full. That's not good. I mean, it's not good. The house of healing is now is now open. So that's, that's, so that's a good thing. Again, I build these things. I just forget about them. Uh, let's send those back out to the ice crevice and these guys well race them to the ice crevice <laughs> or is it crevice or crevasse i don't know this might be a little bit of a wild thing to do but i'm actually going to do large resource depot because i want to start filling up all of the, like i want to start stockpiling essentially uh, we can do another law. I'm wondering if we do need another law. I think that's all of them, you know. I think that's all for the Utopia run. So, looking good. I do need to get the guy a prosthetic, don't I? Because I don't know if he'll like do something. I don't know if he's gonna like, you know, <laughs> if he's gonna die. So we don't want him to die. Runaway child. Oh no. 
Uh, equip him for the journey. You better, you better come back, mate. You better come back. You've just taken all our food rations. <laughs> uh, we've got... Hang on, right. Where are we going? I think we've... So these guys need to go to Snow Burrows. And these ones are going to that other one. So that's all good there. Healthcare is again looking pretty decent at the moment. And we have got an extra steam core. We've got 108 people doing nothing. So this is where... Oh, hang on, right. let's get that industrial hothouse down. And we could probably do another hothouse just next to it. That would be good. Oh, we're up to minus... Minus six... No, minus 70 and everything's... Everything went... Everything went freezing for a, for a while then. This we can turn off. Okay, things are getting a little bit intense now. So we do need to just start. We need to like... Let's do four of those. One will be coal. One will be wood. One will be steel. One will be food rations. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, oh my god, even more survivors escort the scientists to the city. That's 19 more people. Oh, and even more survivors bring the sick to the city. Oh, no. You know what it might be a good, good thing to do as well? Send more people out. Let's put that on wood. Put that on coal. Put this one on food rations and this one on steel. Okay, so I'm hoping that's going to be like good enough. For us in terms of more research you know what i might actually send out additional scouts advanced coal mines oh do we want these actually i think we do these are fine hothouse selection are oh, all of these would be very useful i'm going to start with oh no but we need steam cores for them don't we right advanced still works is the only one we don't need steam cores for so we'll do that. What's going on over here? Okay, that's that's cold. That's fine. Saying so that we're losing coal by the minute. So we need to up our coal production. You coming in the city? Oh, you coming in as well? Oh no, hang on. We've got thirty-one people without a home. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. One, two. Three, four, four of those. We'll put a heater on the hot house. Just get, just get working. This is where emergency shift would be very useful. Let's get that working as well because we've now got a lot of sick people. These guys get sent back out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do more scouts and all that. Oh no, actually, we've got quite a, we've got quite a lot of things to do before. The storm comes in. The storm is creeping in. Okay. Oh, we need to research the stereoscopic lens. Oh, have I just like not done that? Maybe that was maybe that was something we needed to do ages ago. Oh yeah, I didn't even realise. Should have done it like a day ago. Oh well. It's fine. The city's in, in good hands still. It's in good hands. Just don't worry about it. Still haven't got enough... Still haven't got enough housing. How strange. Um, Someone someone can live there right in the middle of the two wall drills. It's not the best place. Oh, I still haven't got... Hang on. We need another, another bunkhouse. I'm wondering if they going into the actual medical bays and then coming out and needing housing but I've built another three houses so we're fine cool so the stereoscopic lens has been built we now need to prepare for the storm now this is where things get real so recall all scouts I do want to I do want to actually like explore all of this but 
It's a bit risky with them going out there. Oh uh, yeah, we need to rescue survivors from Deep Hollow anyway, so we'll do that. Research power generated, upgrade three, overdrive couplings, and gather at least a week's worth of food for each citizen. That's a total of 3,000 food. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We haven't got any steam cores left. Go to Jagged Rock. I'm hoping there's going to be like some food out there or something. I don't even know if it's going to be worth it going up there, but I'm curious to see what it is. Hungry mother. Yep. Yeah, just give her the food rations. There's only two, so. All good there. Right. Bring the wounded to the city. Absolutely fantastic. It's a risk. It's a risky sending all these guys out I tell you so we are gonna have to do food oh, I think food is gonna be the main thing here right so hot house selection will do that will increase the efficiency of these but where are all right I'm trying to think where our steam cores are tied up in oh, that can go down as a level then I think so food theft I won't, um, I won't address it right now. <laughs> Just don't worry about it for now, please. You're fine. All right, cookhouse. I don't think a cookhouse can keep up with demand. So I'm going to put a few more down. Um, where can they squeeze in? They do need to be hot though, don't they? Ooh, I can't find any heat zones that are suitable. Ah, it's one here. And then one there. Is that in a, is that in a heat zone? No, it's not. It's not in a heat zone. We've got one in a heat zone. Ah, there we go. Fit it in there. Cool. If I just load up those, they just need to be converting, converting raw food. And that's creating six, seven an hour. Oh, they've required some use, useful. Oh. God, right, that's risky. Sending them out there is risky because the storm is coming. As you can see, all these are frozen, but I want to go to Nansen's storm watch. I just want to go to it. Right, let's get these here. I th I'm hoping they can beat the storm back, you know. So that, let's give them a good chance of coming back and do boosted scout sleds. That will make them like a lot faster. It's risky though, isn't it? Look, it's so close. They've got a technology as well. Cool, so the survivors have all been rescued. I will send these out here. We'll just keep an eye on them though. If they if it seems to ah, look, if it seems to get a little bit sketchy, we'll bring them back. But those boosted scouts that did not work. And how many We've got a day of coal left. So we're on minus 60, we're going to minus 70, minus 80, then storm hits. What is this? Doom mongering. Send them home, don't worry about it. Okay, these can't be hanging around here. Take the technology. Bring these guys back to the city. They need to outrun that storm, I tell you. They need to outrun that storm ASAP. Please get back. Loads of people are getting ill. I think our healthcare can deal with it, which is good. Extra rations for the ill as well, we can use. Right, that food situation is not getting any better, is it? So what we're doing, everyone is going out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, everyone is going out <laughs> and getting and getting on hunting. That is it. Hot houses, why did I even bother with them? I knew I should have done Hunter's Huts to begin with. Boosted Scout Sleds has been researched. They reached Deep Hollow. Again, this is sketchy sending them, and sending them there, but I want to explore everywhere. That's the ish. That's the issue I have. Curiosity killed the cat, but the knowledge brought them back, so let's go for it. These just need to, these just need to go out and get food. You do that now. 
And then I think maybe... Well, we need to do generator power upgrade three, don't we? And we need to do overdrive uplands. I was going to do efficiencies. Ah, uh, let's do let's do efficiencies. That's going to help out help out quite a bit. With stuff. What is that? Steam coal mine. It would have been nice to have advanced coal mines. Ah, uh, right. What is this? So we got two technologies. Now, what technologies did we actually get? <laughs> be interested oh we got the advanced coal mine and we did get the uh i think we got additional scouts i'm gonna put those advanced steel works down just because we may need more steel maybe not oh wow even more people okay we saved them from the storm all right i'm glad about that these guys now can go to camp meteor so we'll send them out there. This is a little bit less risky, so that's good. Hopefully these guys with the scientists come back fairly quickly. Just checking the beds. We've got 108. What? How have we got 108 vacant beds? Maybe because everyone's sick. I don't know. Let's have a look. We've got three days until we've got that. Food is going to be the main thing here. So what we would do in a non-utopia is either do... Um, is either do um, soup or we would do the other one <laughs> food additives that was what we'd do but we can't because we're in Utopia so I'm going to put another cookhouse down so we've got five, six hundred food seven hundred food rations good healthcare insulation will be good we could build houses for everyone that might be decent we do need to do these don't we how long have we got left okay i think we need to do the generate i just we just need to do these i think generator cold yeah let's do let's do the generator ones and then we can start thinking about the other ones so these amazing these came back absolutely fantastic let's get these sent out to that one first let's get those disbanded and we're gonna do these so overdrive couplings first and then we'll do the other thing prayers at work let them pray let them pray Cool, that's fine. Overdrive couplings have been done. Generator safety bypass. Let's do heater upgrade efficiency. That's all good. Food is now getting converted, which is again really good. Explore that. Carry on. Oh no. I don't think we're going to make it out there. The efficiency has been researched. Let's do... Uh, I mean, we're doing these rapid now, aren't we? So, I'm thinking... No, we don't need that. Cook house. Uh, house, infirmary checklist. Oh, healthcare insulation. Let's do that. Oh, I've got 10 people without a, without a home as well. Let's get those sorted out. And we've got a couple of temperature drops coming in. Should probably do the generator. Oh, these have just been sitting out here doing nothing. Okay, I think I need to bring these back. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I didn't get there. Hopefully these can make it back in time. The storm is, is very close. I'm confident in them. Not good. Okay, they're fighting for some reason. Just... Look at the look at the situation. Just don't fight with each other. Fight with the storm. Punch the storm or something. I don't know. Oh dear. Okay, that's not good. We've got overdrive though. We're gonna put overdrive on. And I feel like we should not do that anymore. I think we just need to do number three. <laughs> Let's do that. Get that. Get that done. What is this? 
Oh, wow. Give away 1,400 wood. Oh, that's fine. We've got we've got a lot of hope, a lot of discontent. I didn't want to give away like, all of the wood. Outrageous. Oh, we're only on, on Steam level 2. These need to be operating at Steam level 3. Okay. No wonder. Now, this is, this is an issue <laughs> because... Um, this is an issue because we don't have like the proper infrastructure for coal. That's the issue here. So I'm going to uh, dismantle those hothouses to get some steam cores back. And then I'm going to put everything on advanced coal mine. Oh, can we have, we've got a shrine as well. Let's forget about these. Shrine can inf increase efficiency of everywhere. I think that's good enough for now. Uh, where's the other two coal mines? Oh, they're at the, okay. They're covered anyway. So where is the advanced coal mine? Here we go. Got one. Two, three. Okay, three advanced coal mines. I just need the food. I just need the food situation sorted out. That's the most annoying thing. Let's disband those guys. And you know what I'm thinking? I think we need more, more hunters. That's what we need. So one, two, three. Oh wow. Four. That's not a very good layout. But just don't worry about it. Don't look. Don't look at the layout. I'm just trying to try my best here. <laughs> Hopefully these guys can get out tonight. Oop, out you go. Out you go. Fly away. We've got like one day to do the food. I don't think we're going to do the food. But hopefully we'll have enough to survive. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. This is a disaster. We've done everything else. It's just the food. We were looking really good here. We were looking really good. I'm going to put a couple of cook houses down. Let's do three cook houses just so we can start doing this food really quickly. engineers in there to get them in what can we research here generate a bypass I don't think there's anything really else to do but let's do healthcare stuff checklists and then we'll do uh, maybe we should do I mean let's well just just let's just do it and then then the checklists so Come on, come on. If you can do that in six hours, I'll be very impressed. So up to one, so about halfway on food. I say that. Okay, I think we needed one more day on food. But we have got a lot of people that just eat, 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 eat. Right, we needed a couple, yeah, we needed a couple more on food. But that's fine. I wonder if we should have got everyone houses as well. We probably have enough resources for it. But we won't even have enough like stockpile space for it as well. So change that for raw food. Or just food in general. And, and just hope and pray that <laughs> this is going to be it. It's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. I didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold, but it's getting even colder. Don't even worry about it. Okay, we'll put overdrive on. This is outrageous. All right, the city must survive. We didn't do the food, but we've done what we could to prepare. It doesn't matter. Like, we just need to now survive until, until the end. We cannot afford for this generator to, to like, die. That's the thing, so that's fine. 
Uh, house is researched. Amazing. Do I really want to be giving people houses now? I think I do. I think I can give everyone a house. This is not... This is not ideal, but <laughs> we'll go for it. What I might do is actually take a bunch of people off so they can just start building. Because it's early in the day here, so that's good. So, yeah, I'm going to take a, lot, a bunch of people out of bases just so they can start building these houses. Now, this is probably the worst thing I could have done. I'm not going to lie. We need to build all these houses in the day. Otherwise, people are going to be screwed. We've got enough. We've got enough food, I think. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have to raise hope. Oh, wow. Hope is down. I didn't realize that. Um, where's the temple? Boom, boom, boom. Get that hope back up. Hope is restored. And the building... The building is going on. We just need all these circles to be done very soon. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of death on our hands. Nearly 500 people out of out of housing okay they're doing well they're doing well to build they have done very well to build any sick people they are going into th uh, into healthcare which is good um overdrive we're turning it off because i forgot about it i'm not gonna lie danger of collapse just don't worry about it child shelters heating we'll turn those on I think we're doing good you know like we like we're not using too much coal yeah we're actually gaining coal every day yeah that's really good and we are on steam level four uh the mines are freezing oh no the hydraulic roofs okay abandon the lower levels i just as i said that oh 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 wow okay Okay, what's the plan? What is the plan here? I think it's coal thumpers. I think we just get a bunch of coal thumpers down. Jeez, Louise. Oh, we've run out of space. We are literally running out of space. Um, one there. Oh, where am I going to fit it in? But then I need a resource depot next to it. One there. Actually, they get loads down. Wow, okay. I'm just trying to try to squeeze things in wherever I can. Oh, so I'm, I'm literally trying to delete paths for some reason. Okay, that's good. Gathering post, gathering post, gathering post. Just, just get those down. Get gathering posts done over here. Where did I put that? All right, so it's one there, one there, one there. What we could do as well, while we remember, put a shrine over here. Put a shrine there as well. Increase efficiency across the board. Where was that other coal thumper I put? Oh no, this one's freezing. Why is that freezing? Put a heater on there. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember where I put the other coal thumper. Right, people are getting amputated. They're freezing, freezing cold. Luckily, everyone's got housing, though. Turn that on. Turn that on. Turn that on. We're not actually doing too bad for them. Um, not doing too bad. We're at a minus... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're at a minus 100. We're definitely not doing too bad. <laughs> do need to get that coal that coal back up though we didn't want to kill anyone by sending them into the mines 
So the, that's where the cold thumper went. Look at this. Look at this. Outrageous. I remember the first time I played this, I was like, just incredibly like impressed with this game. <laughs> just because of this bit here. He just starts going absolutely wild. Can't wait for number two as well. Cross point two is going to be absolutely incredible. Having like no extended shift and everything is made this like so much more difficult. We will build coal thumpers. I mean, I'm just build. I just built them. I just built them. I don't know where I'm going to fit any more coal thumpers in. But I do need. I think. I, yeah, I do need them. That's the thing. I do need them. I haven't even got the good coal thumpers. I've only got like the medium. Like the no, I haven't got the medium. I've got the basic ones. Oh man. I think this is the one thing I've not really worked out properly is the like the coal. So let's do one there. And we'll do one oh no we can't build it there. Come on, squeeze that in. There we go. I need one, two, three. Come on. What is this here? Get rid of that one. No, no, no. I want that one. Hang on. I'm going to run out. I'm going to run out of people to put in here. Hangers, hut, hunters, hanger, or whatever. Have we got someone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Overdrive. Oh my god. People are just going to get frozen. Coal is going up though. What? Coal is going up. We have kind of done it. Like we've kind of... Sorted. Coal secured. No, it's not secured though. Oh man. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. I need to get more food coming in. Oh no. Jeez, come on. This this poor little city is getting absolutely battered. We are going to have to turn that off. Everyone, just hang on. Just hang on, please. Please, is there anything else we can do? Generate a bypass. We're going to minus 120 now. All of, oh no, loads of people. Loads of people are sick. No. When we turn generator on, or sorry, overdrive on, people go into the infirmaries. How are you ever meant to do this without anyone dying? This is ridiculous. Okay. I think we're going to have some major deaths here. We have to stay strong. <laughs> Come on. Jeez Louise. Look, we're very, we are so close. Come on, look at that. Look at that. That is outrageous. We are got, uh, we have overdrive is off. That's, that's good, I think. Um, generator safety bypass has been done. What I can do as well, I'm actually going to get rid of one of the wall drills. In fact, let's get rid of both of the wall drills. We don't need any more wood coming in. And we can use those, I think, to, or like the steam cores to fix the generator. I think we can anyway. People refuse to work. Let them stay home. Just don't worry about it. Just go home. <laughs> okay, we go. Right, we're so close. These people are going through hell right now. This is meant to be utopia. Um, infirmary. People die in the streets. I mean, no one died, but... We can definitely do another infirmary and then get rid of it. Oh, I say that. Where are we going to fit it in? Oh, will it fit over here? It won't fit over there. We've got enough. We've got enough resources for it. Oh, we can, we can put it here. Okay, amazing. Guys, just go home. Just go home. 
we'll turn that off. I think... Yeah, we'll turn off overdrive. I think we can get away with it because we've got safety bypass, but... Where's one person? One person hasn't got a house. I, I saw that earlier. I didn't do anything about it. Let's just build one now. Because I don't want them to... I don't want them to die. Just whack them up there. Why not? Where's the, where's the house of prayer? Where's the house of prayer? All of this coldness. All right. There you go. Hope. Hope and discontent. I'm just like telling them it's fine. Just don't worry about it. No, seven people died. Frozen family. Oh, God. That's not good. Oh, these are freezing over here because they're outside the heat zone. Oh, no. Okay. The cold is... The cold is not in a good situation, though. Okay, we, we are having people die. I'm turning that down. I'm turning that down to heat level three. And we're off. We're off. We've run out of coal. We've run out of coal. Oh, no. We've got, like, literally like a day to survive. We are now back in the work day, which is good. And the cold is going up on heat level four, which is what we like to see. We love to see it, in fact. Panic spreads. Let them stay at home. I don't even know where that is. We've got 24 food left. You know what? I'm surprised no one has actually starved. It's actually really good. So uh, I say that some people might have, but I feel like they've been dying from cold. Miracles happen. No, oh, that guy came back and was like, <laughs> the guy we sent out to look where his son came back and was like, what is going on here? Oh, God. Okay, right. This is crazy now. If we put that heat level three, so I just want to stockpile some coal. We've got... Oh, no, we don't... Oh, jeez, that was a 98%. Another person died. Another person died. This is, this is absolutely fine. Work ceases. Okay, we've got no more work going on. Just everyone go home. It's fine. I don't don't worry about it. We've got minus 150. <laughs> oh god, the generator ran out of coal. This is it. Come on. Come on, just as long as no one dies here. We should be good. Just get that. Yes, the storm ends. Oh wow, that was really that was intense at the end there, wasn't it? Oh wow, hope rises fully discontent goes down fully we made it jesus that was that was intense that's why i love frostpunk so much it was proper intense at the end we did it utopia frostpunk utopia has been created we have survived so thank you for watching i'll leave you with the time lapse as always so stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one
We were condemned to die with the rest of the common folk when London was destroyed, but we rose up. We commandeered the ships that were meant to carry the wealthy to safety and sailed north. Here we found a generator and claimed it for ourselves. Now we must gather all our people in this new city before the Lords arrive to rob us of our freedom again. Today we are playing the refugee scenario. I haven't really played this one before so it could get very interesting towards the end. Uh, but let's get started. I haven't really got a strategy so we're just going to go over the basics and go from there. Uh, so I'm going to collect up this steel and wood to begin with and I am actually going to delete these paths here just to give us a little bit of extra wood. Um, I do want to explore the Frostland uh, to start with because um, there's a lot of resources on the Frostland as always um, and we're going to need them because we don't have a lot of people. So essentially with this scenario um, survivors will arrive at the uh, at the generator site every so often so we've got to house them feed them make sure they're like cared for and all that so it, it can get a very like um you've got to be on top of resources at all times and housing and stuff so um it's asking me to do child workers and um, we've got children in this scenario uh, we're not going to do child labor don't worry don't worry kids we're not going to send you down the mines um i'm going to do emergency shift though because we want that extended shift uh, as soon as we uh, well as soon as we can get it um, I've got enough for a gathering post now so I'm just going to put that over there and I will put another gathering post over here as well so that will collect up uh, the coal and the steel and then this one's doing coal, steam cores and then a couple of wood piles as well do you want to get a uh, workshop going very close, there we go uh, so I'll put that down there. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to get the the scouts going fairly quickly. So we're going to do the beacon to start with. I'm not going to worry about housing for the first night. It's only it's only minus 20. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll turn on the generator. But I will provide shelter for everyone. That's very possible uh, to do. So let's... Uh, well, it says the heating's off. So we'll turn it on. Not just yet. <laughs> we'll do it in a minute. I think when you get to like nine o'clock, that's when you turn it on because the cutoff period for people getting ill is 10 o'clock. Um, and it takes a little bit of time to heat up the uh, surrounding area. So we've got our gathering posts online. So what I'll do is I'll take workers off there and put them in there. And then I'll take these off here, get some in the workshop. Let's get that beacon going. And then also we will put works in this one as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one on uh, emergency shift. So it'll work for 24 hours uh, just because we want to get the wood coming in. And uh, you can use 24 hour shift once before people start dying. So it's a good idea to, to use it uh, at least once. You need to get as much productivity out of these people as possible. Um, we are starting to get sick people, that is fine. Uh, we can do a new law, so let's do extended shift like I said. And I'm wondering if I've made a mistake already, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know what, yeah, we'll do we'll do faster gathering instead of the beacon to begin with. Um, just because I want to start collecting up these resources. And uh, well, we need to spare five people to send out into the Frostland, so once this first group of people arrive, uh, the first group of refugees arrive, they're going straight back out into the frostland to, to hunt for stuff. Um, that is the idea. So, we do have a, um, what's it called, weather forecast. Some of the scenarios that goes away. I hope this doesn't go away. Oh, we've got our first lot of survivors. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the uh, generator. Make yourself at home, but five of you are going... Uh, gonna be visiting the Frostland once again. So, how many people arrived there? I have no idea. Not many, so we're all good there. So, faster gatherings research. Let's do the beacon. And I'm gonna turn the generator off just to save on coal. Because, like I said, it's only minus 20. Oh, we probably need to get people 
in a medical post. So I'm going to put that right here. It's not in the heat zone because I want to have housing in the heat zone. Uh, so let's get three engineers in there. We don't need a lot. We just need to get people into the medical bay. I am going to now think about doing um, housing. So we've got, right, we've got spare people, right? We've got 15. So let's get those on that wood pile and uh, get them to work. So a, a good tip that I <laughs> will, will, will always say is if there's people doing nothing. You need to get them doing something. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Beacon and now we need need to think about food as well people starting to get hungry that's fine uh, I think the most important thing would be housing so let's get these tents down to begin with and um, what else will we what else will we do here I think we'll do hunters gear so we've got 50 food rations or 50 raw food so far so you are gonna need a cook house cook house is 20 wood uh, we'll put that on extended shift as well. I always forget. I love extended shift, but I always forget to put it on. <laughs> so uh, let's put the generator back on. Everyone is now warm. So that's good. And people are getting into, uh, into tents, which is also absolutely fantastic. Um, adaption. What are we going to do now? Um... Let's do let's do radical treatment. This is what, again, it's one of my go-to things. Radical treatment, and uh, well, getting people overcrowded in the uh, medical bays, and then organ transplants as well. So we go snow pit, and now we've got the children as well. We can do child shelters and medic apprentices. Uh, so we can we can make the. <laughs> The uh, medical facilities here are going to be absolutely amazing. So just get get them in the medical bay, get them healed up and back to work. We've got our first temperature drop. That's, I want to say that's fine, but it's not ideal. Um, we do need to build the beacon. Uh, so we need 25 wood, or sorry, 20 wood, 35 steel, which we're nearly at. Saying that before we do that, we will get a cookhouse down. Um, I'll put that there because we don't want people eating the raw food because we want to use that raw food to convert into actual proper meals to begin with so so now we can actually build a beacon straight away so I'm gonna put that over well it needs to be sort of out the way I'm gonna put it here and then we'll have like a little bit here which doesn't have to be heated up so that's all good there get a path to it and we will think about hunter's hut as well and something else I can't remember what though no. uh, cool that's researched let's get the sawmill and the steelworks going because they're gonna be very good sources of um, very good sources of resources of course so uh, if we can get those set up fairly quickly that would be very useful these are not getting built, but that's fine. Um, it's because people are at work. That's why. Oh, no, I forgot to do that. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, uh, our, <laughs> our second group arrive. So we'll get them housing as well. This is the thing. People just keep coming thick and fast. So you've got to deal with it. Uh, but if you've got resources all going, that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these people off here because we don't need them to collect that much coal in fact let's do five off there and then we can actually use those five for the beacon and get them out exploring saying that I do want to do another workshop the dub well not double but like it improves the efficiency of um, research and then uh, should I do still still works as well or do we want to start thinking about going up here for more scouts and lighter scout sleds? I think ah, we need heaters. Uh, we need heaters definitely. We're going to do that. So we'll do more scouts and then lighter scout sleds. We'll aim for that. Uh, so yeah, the beacon has been built. 
let's get some people out onto the frost land and we're gonna go up this way first i think there's more people there actually so that's all good and let's think we've got that on extended shift that needs to go on extended shift and let's put one let's fill that up with engineers to start with so like i said people are getting hungry and they are going to start eating raw food and uh while we're at it we should probably do a couple more tents and then even more tents after that so we're all well we need like i said we just need to get resources and under control uh because we have we're very low here uh, we don't have any steel coming in at the moment that could be an issue so we probably should do steel works next i was gonna do more scouts wasn't i but that's fine uh, let's do overcrowding because we are we have got like 10 people uh 10 people ill now that's not good but deal with it so yeah let's get let's just get these these, these houses because that's going to stop people getting sick overnight that's good food has been converted into that so let's do hunter's huts uh yeah we'll do hunter's hut next i feel like we would need two of those at least two of those so here's have been researched uh we want to get onto the next the next level now oh no we're going to do steel works that was it oh I swear, I, I, there's so much going on. I can't keep track of it all. So, oh, what am I doing? Still works. Here we go. Probably get a sawmill down as well. Uh, but we need wood for that. We'll, we'll go along with this for now. But I think uh, an important thing to do is get food going. Annoyingly, these take 15... 15 workers and it's only 20 raw food um these have reached the abandoned camp so we'll take those resources and we will what we'll do we'll go to frozen pond because i think around this area there's a lot of resources so if we can get them in quickly then that will uh, prepare us well for the rest of the uh, rest of the game so uh what we got so so we've got still works yeah, I think I think we'll have to do still the steel mill or steel works, whatever it's called. Now, so oh, we've got missing children. Not ideal. Uh, so let's open up a new thing over here. What we'll do is we'll go frozen pond. We'll come back and then we'll go to the trail bend. And then once we've got more scouts, we'll send them over to where we were originally going to uh, to go. So let's get. Uh, I can only do one more tent. So let's get that going and well we're gonna need another lot of tents so in fact <laughs> by the end of the game we're gonna have so many tents we're not gonna know what to do with them so discontent and hope is looking okay i'm fine with that maybe need another medical post but we won't i don't think that i don't think that's necessary for right now um cool. so yeah drawing boards would be the next thing on the tech tree I am thinking, you know, we get this sawmill down. So these have reached the frozen pond. It's nothing to do here, but we'll bring them back and then send them send them to Trail Bend, like I said, and that will give us at least a little bit of resource to work with. So let's take let's take stock quickly. Steelworks was one of the things we've got these over here so we'll do that and then sawmill and then we'll do the next level of um tech tree like the i think it's called drafting machines or drafting boards or something so we'll do that next uh cool and we've got we have got 10 people we've got 10 engineers anyway so we'll get those in there and put that on extended shift coal is looking good at the moment so we could probably take you know well let's have one person gathering coal uh so cool we've got some more resources 
going. Uh, so yeah, let's get them over to Trail Bend. Oh, we've got two lots of survivors coming as well. So I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but we need to save at least 250 people. And then we've got 10 groups of refugees come, uh, come in. Those are the objectives. Um, so let's actually get, I'm wondering, do we need to think about housing or do we do, let's do, let's do drawing boards next and then we'll do the sawmill because once the sawmill is built, we can put these people straight in it and that will, that will, that will do well for us. I think that will do very well for us. Um, people are outside or homeless overnight at minus 30. Not ideal, but they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to live with it at the moment. Um, I might do child shelters now, and then medic apprentices. Or oh, don't want to do corpse. No, let's do corpse disposal, and then we'll do organ transplants because that is cheaper. I'm gonna put this um, snow pit. Uh, well, this needs to be out the way because we don't want to get it heated up. So we're gonna have a little heat non-heated zone over here weren't we so let's put it there and we'll get that going oh we've run out of wood again our resources in in this is not good it's just because we don't have have the people to put into these gathering posts and stuff so once we've got like refugees coming in it should the situation should start to uh improve yeah, let's get that. I think we need to get that sawmill down. Snow pit is established. That's good. People don't like it, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so we've got survivors. We'll escort these to the city. If you send them to the city, they can die. So we don't want anyone to die. So we've got four engineers and 15 children coming. So um, we should probably do something about the children <laughs> at some point. Uh, actually, they're fine. They're fine. They're just having fun in the snow, and they they don't know anything about like, the wider world or anything that's happening. So it's all good. I've got four people not doing anything, so I could put them on here, but it's cold, so they'll probably get sick. But then we do need to collect this up because I want I need this space. I will put those on there for now. Um, it's gonna take 61, well over 61 hours to get that collected up, but. If we get the, uh, started on it now, it should be fine. Um, so, sawmill, that's the next thing. If I, I've actually remembered it. Oh, I thought it was 20 wood, so let's put that back. Put it back here. Uh, cannot build there for some reason. I think it's because them um, uh, resource piles are in the way, so let's get that there. We've got people arriving in an hour so well they've arrived and they've gone straight to build the sawmill and then we've got the scouts returning with more survivors the missing children have been found absolutely amazing doing the doing the work uh, let's actually send these people out here I've totally forgotten about doing the, the, actually no I didn't forget I just uh, had to do drawing boards um, so we'll get more scouts going in a second. And another law. So we'll do organ transplants. The sick recover faster. And even another group arrives. Now we've got 42 homeless people. So we should probably address that. Um, cool. Extended shift on that. We'll do extended shift on that as well. Again, it's just me forgetting about it. Food. We probably need another hunter's hut as well. Right. Calm down, calm down. We just it's too many things going on. There's just too many things going on. Once we've got that sawmill going, then we can then we can start cooking, right? So let's get more people on that coal uh, on that wood pile. And um We don't need it. Well, we don't need people on there. We don't need it. I might do another medical post you know what i will do another medical post saying that we are going to put more people on there because it's going to get colder and we're going to use um we're going to start using heaters so we're all good there right let's get some more housing down so we'll put one there
and then we'll do another one. It's another another day wasted of doing no research. This is minus 40. Minus 40. So medical bay went down. So we'll put heater on that, heater on that. And everywhere else, I think is fine. We do need another medical bay though, like fairly quickly. So yeah, we'll send them to the old storehouse. So that's all good there. Um, and now we've got the sawmill up and running. We've got wood coming in, so that's good. Let's do house there, and yeah, we'll do a medical post. The other medical post is there. I'm wondering, can I put it? Yeah, let's put it. Let's put it right there. Get a path to it. We can do a cheaper path like that. And we've got no one to build it. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these people off there they should now go and build the medical post and then we'll put the engineers in cool. so the coal pile has been depleted over here which is good and someone got frostbite oh no anyway um it's fine <laughs> we do need to, right people are getting hungry so let's get the hunter's hut down and um well we need then then we need people to go in the hunter's hut i want to take them off this here and uh get those out hunting uh, let's get that medical bay or medical post working everyone is now in a in a in a like a hospital or a medical bay so that's good we do need more housing so we need four more that's fine. What's this? People are hungry. Um, let's feed them because we were going to do that anyway. Can't forget about it. Oh, more people have arrived. Oh, no. I mean, it's good, but also we need to do something about it. So let's get them all a house first. I think that's the most basic thing, right? And then... Well, we're starting to get enough people to actually make a difference doing stuff, which is absolutely amazing. So, want to get? I want to get on that frost land again. I need to. I need to start exploring that fairly quickly. Oh, that's a lot of food and stuff there, which is really good. Oh, we've got twenty-five people, so let's get them in there. Houses are being built. I mean, we've got a lot of. We've got a lot of tents being built. I think we've done a too many tents but that that's fine just preparing for the future we just need to get we need to get food in so i'm hoping this is going to be so we'll have 40 food coming in per day now which is good or well, 40 raw food that's going straight into the cookhouse being converted and being eaten and people and now getting not hungry uh maybe need another medical medical bay uh what is it going to do next child shelters we could do child shelters what i'm going to do actually i'm going to go down house of prayer because the hope is getting a little bit low for my liking so let's get these in um try and cover as many houses or tents as possible so I'll put that one there. See, this is why I wanted to get that rid of that wood pile. It's right in the way. So I'll put one there. And, ah, uh, no, right. I will not do any more wood until I've got more scouts. That's what it is. That's, that's, that's what I need to do. Um, repair the ice drill or dismantle the ice drill. We are going to dismantle the ice drill, okay? And then we're going to actually, I'm actually going to, should I, what have we got? I was thinking of coming back. So we've got 260 wood, steam core, and that. You know what, I'm going to bring them back and I'm going to send them out again. And then that, again, just another little boost. So these, oh, this has run out of gatherable resources. So we'll get rid of that. And uh, what's going on here? Long hours of toil. No, we like extended shift, so we don't worry about that. So we've got workers not doing anything. We could do another... Yeah, I'm going to do another resource 
gathering post up here because we want to get those steam cores so we're researching more scouts another medical post that's what I was going to do hunter's hut is everyone fed no maybe we need another hunter's hut I want to do another one and then another medical post as well so we need 25 wood for that Cool, so that's uh, that's researched. To do lighter scout sleds, that's that's the game changer there. We're gonna need 75 wood and that. But I am gonna do wall drill. So wall drill 160 wood per day, that does 80 wood. So yeah, wall drill is much better. So we'll go for that next. Have we got homeless people? No. We we're gonna do medical bay. <laughs> so we we're gonna do a medical bay. I keep forgetting, it must be very frustrating. Oh, as if. We've got 20, 24 wood. Um, can I delete that for one extra wood? I can. Oh, hang on. No, that's annoying. Uh, the hunter's hut. I, I don't think that's hunter's hut's going to work anyway. And we've got these people coming back with raw food, so. I think we're going to prioritise the medical bay first. So I'm going to put that, I'll put that over here. People are now beginning to starve and someone's been amputated. Oh no. Uh, we'll sign care house just so they don't die. And we need to put a care house down to be fair. Uh, we'll have a little bit of respite from the temperature, which is good, but we have got a double temperature drop soon. So that's all good there. We've got wood and food now coming in, which is amazing. Uh, so we'll send them back out over here. So we'll send them to old storehouse first because it's quicker to send them to somewhere they've already been. And then we'll go fishing boat because it's a shorter distance. And uh, oh, we've got five refugee groups already in the sea, which is good. We've got five more, so we're about halfway. And then we've got to deal with the lords, which is another whole thing. So, uh, oh, where are my engineers? Um, something there, something, oh, there's five engineers in there. We'll just do a couple of people in there, engineers on there, and then we've got enough, um, enough capacity. People are eating raw food. I didn't want that to happen, but for now, that's fine. It's because it's not, it's not working, and I'd rather them eat raw food than, than die. I'm, like, I'm not a monster saying that I'm making them eat raw food, so maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, coal. I'm going to put a couple people collecting coal in there. And then the rest can go in there. Oh, I still don't have a path to that hunter's hut for some reason. Okay. So we'll do wall drill next. And then we'll go draft the machines. And before I forget, we need to send out scouts. So where can I get five people from? You know what? I'm going to take five people out of this hunter's hut because we had like a, a nice stock of of food arrive. So let's get them going and we'll take them to Hangman. No, we'll take them over this way. So we'll send them to this trail bend first and then wreck the vehicle. And then we'll like, we have to go all the way over here <laughs> eventually. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. So we we're doing we're doing wall drill aren't we yeah everyone is in work um we've got this resource gathering post um built so we can start collecting that when we need to and people are now getting fed which is good and the wheel drill, the wheel drill i was gonna say the wall drill has been uh, has been done so let's get that down and then what I will actually do is I might take people off the sawmill. Uh, so this took a steam core. This is why we need steam cores because we are now going to, well, we need to think about coal mining. Actually, because we've got the double the double temperature drop come in, we need to think about heating. Um, I think we're doing fairly well, to be totally honest, but I don't know because I don't really, it feels like we're doing well, but it could all go wrong. I haven't played this like 
enough to know <laughs> if I'm on track or not. Uh, but we'll send these to the wrecked vehicle. Um, these have reached the old storehouse, so we'll send them onto the fishing boat. I think you can start a uh, like an outpost there, but I don't really use outposts. Um, let's connect that up with streets and oh, so we've got twenty, we've got forty people arriving in two hours and another twenty, so that's sixty in total. Let's just take a quick look. We've got forty-three vacant beds. Like I have built way too many tents. But that's uh, it's kind of worked out, hasn't it? So don't mind. Let's do another couple here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need to build another house of prayer, don't I? So let's do that uh, again. I'll just cover as many tents as I can, which I think will be there. And then yeah, let's do let's do heating. So I'm gonna do the generator power upgrade. And then I'm thinking about steam hub and advanced heaters as well, actually. Cool, so we've got the next lot of refugees come in, which is good. I need to build care house as well. Oh my days. So many things, <laughs> so many things to do. Oh no, hang on, I need to sign care house and then build it. Okay. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. The white pass has been discovered, so we can send people out to there eventually. Um, I'm going to take... I've got engineers in here. Okay, let's swap them out for those. We'll get engineers in the medical bays. Yeah, we'll fully max out the medical bays. Doing pretty well for that at the moment. And people getting hungry, that's fine. That should, that should be fine, right? I'm going to get some more people on the Hunter's Hut. And the Rebirth of Faith. Nice. So I'm going to do that just to try and raise hope a bit. We need to do the sermon quite often. Uh, I'm going to put a couple more people in there just so we can convert that food fairly quickly. And we're going to do Care House, weren't we? So let's do that next. I do want to. So I'm trying to get things bunched up in the middle. So when we do like the steam pubs, that will be uh, that will be good. So it'll be easier to cover all of the houses and stuff with the steam hubs. Uh, cool. So they've taken as well quite a lot of resources there. So White Pass. This is where we start going towards the coastline. So I think it is anyway. Um, I. I do need to get that. I do need to get that food situation sorted. Oh no! Like we've got 16 hours to feed everyone. Like there is no reason people should be going hungry right now. We've got enough raw food. I think it was just I didn't have enough people in here um, to actually make the food, but that's fine. So fishing boat, uh, we dismantled it. Oh, we can't make an outpost. I thought we could, but. That's fine. We'll go aircraft wreck and then hanged man hill next because we're doing well on here. So I've just realized I've got the wall drill up and running, but it's not actually working because no one's in it. So I'm just taking people off the sawmill, put them in there, and then I'll get engineers collecting up this steel and steam cores over here. So everyone is doing something. Care house has been built and we're doing heaters or no we're doing the uh the next power generator so i'm going to turn that down again and we can use overdrive now which is very useful but a little bit sketchy um right let's have a think maybe medical post upgrade would be good that leads to infirmary because we are going to need that in the future and coal mining uh you know what coal mining would be good as well. Let's do drafting machines though. So that will open up the next lot and then we can do faster scout sleds. Cool, hungry were fed. That was a bit touch and go, I'm not gonna lie. I thought thought people were gonna uh, starve, but we would did we did it. So long hours of toil. Nah discontent's fine, so we we would ignore that. And 
well, just keep keep going with it, right? Draft the machines have been researched. Amazing. Uh, so let's do lighter scout sleds. We've got like a day before temperature drops. Now, these I'm hoping these will work if they drop a cu couple more um, levels, but not not a hundred percent convinced they will. <laughs> so. Once we've done once we've done lighter scout sleds, we can do advanced heaters next. What we will do is put this heat level up and overdrive as well. Or maybe just overdrive. We'll see. We'll see. Also, these have reached the aircraft wreck. We'll take these resources, a lot of resources there. And oh, see look, so many, like so many things to go and explore. So lighter scout sleds, I think, is a good shout. We get them there quick, get them there, like, exploring quickly back. We're all good. So we've got another group arrive. That's group number six. Uh, we've got, well, it seems like we've got enough housing for them, which is good. No one seems to be homeless. I don't know, I don't know how I've got that so wrong, but... I don't, I don't mind. It looks like we're doing well. In fact, what I'm going to do, because we've got the, um, we've got the wood full, I'm actually going to start building housing um, every so often, just so we are prepared for incoming groups in the future. So, lighter scout sleds have been researched, and now we're going to do improved heaters. There we go. And that should get us to the next thing. So we've got some more engineers. Uh, in fact, we've got quite a few engineers. So I'm going to do some more, um, more of those uh, workshops. I forget what they were called. And oh, again, so many things going on. Um, we'll get the engineers in those, um, in those workshops. What do I want to do now? Prosthetics I could do. I'm wondering if I should do that or let's do let's go for child shelters now I do need to have like build these though, which is annoying and we've got 60 children so these hold 15 each so we need four That's 15 30 45 ah, Annoying I can't put it. I can't put it next to it. I spin it around put it there. Yeah, not ideal, but I mean, it, it works. It works. We're like minus 30 at the moment, going to minus 50 soon. We can't really complain. Uh, cool, that's all good. Um, I do need to think about coal mining next. So we are running out of coal quite a bit and it's not gonna help with um, uh, temperatures going down. So we have found more refugees more people oh my god right escort them to the city again because we want to um raw food we'll explore we'll take these resources and then ruined warehouse we'll go to i did think we were going to go the hanged man hill but we'll think about that later once i've gone to the once i've gone to that next area if there's nowhere else to go after that i'll bring these back to the city and then send them back out that's the plan there. Um, children cared for, amazing. And improved heaters have been researched. Now, I need to do coal mining, don't I? That's probably the next thing. So coal mining, we'll get our work. We've got two steam cores, which is enough. Because we have just run out of that coal there. So that's that, we have no more coal coming in, which is not ideal with that so I'm wondering okay this is made this is really bad timing this is awful timing in fact but we will deal with it we'll adapt we'll overcome everyone is in a tent that's the main thing we've got good health care so we should be able to survive that little bit of there oh, it's only like a day I say it's only a day but it could be devastating um, the main thing is let's get these on extended shift oh is these this is extended shift this is extended shift everything's extended shift i think 
Ooh, we've only got one like amputee as well, which is good. Uh, take these resources. Uh, cool. Right, there's nothing left left to explore over there. Let's bring these back because they've got we've got a lot of stuff coming back here. So coal, uh, we've got like 500 coal coming back. So if they can get back fairly quickly, we've got one coming in, in two hours. That could be a savior. Come on. So it's oh, what's this? Avalanche survivors. Okay, so we've now got black spire has been discovered so once they come back we'll send them out to black spire they got avalanched cool right let's get that going oh no okay so they are out of range of the um okay they're out of range of the the, the generator which is not good not gonna lie that's that's awful <laughs> so um I don't think I. I don't think I researched Steam Hub, right? No, I kind of forgotten it. Okay, that's good. Right, what thing? People homeless. Now we go to the Black Spire. What else is there? Stone ship. Okay. What I will do is put overdrive on, just so we're all good there. Um. Okay, let's get this coal mine done. And we need to we need to get that. Um, we need to get this. Oh, Steam Hub! I can't, I can't believe I forgot it. I can't believe it. A lot of people are going to get ill, and people are homeless. So let's get some tents down. Um, we'll put a couple there. Again, let's do some more around here. Again, just trying to do it as quick as we can. Um, what we'll do now is Medic Apprentices. So this will give another boost to our medical posts. So it's 120 at the moment. It should give us another, it should give us another efficiency boost, which we will need. All these places are, are cold. So um, let's get the steam hubs down so we can see cold areas here so that'd be a good one to go to let's go to oh, it's so difficult to see what needs to be covered because we don't want to oh we don't want to do it too much that we're wasting coal but i think those three will be sufficient cool we've got a lot of people we've got a lot a lot of people um so i'm thinking maybe we do Another hunter's hut. Because people are hungry again. Um, and have we got... Yeah, we've got engineers, so... Um, I think maybe... So we've got lighter scout sleds. Let's do... Medical post upgrade and an infirmary. That's what we'll do next. Because we've started to get gravely ill people you know what let's do yeah look so many people got, got ill over there um so oh hang on that's because oh hang on hang on did we run out of coal i think we ran out of coal overdrive will turn it off as well so i did forget that was on <laughs> cool i thought loads of people got sick but it was just because the medical bays went like um went off so we didn't have the heat oh, we need to turn heaters on now okay that's fine just get them in just get them in as quick as we can uh, so these uh, came back didn't they so where are we going now we'll go yeah we'll go hangman hill so we'll go band camp first and then hangman hill um, fun fact about me uh, where, near where I live there's a place called hangman's hill and if you um, park your car in it the and don't do anything the car will roll up the hill it's, it's wild um pretty cool so we've got a cold tent over here so but no one's in it which is good so what we're actually going to do i'm going to move that there and just get rid of that and then there was another cold tent there so i'm just going to replace these tents with like in to somewhere that's in range of a steam hub uh which would be here because then we know 
that there are not going to be any cold homes. And then I'll make a I'll make a really like conscious effort to actually put um, tents in right places next to steam hubs going forward. Uh, cool. So we'll send these on. Um, we do need to get the infirmary going. I need to build the, the coal mines, don't I? So one there and one there. It's all good. Let's get them up and working. Temperature is still minus fifty. Okay. Right. I thought it'd gone up, but. It looks like we're, we have kind of survived this little little bit of, um, well, scarcity of... Scare, scarce? No, it's not scarcity. It's a very um, dangerous time. <laughs> I don't know why I use scarcity. Right, we'll take these guys back to the city. Um, and then we just need, yeah, we just need to get these coal mines up and running, right? So temperature, please go up. Please go up. I think we've I think we've just about caught this, you know. So strangers on the horizon. Okay, so um a ship has landed at land in sight and they need to investigate. Uh so we'll send people out there. So discover the land in sight. And the cold is now coming back in, so let's put that on level one. We'll do level one. And I think all the heaters are off, actually. Yeah, all the heaters are off, which is good. So we can start stockpiling some coal. Right, where have these gone? Oh, they've got steam core. We will we'll be taken. Like, we'll, <laughs> resources will, will be taken by burying the poor man. But we'll take his, uh, take his tools. Uh, the thing is, like... If you don't know what the moral choice is, then is it really a moral choice? I just see resources and go, yeah, here we go. Take them. <laughs> right, we'll keep on still. Ah, oh, it still is full. Wood is full. Um, coal is not full. So I think maybe a good idea is to do... Ah, oh, right, yeah. Infer we'll do infirmary. We're going to do a couple of these infirmaries, right? Let's so say we'll do one there and one there and this is purely to um anticipate the lords coming in so we'll get two two of those go uh, going on more avalanche survivors are found and oh, we need to send these out here now first so we'll go to white pass first and then stone ship and then land in sight and we'll, we'll go explore down there um food food is looking good but I do think we actually need more. Um, so I'm going to start stockpiling some. And we've got a lot of people, so I'm going to do a couple more of these hunters' huts. And I'm going to do another cookhouse as well. Um, where can I put this? I want it in a in range of a steam hub, really. Uh, which is not there, but it fits there, which is quite good. Uh, another amputee not ideal but it's fine so yeah let's get more food coming in and uh cookhouse we'll get people in there um right i'm just trying to think of what i need to start stockpiling uh because i'm gonna put a couple of resource depots down um let's do three of those one for each thing so we'll do food rations we'll do steel and we'll do wood oh we probably will need one for coal as well um, right, let's have a let's have a real think about this now. So I'm just kind of doing willy nilly stuff. Um, we don't need any of those. We're not going to do factory. The the amputees we'll just have to live with it for now. Flying tactics would be good. Healthcare insulation would be very good. Um, heating. I'm wondering, do we need another like the power upgrade too? because how cold it's going to get. It's going to go to minus 50 again. That's a couple of days time though, so we won't worry about that just yet. And if we're desperate, we can use overdrive. Resource depot upgrade, coal mining optimization. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And then we could go for, for uh, the improved coal mines. We don't have any steam cores at the moment. 
Um, so we're, we're all good for that. Oh, we do need to go down the faith route, to be totally honest. Um, so let's get these going. I'm just going to do five in each. Just to get these people into the uh, medical bays. And while we're here, let's do steel. We'll do food rations and we'll do wood. And that will give us a nice little stockpile. Um, these have got some steam cores. Oh, some even like even more steam cores. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so let's go back to hang, Hanged Man Hill and then we'll go rock formation. So you get as much like... Um, as much efficiency out of these people as possible. I'm going to change those to uh, workers um, because we can use the engineers for here. Saying that, we should probably see if we've got engineers working in anywhere they shouldn't be. We've got one in the cookhouse, so we'll take that one out. And uh, where else have we got? Workshops, medical posts, infirmaries. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll put those in there. The city is looking pretty good at the moment. Done pretty well. Uh, so yeah, let's go for evening prayers. I keep forgetting to do these. So let's get hope up. That's good. And then let's go to rock formation. And then that's everything over there explored, I believe. Um, so that's all good. Then we can disband them and put them to work over here. So we've got 32 people. I am wondering the next thing to do is well more more food right more food we haven't got any homeless people I'm gonna do a couple more of these hunters huts because um, we're gonna start getting a lot of people we've got 15 more people coming in so we can deal with that that's fine but it's when it's, it's when it's when the Lords start coming that's the problem so in fact, you know what? I'm actually going to start building lords, like place for for, for them to um, live right now. So let's have a quick look just to see how many houses or tents we've got. Um, we've got 23 vacant beds, 16, 16 of which are in a care house. So we'll just say we've got no vacant beds really. Uh, so. Let's see if we've got enough space around on these steam hubs. Yeah, put one there, one there. And we can't put one there because that's not in range and not there either. So that will deal with the people coming in uh, in like 12 hours time. Uh, let's get extended shifts on everywhere did I put an extended shift on this I did cool I need to get those steam cores 0 0.07 an hour that's like outrageous <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it though okay these have reached the rock formation there's nothing to do here oh no I thought that was I thought that was everything okay that's fine we'll go we'll go to the iron bank Cool, so that's been researched. Again, let's have a quick think about this. I wonder if we need to do healthcare insulation. Yeah, healthcare insulation. And then we can do hunting or oh, flying hunters. Yeah, let's do let's do healthcare insulation first, because that's gonna really help with the coal situation. We won't have to put heaters on, I don't think. Um we are using a lot of it seems like we're using a lot of wood so actually let's get some people in there it's chilly but it's fine our uh, efficiency is down everywhere because 70 people are being treated these have reached stone ship there's nothing to do here oh my days um there's a there's a lot i thought i thought we'd i thought we'd pretty much done exploring but no clearly not We'll just, yeah, we'll just keep these guys out here as long as we can then. Um, because I don't think they need to be fed if they're out on the frost land, so that's good. They've reached the iron bank now, so steam cores and iron will take it. 
we need to survive onto the rock slide healthcare installation has been researched absolutely fantastic and then hunting uh we're gonna do flying hunters we will have to build them but it will give us a, a lot of food maybe too much food and um, like i said i'm gonna start building a little like district over here i'm just gonna fill it up with as many houses as i can um i've got five more one two three oh no one two three right let's get those going that's absolutely fantastic then here and i i honestly don't think that is enough housing <laughs> i uh, like i don't think it is but i'm just trying to think where else i can build housing like I mean, we've got a little bit extra space up here over here maybe up here and um, i will put steam hubs all over it as well so we'll do that one that one oh is that gonna cover everything oh that is absolutely fantastic it needs to be connected to a path as well when no steam hubs get um oh the final group is here that's good we've saved all of the people that is that is the goal that was the goal however we now need to deal with the next thing that's going to happen so um which is the lords coming so we'll, we'll just deal with them when they come that's fine don't worry about it uh let's see we've got steam cores and coal here and let's go to steam lorry that's all good what's going on here united by faith superb love to hear it Cool, this little district's going up very nicely. I will turn off I'll turn off that steam hub for now and I'll turn off that one for now. Because they don't need to be using coal. Um again, we're getting so many resources from here. This is really good. I'm wondering should I just bring uh hang on, which one's which one's which? This one is this one. Okay. Then we'll go coal mine. This one, it, to be fair, this one hasn't actually got that many. It's got steam cores and coal on that, but we'll take them to the land inside. I was debating whether or not to bring them back. I think we would be fine. Oh no, one person died. An amputee suicide. Oh, because um, we, we didn't. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, we didn't sign the prosthetics law. That's why. Oh well, it, it is what it is. Um, I mean, it is, it is my fault. I apologise, we'll uh, always remember you. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, we need to deal with the Lords. That's the main thing coming in next. So I'd like to do all of that. Um, a young couple, hope rises, that's good. But the temperature falls, which is not good. So let's get... Um, Steam level two on. No, we'll put steam level one on again, and then we'll put heaters on these cookhouses. And then flying hunters. Okay, so we'll convert some of these to, to flying hunters. Let's do those ones there. And let's get on to the next one. So um let's think let's think let's think we're doing you know what we are actually in pretty well hunting tactics will give us a lot more people to work with um i think these generate efficiency ones will be good unless we do mechanical calculators um what does that give us steam coal mine steam wall drill i don't think we need those just yet you know what let's do the efficiency upgrade and then we can think about doing other stuff right still wreckage has been depleted i think that's over here so we're just waiting for this steam core thing to be done so it's gonna take a while i don't know because i haven't even done one yet 
but we'll keep we'll keep extended shift on. Uh, let's do the prosthetics then. I mean, it's a bit late for it because someone already killed themselves, but um, it's nothing. Well, nothing we can do about it now. I'm not going to restart because it's not that deep. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, let's do resource depot upgrade so we can store more stuff and. Well, I'm wondering, do we need to build more uh, more housing? Because, speaking of the devil, the lords are, are coming. Um, so, when are they going to be? When are they going to be arriving? We've got one day until they arrive. So, or maybe like one and a half days. So we've got 35 children come in. We've got 50 workers coming and 15 engineers. So quick maths that's a hundred people <laughs> that's a hundred people one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right that's a hundred people that's good We've, we can house those then we've got one two three four five six seven eight we're gonna do another 80 people after that so we've got three lots of lords coming in um heating the homes the cold homes i never do that sign sign your own death wish if you agree to do that because you need to use so much coal to heat them and then the temperature drops so you need to use even more coal wild um yeah what are we doing on here yeah resource depot upgrade because we need to start stockpiling this coal i think um what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna change that to coal and we'll leave it at that for now uh so explore the coal mine we will dismantle the machines for resources yeah, we'll do that. We're not going to start a coal mine there. If you just take the coal, then you can do an outpost. I never use outposts. Maybe I, maybe I should. Maybe it's a good, a good tactic, but I never do. Um, looming mystery. Okay, we've gone to the land inside. So now I've got the icebound hulk and the ocean liner. I'll go ice. Uh, I can't speak. Ocean liner first. I was going to call it the ice liner, <laughs> and then we'll go to. Icebound halts after. And then I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping that's all there is over there. Uh, what I will do as well, again, just a little bit of anticipation, but I'm going to put another infirmary down. Um, ideally in, a, in range of a steam hub. Will it fit over here? No, it won't. I think I've got too many of these hunters huts, you know. I'm going to dismantle one. I'm going to dismantle this one. And then I'm going to put an infirmary right there. And I'm going to do more housing, actually. Uh, so... Let's do housing all along there. So that's another four. And I will probably need a steam hub there as well. And that will cover the infirmary the houses and I can't it can't do the cook house and this at the same time or can it no I can't unless I put it like there so yeah let's let's do a little bit of building put a nice little path down the middle and we can get a steam hub right in the middle there and that covers that covers everything that's good cool so I think the medical bays are very hot. Or not very well, they're chilly, but they're gonna they're gonna like be hot. <laughs> they're hot enough. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment. Uh right, these have reached our city, so that's good. They've got nothing left to do. So we'll disband those. And uh I guess I I guess they became hungry. Don't know. Um, I'm going to change these to flying hunters. Oh, yeah, okay, right. We got... Cool. I thought I thought I'd destroyed the raw food that they were bringing in, but it looks like we're, we're good for that. Um, uh, what, what, else can I, what else can I do? What else can I do? We could probably do power upgrade too. Um... 
let's do this one. Mechanical engines. And I'm wondering, do I need another cookhouse? I don't think an, I don't think it will hurt having another cookhouse. I just get it in range of a steam hub, which I can. Looks like we're good. Oh, no resources in gatherable area. Oh, look, look, look. So they have actually gathered the steam hubs up. That's that's really good. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Oh, the lords are unarmed, but they're going to be arriving in a in a day. So we've got hundred people coming in a day, and um, like some of them are, like hungry some of them are sick some of them are ill i can't remember which are which so again we'll just we'll just deal with it when they when they get here uh we don't have an, in, any engineers in this infirmary yet but we are going to be getting 15 engineers coming here so that's good um so yeah i think i will do the you know what i could probably do the steam resourcing stuff right uh so first of all i'm going to do steam coal mine because we are well we are running out of wood quite a bit now so if we replace that we've got nine steam cores ah that's annoying those hunters hut those hunters huts didn't get built in time to go out or did they no oh they did oh amazing okay at least one did oh we've reached the ocean liner Four steam cores and <laughs> so much coal. Uh, take him back to the landing site and then go icebound hogs. We're gonna. I, I I feel like it was unnecessary going that far out, but um, I mean, hasn't really harmed us, has it? It was just a bit of overkill. We're gonna have like a billion steam cores now, which I'm not not mad about, but all good. Um, let's see, the engineers still haven't arrived, of course, because they're coming in seven hours. Wrap up well. So we're back to minus 50. So we need to put on our steam level two, and this is where we're going to start seeing the coal drop. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be losing coal every day now. We have got two days coal. Uh... Well, we've got two good two days coal, which is good, and we've got the steam, uh, the steam coal mine started. So you know what? Let's upgrade these, and we'll turn on the steam hub as well over here, just so it's not chilly. And the lords are approaching. Let's go. Let's go. Um, these steam, um, yeah, those steam coal mines will be very, very helpful. I'm going to do steam wall drill as well. And then I'm thinking about just doing efficiency stuff because we're going to go down to minus 60. Uh, what we'll do as well, we will do faith keepers because we're going to need those in a minute. So let's get those built. Uh, where can these go? I'll put those there. And this one is going to need a heater. Ooh, what's, what's going on over here? That's gonna need a heater as well. Okay, that's good. Ah, the lords of the lords are here. There's so many of them. There's like a hundred of them, which is wild. But we have got tents for them, which is a which is a good thing. So we'll let everyone in. Um, so we have two days to provide shelter and feed them all, and hope will fall. The hope is very high. So that's good. So we've got them housing. We just need to turn this on. And there's a hundred um, hungry people. So the lords are in rags, and they are very happy that we let them in. I mean, we're not we're not awful, are we? So there we go. Um, these are still complaining about extended shifts. Look at the situation. There's nothing else to do. I haven't even built a pub. Um, I will put here on there, and let's get the engineers into that infirmary there. And that is still comfortable at minus 50 doing well so the coal is still on about two days have those coal mines been built yet they have we will just take a quick look so yeah we're gaining coal now every day which is good i think i think we've i think we've done pretty well we've got one hungry lord left come on just get, go get that food cool so that is uh well 
the lord the first lot of lords has, has been sorted out that was a lot easier than i thought it. but it was good preparation that's what we did prepare uh prepared for it and it was all good we do need to build more housing though so how many vacant beds have we got 149 oh got loads we've got loads don't worry about it it's fine um, this is all going very well uh let's do uh we can do efficiency i wanted to do efficiency didn't i we'll do heater efficiency that will that will help out a lot and Ooh, I was gonna do the steam wall drill, but I don't I don't think it's necessary. Um I have freezing homes. I'm not again sign your own death wish. Uh one of the lords refuses to work. Uh let's send him to work. The discontent is very high. Now why is that? I think it's because it's cold. So what I will do, I will go to here and here. I do need to build oh the faith keepers, yeah we'll put those in there this content has dropped dramatically to be fair so that's good again we won't worry about the amputees but we've got the the law the prosthetics law signed so no one else will die um the coal is filling up which is very surprising and then the faith keepers What's this? Nighttime procession. Discontent will fall when the procession starts at midnight. Oh, what's going on? Oh, these are the faith keepers. They're going to uh they're going to make sure everyone stays in line. Using faith. How how nice of them. Okay, so <laughs> it's it's more like a cult, if anything. Jeez. Uh right, all good anyway. We will do the night time procession because why not? Be there at quarter past midnight and then go to bed and then go to work. Jeez, I would not survive. I need I need my sleep. Um, the Lord refused to work. He was battered for looking down on our people. He was sent to the medical post. All good. We've got enough. We've got enough health care. Don't worry. Uh, more strangers spotted. Oh no! So we've got another two days really. And we've got another 60, 90, we've got another 100 people coming. Um, so we are going to have to have some more housing built. I mean, we've got 140, how many? It was 100, it was essentially 150, um, it was essentially 150 vacant beds. So that's like another, that's 200 there. Let's put a couple more. And I think, I think that will cover everything. Um, it's just going to be a case of getting them healed up and doing other stuff. So now, where is my snow pit? I was thinking, I've been putting um, steam hubs all over the place, but I don't know where my snow pit is because if you heat it up, people can start getting sick. Um, is it, was it down here? Is that it? Snow pit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, it's not being... It's not being um, heated, so we're all good there. The hulks, we've got that. And then that's everything explored there. So let's bring these guys back. Uh, bring them back. They've got 600 coal, eight, <laughs> eight steam cores. Oh my days. Yeah, very unnecessary, but um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's bring them back. And it looks like we're in good shape to actually uh, complete this. Annoying annoying that someone died but um it's just something we need to do we didn't we didn't really well i didn't really um it, it just it just slipped my mind that people without prosthetics killed themselves so uh it's it's a lesson learned right it's a lesson learned we'll take these out of here because they actually i'm gonna dismantle dismantle that um uh sawmill so let's do another power upgrade because oh let's get heater on there just because we've got the temperature dropping again and i feel like that's gonna make everything unbearable uh the lords 
Um, told us about a radio mast. Okay, the radio. <laughs> the ra Is there a radio mast? Oh, my days, there's a radio mast. Okay. Guys, you're going to have to go to the radio mast instead. I'm sorry. Um, I, not that we need to. I just want to. I just want to explore everything. I just want to explore everything. Uh, Faith Cooper's found some illegal such food. Um, hope will rise. The hungry will be fed. Don't worry. We've got loads of food rations, so we don't need it. We've got hope. Hope going off the off the charts. This content fall in, which is good. That will probably rise though once once this goes down but we're now on seam level three so we will just uh keep the seam level at two just for now and oh i'm wondering are these the are these going to be able to keep up with demand if we put on steam level three it's only a couple of days only a couple of days i think we're fine i think we're fine uh so we've got the power upgrade two what else is good here range upgrade is not great because it's more efficient to use the steam hubs exploration we don't really need any of those resources um uh, again not really necessary i guess we could just do these ones right so infirmary mechanization and we could do infirmary checklists i uh, in fact you know what we'll, we'll go towards that right You know what, actually, you know what we could do, which would be very helpful with the coal situation? Coal thumper, and then um, get people gathering coal there, because I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's going to drop again after, and we're going to have to survive that minus 60 for quite a long time. Uh, people have started to get sick quite a bit. Um, we'll go to the radio mast next, because... They've reached the black spire. We've been there before. Don't worry about it. And the purpose. Right, we're not going to go any further than faith keepers. I will do the temple. Hear me, hear me. New um, I can't remember what that does, though. But we'll put it down. And you know what else would be good? The shrines, because that increases, um, increases efficiency. Right, steam level three goes on. Um. We've got a couple of things that need heaters. We are just going to do heaters here. Just because steam hub. Um, don't want to build a steam hub. You know what? It probably is more efficient to build a steam hub. Let's try it. This is a good, this is a good, um, good test, actually. So, yeah, we are going to be losing some coal a day at minus 60 with how we are at the moment. So we do need to improve that which I think we will do with the well we can do with the steam not the steam uh, with the coal thumper so we'll do coal thumper steam coal thumper and we just need to get a little bit of coal coming in right it's not that much of a deficit um, it's um, let's have a uh, it's not, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I can't be bothered to do the maths on that. But we're, we're all good. The Lords are coming in six hours. Um, long hours of tools. I won't address that right now. We do need... We do need these coal mines working flat out. So, let's get a couple of coal thumpers down. I'm going to put them up here. Um, yeah, let's do one. Actually, I'll do. I'll just do. I'll just do one for now, and we'll put two gathering posts next to it. Are they covered by that? No, they're not. Okay, what's going on? The sick lords are coming. Okay, so these are the ill people. Got three hours. We've got a lot of. Um, we have got a lot of uh, capacity in our in our infirmaries and that. There's even more stuff after the the radio mast. Oh my days! This is uh, this is outrageous. Those people just want to come home. Okay, let's get these in here. 
These, this is cold over here. This is very, very cold. So you know what I will do? I'll put a, I'll put a steam hub over here, which covers. Um, oh, that's annoying. I need, I need it to be up here. Okay, if we can build a path. Yeah, let's build that. Steam hub goes there. That covers coal thumper. Those. Uh, resource posts or gathering posts and the wall drill so good for that good for that uh, these are need extended shifts of course I put one on extended shift but not the others okay the sick lords are in our healthcare can handle it we've done a good job on the healthcare so how many how many sick lords are coming and they've all got housing so oh geez six i think every every single one of them was sick so 60 have gone into the infirmaries already we've got 40 still to go in i'm sure we had enough capacity for that um maybe not however We've got seven steam cores, so just, just, just put some more down, right? Put one over here. Put another one over there. I think with overcrowding, they can take 20 each. So let's get them built. Uh, I mean, they're being healed up. Uh, look at that, actually. They are going into infirmaries, so. But then we've got, we do have to worry about our people already oh we've got to build the temple let's build the temple uh, so faith house of prayer nope why can't I build the temple oh what am I doing oh we're running out of steel okay okay uh, it's because we it's because we just built these infirmaries wasn't it we'll get enough um, we'll get enough in a minute so we don't have to worry about that um, heating, food. I was going to do infirmary checklists, but I don't think it's necessary. So, food is looking good. Dangerous rumours. Discontent, people may get hurt. Let's do that. De uh, discontent is at, at, at an acceptable level for me, so we won't worry. Oh, there's even more survivors. Oh, no. Um... Nope. Save them against their will. I mean, we're going to save everyone, aren't we? So we need. We need. Oh. Let's actually do. Let's actually do another lot of scouts going to the uh, broken tree over here. Because we've got so many people now doing nothing. It's uh, not very good. So that's making that much coal. So yeah, let's see what our coal production is looking like. Uh, still, still not. It's not good. It's not good enough. Okay, right. This is this is the main issue we need to address now. Then is the resources. So, steam coal mine, advanced coal mine, coal mine rationalization. Okay, I think we'll go coal mine and rationalization. Or we could just do the classic and do a bunch of. Um, coal thumpers I might do that you know so coal thumper um, again but then it needs to be heated and stuff isn't it so it's kind of it's kind of like not ideal to put a coal thumper down just to put another uh, just to be able to heat it if that makes sense we've got about 18 hours of coal which is not ideal um, saying that the temperature will be uh, temperature will go down okay uh, it will go up in fact so we just need to survive until that until that time right saying that cold is now going up oh my days okay and then we've got a lot of coal coming okay we're fine for coal for now 10 steam cores oh no like jesus this is like a master class if anything uh, right, we can disband these ones now. They've done they've done so much walking. 
<laughs> They've done so much walking. They just need a rest. Uh, right. It's good. Good thing though is um, we can do different engine. We've got a bunch of resources in, so we'll go for the coal mining rational rationalization. And food. I'm wondering. I think. I think we've got enough food. We've got enough. Um, oh, we've got 70 children and 30 engineers coming. So that's all good. So yeah, I was going to do shrines as well. So that increases efficiency. I do need to build that temple. Everyone, Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. Inside. So I'm going to put a shrine there next to that coal mine. A shrine there next to that coal mine. And I'm going to put a shrine over here. Covering those gathering posts and wall drill. I think that should be fine. Uh, let's get the temple down where to put it though I uh, 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 no it won't fit there I'll put it there again I can't remember what the temple does but let's hit those to get hope and discontent sorted oh faith keepers we can do the procession in a minute so we'll activate that, try and get discontent a little bit lower. Again, half past midnight, be there or be square. Uh, this is good, nothing to do here. Oh my, literally, it keeps going on and on and on. No idea. Shrines have been erected. And then the night time procession has been uh, started. Uh, someone attacked a lord. Anyway, uh, they were left as an amputee. Not good, but we've got the care house. So they'll go straight into there. And people are now getting even more sick. In fact, a lot of people got sick. Like 50 people. Not uh, not ideal. Let's, uh, let's, let's be honest with that. And even more people are getting sick. Okay, so here we go. We're back to minus 50, so we can put it down to steam level 2. Everything will still work, but we'll get more coal in. Now, should I do bunk houses? Because that will help a lot. We could do like a few bunk houses here and there. Because we've got we've got coal and steel. Uh oh we hang, we've got we've got seven, like we've got a hundred more people coming in, so. I think we've got enough housing. No, we don't. We still don't have enough. Okay. So we need like another couple of tents. Um, will they fit? No, not in the range of the steam hub. That's fine there. That's not fine there. We just need another two, really. Don't really want to put another steam hub down. Ah, what I could do... Let's nope. I can't put it there. Um, I'll put it. Uh, let's put it. Oh my days! I can't even make a decision. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. It will be cold, but the next thing we will research is. Um, I was gonna do coal mining rational rationalization, but I will do the steam hub range upgrade. And but that does take more coal. So is it is it worth it? Probably not, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it when we deal with it. In fact, we only need to increase the range of this one, don't we? The temple has been built. Amazing. Um, what does this do? Hope will rise, discontent will fall. 20 food rations, let's do that. Discontent drops dramatically, wow. And then we've got, uh, okay, we will not do faith anymore. Is there anything else we can do this, uh, do this side? Um, ah, we never got to the pub, never got to the pub, oh well. I think we're pretty much done with laws. We don't, we don't really wanna 
be building anything. I I do find it do do kind of feel a little bit bad. I depraved them of a pub, but what can you do? Nothing. Um, what did we just do there? Oh, steam steam hub range upgrade. Okay, we'll do the coal mining rationalization next. And while we're at it, actually, I should have probably done this before, but more resource. Oh, look, there's space here for a tent, and there's literally space there for a tent, so. Oh, well. We'll do a couple more of those. Just so we can start stockpiling coal instead of, like, reaching the limit. Uh freezing homes again it's just not it's just not ideal uh take these woods resources and then that's it everything everything is everything is explored out in there right so that's good times good times so yeah let's get coal on here and so annoyingly all of the so we want to keep on that annoyingly all of these go to range two ready okay so we don't really want them on range two because it does take more coal does it lord craven is coming who's this guy <laughs> so Oh, he's part of these, the engineers. Okay. I'm wondering if actually heat range to... Oh, I don't think it does, actually. I don't think it does... Um... Take any more coal. But we do need to double check. Okay, we're in the green. We're in the green there. So let's just stop stockpiling this. Or... Oh, no, we've got two temperature drops. Oh, my days. So Lord Craven is here. Um, let them in. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Just don't worry about it. Powerless and terrified. Oh, he, he, he just doesn't. <laughs> he's just uh, he's just powerless. Okay, so we've got three days to resolve the class conflict. So stay in charge at least one day. Keep hope above fifty percent, which you're doing, and keep discontent below twenty-five. So let's get a couple of housing uh, houses down. So we'll do one there, and we'll do one there. That's fine. Clearly, I uh, underestimated how many people will come in. We've got enough food for them. Saying that food is looking a little bit, it's getting a little bit scarce right now. Discontent has risen dramatically. Okay, we're gonna have to use all of these. And have used all of our tools in our arsenal to, to get that down. So coal mine and rationalization has done. What we can do is get rid of these extended shifts now. That will decrease uh, that will decrease the um discontent quite a bit. So we'll disband those ones. Um and we need to stay in charge for at least one day. We can do this, we can do this. We just need to get that discontent down. Um so temple. I think if we hit these, get the um, get the extended shifts off, then we'll be sorted. So, yeah, let's start. Let's start doing those. We don't really need them in these anymore. Yeah, this content's going down loads. Uh, what else has got that? So, food. I'm wondering if we if we actually hit this, it might actually just complete complete it. So oh we're so close. So close to it. Is there another there must be one more workplace. There must be. Oh over here. Okay, so we now need to stay in charge for one day, which I think we can do. What's going on here? A lynch mob. Okay. Oh stop them. Okay. They were gonna they were gonna kill old Lord Craven, which is not 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 what we want. Not what we want. So that's the reason we needed the Faith Keepers to keep him alive. Without the Faith Keepers, like they will just they will just go for him and nothing you can do about it. 
Um, send our men to calm them down. Okay, so we'll send the faith keepers for that as well. Absolutely fantastic. And can we do these? Uh, yeah, we can. So we'll do them straight away. Discontent is still a little bit above 25%. However, we will be able to do ceremonial service. Saying that discontent will actually rise once we do that. So I'm going to do Steam Level 3 and put these back on Extended Shift. But do need that coal coming in. We've run out of food. See, look, we've run out of food. I thought we were well good for food. Um, oh, discontent's dropped dramatically. I don't know why. So I think we, I think we, I think we're good. I think we're absolutely good. Class conflict has been resolved. Okay. Is it just a case of surviving now? We are equal. Okay, we are equal. That's good. Oh, we've done it. We have survived. Absolutely fantastic. I totally wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have a nice time lapse. Um, if you did enjoy the video, obviously hit the like button and subscribe for more Frostpunk uh, content coming soon. So I'll leave you with the uh, time lapse as always. So stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. To give us any chance of survival, we need to build a bunch of automatons because we are playing the arcs and we've got a few things we need to deal with. First of all, we've got the seedling arcs. We need to preserve the seedlings. If these freeze over by temperature falling below chilly for too long, it's game over. Also, we've only got 45 engineers and one automaton. There is one worker out in the frostland and that is it. So this is why we need a bunch of automatons. And finally, we have to save another city, New Manchester. They are having a dire time out there and they appear later on in the scenario. So those are the three things we've got to deal with on this. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So I think the first thing we need to do is just get the basics set up and go out and find the factory plans as the uh, objective says. So let's get some resource gathering posts down i'm going to cover these up here for steel and wood and these ones over here for wood and coal and also we will get the automaton that we've got already working on the wood crates up here i do want to get workshops down as well because i want to get that beacon built and get out on the frostland as quickly as we can i think that's going to be the way to deal with that because we don't have enough workers to do pretty much anything there's going to be like a like a very hard limit on what we can do to start with so exploring the frostland getting out there quick and getting all the resources is going to be very very helpful cool so that's a pretty good setup to start we've got two workshops and two gathering posts i am going to do housing next just to make sure everyone's got a tent overnight uh, but first let's get people in here so the first thing we're going to do is the beacon. We've got enough wood for that, luckily. 
and hopefully we can get that researched fairly quickly let's get some housing down so we've only got tents will we be going for bunk houses i think we might do i think we might do depending on how the how the scenario pans out but i think we will be able to do it also i should probably sign a law i'll do emergency ship to start with and i'll put it on this one we'll only use that once because after that people will die and we don't want that can we get the beacon built no we've got 20 wood uh, to build the beacon there we go because we got the 24 hour shift on we got wood coming in overnight which is absolutely fantastic i'll put that over there out the way uh, because it doesn't need to be heated saying that this seedling arc does but it's fine out there for now and well we need to we need to get people sent out asap uh, but first we'll do faster gathering once we get to the 10 wood there we go so yeah we need 40 wood to get people actually sent out have we got enough housing actually we've got one two three four five yeah five house uh five tents sorry for 45 people we'll turn the generator on as well just because the automaton does need to use the generator to refuel and we want that working as much as we can it's telling me the generator is off but it's it's clearly on so don't just don't worry about it cool beacon has been built and we now don't need to go just follow these objectives here to find the factory plans like i said we want to do that as soon as we can and of course it wouldn't be frostpunk without a storm on the horizon so we're gonna have to deal with that later as well um, it gets very interesting this with New Manchester because they need a lot of resources <laughs> so we need to get automatons set up in the city fairly quickly I want to have at least 12 so they're going to be walking all over the place but they do cause issues with uh, like injuring people and well basically they, they step on people and amputate their limbs which is not great so we should probably deal with that when that arrives so yeah we'll be going through like the normal laws that i do if you've, ever, if you've seen some of my other videos i normally go for like some of the bad laws because they're just they're just they make the game like easier <laughs> so that's what we go for so we did faster gathering i am going to do the next level uh, which is drawing boards for the next thing because i want to get more scouts and faster scout sleds like i said i want to be exploring that frostland as quick as we can and while we're at it we'll do a new law extended shift everywhere it gets an extended shift uh, except for that because that's on 24 hour shift <laughs> when that goes off 24 hour shift though straight back on straight back on extended shift no rest for the wicked over there uh, the automaton can't refuel so let's turn the generator back on we could have an issue with coal on this scenario uh, because we're gonna have to use the well, we can use coal thumpers but they take so much manpower to get working i feel like we're gonna have to go coal mine instead but obviously the first coal mine is not very good at all uh, we've got 10 people doing nothing we should probably do a medical post I forgot about that i'm gonna put that up that side there actually no i'm not gonna put it i'll put it there let's get rid of that one and I need to get a cookhouse down as well. I'll put that there just so it's in the heat zone. It's taking a lot, taking up a lot of space there, but I don't mind that. It's fine. Cool. So let's get five engineers in there. Get that one sick person sorted out. And these have reached the abandoned suppliers. We'll take those. Thank you very much. And we're on to the broken automaton. So we'll fix that one up and send it back when we get to it. Oh, this has been depleted so we'll get the automaton back on that one i'm going to be saying automaton a lot this uh, this playthrough so hopefully i'm saying it right i think i am uh, drawing boards sorted let's get more scouts and it's day three so day three is where people start to get hungry we'll get five engineers in the cookhouse for now just to convert that raw food into food rations once that's done i'll take i'll take some out uh, next law what do we want to do course disposal i think because then we can go for overcrowded no overcrowding is a different one <laughs> we won't go for 
that just yet. I'll put the snow pit just around the back here. That should be out of heat zones. I'm just going to heat this area here. Uh, but yeah, after course suppose we'll go organ transplants. That's what we need to do. Sorry, I I got confused. <laughs> so uh, more scouts research, absolutely fantastic. And I think, well, let's let's have a think about this. We don't need heating just yet. We will have to think about it in a couple of days. But I think we'll do. Let's do hot house just so we've got it unlocked. Uh, because we do need like raw food coming in so let's get that down to one we'll put it on extended shift and this gathering post actually put on extended shift but i forgot to do that i think maybe the next good thing to do would be steel works we don't have steel coming in now because the two uh, the two resource piles for steel have been depleted saying that we can actually send out more scouts if we have five people so let's get one out of there and we'll send these on their way to Icefall Mine. Icefall Mine does not sound like a good place to go. Not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. This is nearly this is nearly done, so we can move. Or we can think about moving these engineers over to. Maybe we do a resource post for these coal here, or even better, we get more workshops underway. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I wish I could fit that in there. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to delete this path here. Get that workshop in there. And then let's reconnect. We'll reconnect this path. Up like that. Oh, very unnecessary, but... I like having my <laughs> workshops all together. I don't know why. There is literally no benefit to having them next to each other. But that's literally what I do. So, send a shift goes on there. It would have been much better to put them over here, to be fair, because then we could have heated both of these. Um, heated the seedling arc and the workshops together. But, by the by, don't worry about it. Hot house. Let's get that down. And we'll send this automaton here back to the city. And we'll keep on to the Lost Dreadnought. And I think the factory plans are there. Gathering post has been depleted. That's all good. Let's get that wood back there. It's only two wood, but can be very helpful. And yeah, those uh, those engineers from there, I think I'm just going to put into these two workshops. Probably going to be the best thing to do. And, well, and we need to get more coal coming in. Steam cores. So yeah, we just used the first steam core on the hot house. That's fine. And this is another reason why you need to be exploring that frostland. Because the only way you're going to get steam cores is by finding them on the frostland. So the quicker you get out there exploring, the better. Just realise I haven't been researching anything. Uh, that's not ideal, but we'll deal with it right now. So let's get still worked on. That's still being built that path there and yeah we'll get still works uh, still works up and running as quick as we can i need to put that on extended shift as well top tier law and we've got hungry people but we also have 173 food so we don't worry don't worry about that everyone's getting fed which is good But the temperature is dropping now. So will this... Okay. I was thinking maybe this is where we need to worry about the seedling arcs. But it's the next temperature drop that's going to be causing us issues. So we need to remember to do the heater before that. In terms of law, like I said, organ transplants get that 20% efficiency boost on the medical post. And I want that... I need that automaton coming in. Because that's going to go straight onto the hothouse. So there we go, minus 30, people are going to start getting more ill, but I think we can deal with that, it's not not an issue. So factory plans, we found them, let's bring them back to the city. And hope rises, so we now need to, yeah, bring the factory plans back to the city, 
build a factory and increase the number of automatons to three. So we've got one, one is on its way, so we need to build another one. And that takes coal, steel and wood. So perfect timing for the steelworks to be built. Let's get that in and a path over there. Absolutely fantastic. And I think what I will do here is get the next level up so that's drafting machines and we'll do uh, lighter scout sleds so these guys have reached icefall mine not as bad as i thought it would be there but we'll go to industrial ruins next and then bring those guys back and that will give us a nice little boost into like our resources so the second lot of wood crates has been depleted up here with the automaton so we'll, we'll get them on the coal pile and we should start to see our coals increase now i'm surprised we haven't run out of coal <laughs> because we've only got one coal pile being being uh, gathered but that's all good we've got the drafting machines done so let's get lighter scout sleds and i think yeah i think we need need to just start stockpiling some steel now cool so the seedling art might freeze the next temperature drop will drop them below chili and then we have a set amount of time to get them back up to temperature so we'll use heaters we'll use heaters for that to begin with but then we're gonna have to sort some other stuff out as it gets colder cool. so i should probably get some engineers in there right let's get let's get them out of here and put them in there because i do need that I do need that steel coming in for the automaton we're going to build saying that we just got a bunch of steel from from that so yeah factory let's get that built i'm going to do that over here just so we can start heating like i'm trying to build in zones really so this is not to be fair i'm going to move i'm going to move this one it's not working at the moment because it's not got any engineers in but i'm going to move that over here so we can heat this zone we can heat this zone maybe heat this zone up here and then if we need to heat this zone as well so it's all about efficiency the automaton is nearly with us these guys unfortunately need to go back out we need to go find those steam cores for us still got a lot of food i don't know how comes we got that much food we haven't been using the hothouse yet but i guess it's because we've got so little like workforce they're not eating as much food as like normal like the normal scenarios so that's probably why the automaton has reached it so we're gonna just stockpile food here so let's get the pot house going saying that should i do that there or should i you know what i'm gonna do it on on here instead just so that's working 24 7 and then i'll put the engineers in the hot house i think that's probably gonna be better because like i said we've got a lot of food and we don't need that much food coming in for now anyway also coal pile has been depleted over here that's fine i do need to find some more engineers so let's get those out of there and put them in the factory let's get one automaton built hopefully we can get that built today i don't know how long it takes but they've got the full day to do it so that will be the the three automatons like I said, I want at least 12 automatons. That's going to be like the sweet spot because we do have to start sending them over to New Manchester when they need house. Uh, then when they need help, they need more than house, housing. I tell you, they need like food, coal, steel. They need everything. It's crazy. So we'll do wall drill next because we are running out of like wood coming in. So that will be good. And I feel like. Yeah, I feel like having that still coming in from the automaton is going to be really good. Cool. So, Automatus, Automatus City. I can't even say it, but I don't don't worry about it. You know what I mean. <laughs> we need to employ at least two automatons in coal, one in steel, one in wood, and one in raw food. So, we'll we'll get two more automatons built, and we should be able to do that. Fundamental research. So, this guy is asking to improve performance of the automatons we'll let them do that it's very useful so that'll be good 
take these resources and then these guys can come back to the city absolutely fantastic so i do need to do the heater which we'll do next hopefully hopefully i can get that working or done before it becomes an issue We've got one automaton doing nothing was that one built it was yes it was cool what do we want it to do i'm wondering do we put it on the wall drill no let's put it on the, the hothouse for now the engineers in that research workshop and the wall drill are oh, perfect timing we'll build that over here let's get the heaters done hopefully we can do that. it's not going to be done today but that's fine but it shouldn't cause an issue but yeah let's get this let's get the wall drill up and running because we are going to need like a lot of wood coming in for the automatons we're building and just as i said it <laughs> we've we've run out of the last wood pile on our on our map so there are trees down here but we need sawmills for that and i don't i don't really i don't really use sawmills i feel like i should it would be like a lot it would make things a lot easier but i never do it let's do fighting arena and then we'll do pub i think that will be a good thing to do we, we will build this fighting arena can we cover everything we can we put it there that covers all of the houses that will lower discontent very nicely Ah, oh, I was going to put a workshop there, wasn't I? Oh well, don't worry about it. I'll, I can I can put the workshop somewhere else, so that's all good. Okay, these guys are waiting. We'll send them over to Snow June. I, I really don't know what's out here, to be fair. I just send them over wherever they want to go. Or wherever they need to go. They don't want to go out there, clearly. Uh, but we'll get these guys back. Um, for now. And yeah, I'll, I'll just put another... Um, another factory? No, it's not a factory. It's a <laughs> it's a workshop. Okay, I'm literally going crazy. This is what happens when I play Frostpunk. When I'm trying to record videos and, and play at the same time, my mind just wanders so much. And I just don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Cool, that's all good. So we have got actually like another eight people doing nothing. So should probably get them to work. We got an automaton no we haven't so what i'll do i think i'll take the automaton off the hothouse put the eight people in there and then put the automaton on the wall drill and that will give us uh, that will give us some good stuff coming in saying that we have got full still so i'll take them off for there for now and uh, i'll put that on i'll put that on the raw food <laughs> I was no saying that we we need to build build these don't we so we need three more let's go for three so they take one steam core 50 coal 100 wood and 100 steel so yeah we yeah we need that wood coming in that should start in a second once the automaton has refueled and gone over there and the seedling arcs are now starting to freeze because it's now minus 40 is below chili it's now cold and just right on time we've got heaters research so let's put those on i'm not going to worry about like trying to maximize coal usage like what we could do is let these timers run all the way to the bottom and then put the heaters on to save like a day's worth of coal on them i think but i can't and honestly i'll forget and i can't can't be bothered <laughs> so i'd rather not forget um and use a little bit of coal saying that we'll get coal mining started because we are going to need two of those and we've got another automaton just uh freed up because that coal pile up there was depleted so i'll move them over to this one for now and well, we need another one on here, but that's fine because we've, we're going to be building them, aren't we? Let's explore here. There's nothing to do. 
but I do need to research something. Yeah, so coal mining. I am going to do lighter scout sleds as well. That's going to be very helpful. The coal, uh, the, sorry, the wood is not coming in very fast. I was hoping it was going to come in faster. Okay, so we've got the automaton project ongoing. So we now give him, give him an automaton. We'll just check to see which one stopped working, which it looks like this wall drill one did. Not ideal. So we'll take the one off the hothouse we'll put the engineers in there and then swap that out for that because we do need wood what's the next thing to do exploration oh no hang on we've already got lighter scout sets why can't why can't i remember it's so strange ah we could do resource depot upgrade or steam still works i don't think we need steam still works just yet hothouse insulation that could be good Medical post upgrade. We'll go medical post upgrade. I mean, we're all very on top of this, aren't we? No one is getting sick. That's that's all good for me. I just would like a lot more wood coming in. So maybe think about doing the steel, uh, the steam wall drill. That that was well quick. <laughs> that was very very quick. So steam wall drill is the next one. Uh, we could do sawmill, I guess. Like I said, I don't really use that, but we, it could prove useful. But then we need people to do it, don't we? Let's do resource. Ah, uh, no, let's not do that because we haven't got enough wood, but we will now. Resource depot upgrade, maybe not the best thing to do, but we are going to have to start stockpiling fairly soon. So if we have that now, that would be good. Oh, we'll send these guys off to the next place and temperature should be going up in the morning which is always nice so we're looking good at the moment we've got the one automaton doing nothing the mark 2 highlander absolutely doing nothing just because he's in the project i would assume so when that's done the automaton should get more efficient and it warms up to a nice toasty minus 30. Absolutely fantastic. So we've got another automaton. I'm going to put that on steel. Because we do need more steel coming in. And that has been researched. Absolutely amazing. I'm thinking, let's see what's going on. So we've got like another like one, two, three, four days. Three, four days before we have... Actually, no, we've got loads of time loads of time before like we have to think about more heating so we can get rid of those heaters for now they should be fine so yeah let's have a look i feel like maybe coal mining rationalization will be a good one and we should probably build the coal mines we don't have enough wood okay i need to i need to just do this all right so i uh, know but no <laughs> We need a source of wood that is better than this wall drill. That's essentially what we need. So I don't know. I don't know how we'll do it. Like sawmill will be good, but we need people in it. And I've just got a lot of people researching stuff at the moment, haven't I? Could take them out there. We'll do pub as well. The pub is a, a good thing to have. And the search for steam cores. Sweet. So we've got another another thing to do here so we're gonna need to hit these two things we'll get out there as soon as we can with our scouts uh, and we'll give this guy a steam core so this will increase the efficiency of the automatons by five percent and that is worth it i think it does cost a steam core but it's all good and another automaton is ready in fact we've got two now to use so we'll put one on that coal pile and we'll put one on the hothouse and then we will send the scout out because we've got enough wood now send them over the south pass so we'll go up this way first because the storm is coming from this way if we leave it too long the storm will come in and freeze these areas and the steam cores will be lost forever up there so we'll get up there as soon as we can get things moving 
I think I can probably do with a saw sawmill now, right? Let's explore there. Nothing to do there. Saying that, they've got 205 wood on them. So I think these two here are the last ones. So if we explore those and they come back, then we may have no need for a sawmill. So we could probably start doing other things. I think that's, you know what? I think that's probably going to be the way to go. So let's do, we'll do some of these first. So the installations, that's going to be really helpful in the future. And like, we've got 19 days to do this autonomous, autonomous city. And uh, we've got a couple of other things as well. You know what? Let's get one of those off there. Our coal is now getting full. Saying that, I did want to stockpile stuff, didn't I? So we could start putting these down. Do two of those. I don't know how expensive these resource depots are. Ah, oh, they're 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 quite expensive. Forty wood, twenty steel. But they are like required if you have if you want to have any chance of doing stuff. Also, there's even more wood there. Yeah, I don't think we need the sawmill. <laughs> we'll wait for these guys to come back because we're kind of in a good position right now. And we've got four. We've got four people doing nothing. So let's get him in a workshop. Yeah, I'll do another workshop. Get him in there, and we can get things like researched even quicker. I mean, we're researching things very, very quickly. What else do we want to do? Moonshine. I am going to do moonshine. Just that lowers discontent a lot. And there's only like really one bad thing that happens with it. And it's not even that bad. So we'll go moonshine. Again, these guys have got more wood. Send them further afield into the windswept, whatever that was. And healthcare insulation has been researched. I'm just going to let this run a little bit just so we can build that last auton oh, hang on did we build enough We've got one more to build I think so we've got enough wood we just wait for steel to come in actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do steam steel works because I feel like steel is going to be very underrated also the project is a huge success absolutely fantastic and the 5% uh, so automatons are now 5% cheaper which is very good. And how many have we got? Well, we have got five. Okay, okay. We've got enough to do the next thing. So, coal mine. Ah, this is where we need the steel, uh, the steam cores. This is why we need these guys coming back. With three steam cores there. Absolutely fantastic. Could send them to Misty Valley, but I'll send them this way and then, well, we'll bring them back first and then send them out because they've got, they've got what we need. <laughs> they've got what we need. Okay, yeah, we are going to need to build these um, these coal mines ASAP. And while we're at it, I feel like the next thing we could actually do is upgrade and start unlocking like the steam wall drill and the steam versions of those mines. We've got here two things doing nothing. Let's put one on that coal pile. Ah, we should probably change these to something else as well. Put them both coal for now. We are going to be doing that. Steam still works. Again, let's just get that down. And we could, uh, we could do two. Yeah, let's do two. Let's do two. I don't know if two was a sensible idea, but it's fine. We've got two. We are going to need two later on. So if we get it down now, that's fine. And then we've got one automaton doing, again, doing nothing. But there's nowhere really for it to go. I mean, it can build the buildings, it can build the paths and stuff. So we'll get, yeah, we'll get that on. Let's get that on there. And I think this, yeah, this one's already got one on. So it's all good. Oh, should probably put the heaters back on because it's now getting a bit colder. Back to minus 40. Absolutely fantastic. 
and these guys are nearly back. Three hours. They're they're gonna arrive at the new place in an hour. Those are the scouts. Here we go. Another three steam cores up there. We'll go to steam lorry. Well, that should have more steam cores. And sweet, we've got those. So steam wall draw, I think, is gonna be the next thing to do. And once these once these come back, I'm gonna go coal mining straight away. Oh, what's happened here? Stuck automaton. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so what we'll do is shut down the steam steelworks because we can put that automaton to use somewhere else. Basically, that will stop working for 24 hours. Cool. These guys came back, send them out to Misty Valley. And we've got now a ton of wood. So this is why we this is why I didn't do this the steel work, uh, the sawmill. Let's get the coal mine down. So we've got two spaces for those over here. Let's get those built. And connect it up by a path if I can do it properly. There we go. And is this nearly depleted? Yeah, it's nearly depleted. So we've we've timed that like perfectly. I'm not gonna lie, I've timed it perfectly. Alright, let's build the steam wall drill. So we are gonna have to do Yeah, we have to we're gonna have to do more automatons. Like I said, we need twelve. I feel like we need twelve, maybe even like fifteen. We've only got five at the moment, so it's going to be a bit crazy. I'm going to think about heating again. So let's do steam hub. Because, yeah, we're going to start seeing temperature drop in a couple of days. Three days, I think. Yeah, it drops to two levels, so we definitely need... I feel like we need... Um, what, what do we need? Oh, I tell you what we need. We need more space for food. So let's change one of those to food rations. And we, we, yeah, we'll start stockpiling that food nicely. Realise that's not on extended shift. Neither is that one. What, what am I playing at? But we can do a new law. So radical. Uh, we haven't need. We haven't had any like need for radical treatment at the moment. However, I am going to do it because we do need prosthetics. Hear me, hear me. Overcrowding as well will be helpful, but we don't. We haven't really seen any issues with with the healthcare yet because everywhere is kind of warm cool we've explored fully up there the storm like you see it's getting close it's getting close to that so it's good that we've got that out of the way got that researched well i do need to open the pub first of all let's get that automaton on there and the other one i'll take off the steel for now and i should go and build this one As it gets warmer. Very cool. Uh, very cool and very warm. <laughs> I mean, it's both at the same time. Cool. So, automaton there. We've got the autom autonomous city. Hope rises. We're doing such a good job. But now... Oh, we need to prefer prepare for the storm. So, we do need houses. So, build five houses. Disband all expeditions. 8,000 coal and 500 food rations. And open the pub. Right, first of all, we're going to open the pub. That's the that's the main thing. This is what the people want. Where can I fit it in? Let's let's put it there. I feel like that's maybe like a good place for it. Next to the hot house. We've got this here. So maybe a good thing we would do bunk house and then house. Just get the houses down as soon as we can, right? That'd be a good good idea. We can turn these heaters off for now. It's now. Uh, oh, where's where's the where's the last one? One, two, th there it is. We've already done that one. Um, but yeah, now it's minus thirty. We can we can do that. So that's no problem. But it is going to get a lot colder. So we're going to go down to minus fourteen and minus sixty. And minus sixty is maybe where we're going to have a little bit of trouble. So I'm thinking we do generate a power upgrade as well, just so we're ahead of ahead of the curve here. Bunkhouse. I'm not going to do bunkhouse just yet. 
because I'm going to do another... Uh, we don't have any steam cores. So we don't we don't actually need engineers in there. Let's put them in, let's put them in the workshop again. I'm just going to put another workshop down. Because they might those engineers might as well do something useful if they're not building a building an automaton, they might as well just like do something productive. The public house has been built. I'm going to put one engineer in there just for now just so it, we complete that. Let's get the others in there. Extended shift on that, and another law will do. Let's do a care house and prosthetics. We'll get that out the way. Hopefully, no one has to go into the care house. But I'll put it over. I feel like I'll put it next to there, next to the fighting arena, <laughs> so so they can look out the window and see people fighting. But also, it's like in, it's going to be in a place where we can heat, heat everything. That's all good. And we're just going to drop down to minus forty now. Cool. So he's reached empty shelter. Uh, still more places to go to out here, but they're they're doing it quickly. I like it. They're they're working hard out there. Look, wood is full now as well. So I think we should probably do another couple of these. Do three more. And you know what we, we need to do? We need to do more food rations. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. So we can get those back up to temperature. So they are on chili. That goes up to level two, but we'll put it back down to level one for now. We don't want to be wasting coal. We don't have to. I feel like I'm missing something here. Steam coal mine would be good. Large resource depot. Let's do the let's do the steam coal mine. I feel like that's going to be helpful. Need to stockpile this wood as well, and stockpile the. Um, stockpile the, the coal actually 8,000 coal, oh god figure in the distance right, this is the worker that I mentioned at the start of the game that that comes here to tell us about this new Manchester that we got to go save and we are going to go and save them <laughs> I hope we can do it though because they, they need an absurd amount of resources and this guy is just saying a thank you like thank, thank you for making the automatons much better we are powering through this. Um, I'm going to do a large resource depot, and that's just going to be for coal, exclusively for coal. I think it's probably going to be the best thing to do. Oh no, we've got an amputee. Okay, this is probably perfect timing to have the care house done and prosthetics signed. And we will. Do we need to actually build prosthetics? I don't know. Serious accident. Okay, this is where the amputee came from. So the automaton stepped on it. We can't afford the efficiency to fall, so so they will continue to injure people, essentially. But efficiency will be up, and we like efficiency. <laughs> That's what we want. Cool. These guys have reached the supply trailer. Take those resources. I'm hoping the lone boulder over here is the last thing because I want to get these guys back. Yeah, they've got six steam cores. They've got three. We can get them back ASAP. It would be very useful. I am actually going to build a pro like one prosthetic. Oh no, I can't yet. I can't. Large resource depot has been built. Let's get that down. I'll leave these two spare for now. Actually, let's yeah, I'll leave them spare for now. I was going to put food rations in them, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh, I tell you what would be good because we are going to need a lot more food. Industrial hothouse. We'll get that built as well. What have we got here? We've got three engineers doing nothing. Oh, I was going to put them here, wasn't I? I was going to put them in the factory to build prosthetics, but I'm not going to do that now. And we've got one, yeah, one amputee. 
so we can't do anything but we'll get them a prosthetic and then they can go back to work all good now when these <laughs> when these scouts come back it's all going to be hands on deck like we're going to be building you know what we're going to anticipate this i'm going to build another factory oh no i can't i need a steam core okay we're going to be able to build another factory so we can um like mass produce these automatons uh, we need to change that to coal so we can store another 5400 coal i don't know how much capacity we've got let's have a look six so seven thousand six hundred and fifty is that's not still not enough i think maybe we'll need another one okay so here is this guy the worker from new manchester i don't know how he's made it over here collapses on the uh, mountain luckily someone saw him up there i don't know how but he's just ba saying like new manchester we need we need help the messenger now this could be a little bit sketchy actually he reaches the city and he does come trekking through here where is he I'm trying to have a look for him is that him there no that's not him is that him no that's not him i mean we've got the hot house anyway the guy comes trekking through here and if you don't have a medical bay up here he can die on the way so um hopefully he doesn't die okay so new manchester we can't abandon people in need we are going to go save them that's what we're going to do and we need to go out to expedition camp so these guys are oh, they are the lone boulder that's good nothing to do here ah oh, there's two more that's annoying so hopefully hopefully these are the last two and i'm hoping that snow covered supplies is the last one over there as well do need to get moving on things do house as well to i totally forgot I, I was doing house i'm not gonna lie i said i was gonna do house a ages ago didn't i what have we got over here steam still works steam still works one of them we need another automaton that's what we need this is this is why it's so tricky i mean i have got loads of people in here doing um research but i feel like that's necessary uh, we'll do prosthetics for now and let's build one prosthetic yeah as soon as like we get a, an amputee we'll we'll build a prosthetic for them and there we go house has been built or been researched and now we're going to build them so one two three oh no we probably shouldn't have done that overnight <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things I always forget. They need housing overnight, otherwise they get sick. And I don't know what the cutoff point is. I feel like it's 10 o'clock, so maybe people will start getting ill overnight there. Not ideal, but we'll deal with it. They've reached there. Take the resources. Cool. These guys are coming back. 22 hours, and we're going to have a bunch of stuff come in. It's going to be super, super helpful. So we haven't got yeah we haven't got any amputees now we've got one in palliative care i think that's in there yeah so they probably got gravely ill or something anyway we've got the worker back i'm gonna put them in you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put them in there for now in the factory ready for when this automaton comes so let's get three when i say automaton comes back i mean the steam cores <laughs> i mean the steam cores coming from from the scouts that's what i mean do you need to think about doing steam coal mine ah yeah we know right we've got that we've got that we've got that that's good got that i think we're pretty much done on this page which is good streamlined automatons that could be very helpful and that as well you know what let's do those streamlined automatons and integration as well that would be very useful Oh. we need to build these steam hubs that's what we need so let's go there build one there okay we've run out of steel that's not ideal get steam level two or heat level two going i 
we've got a heater on there we can heater on the hot house heater on the pub right this is where our coal usage is going to go up massively which is not not ideal do need another steam hub over here and that is going to heat that arc and then we do need one up there as well Green line automatons nice and the integration that is going to be 25 still needed cool let's bring these guys back we're going to have so much resourcing available to us now we're gonna we're not gonna know what to do with it annoyingly this is out of the heat zone so i'm actually going to just get rid of that one and move them into a new one still can't build a steam steam hub but that's fine we can now which one was it it was this one up here wasn't it it looks like the worker made it back to uh it made it back to the um what's it called you know it <laughs> made it back to the medical bay in time i think they're in here uh, engineers yeah luther golden he should be he should be good to go be put to work at some point and this automaton integration so i'm thinking we may need to do more resource stuff scouts have reached the sea absolutely fantastic this is what we love to see it uh so automaton will make three of those yeah let's make three of those there and then we'll do another factory i'll put that up here and i'm going to do basically i'm going to do another pub as well i'm just gonna oh no i can only do one pub let's demolish that one then once that's demolished i'll move the pub up here and that will be in the heat zone wood is filling up now so let's get wood there and let's do steel in that one so we can start again stockpiling stuff looking good we're looking good these probably need to be sent out to the expedition camp as well let's find new manchester and then we can save them why is that still cold oh that's not covering okay that's annoying uh let's do that there instead we'll keep that one up and running for now but i will i will demolish that one after that's hot that's hot that's hot over there everything's hot which is good but at the same time temperature goes up so we could probably put steam level one down one i think that keeps everything hot yes it does amazing let's get some more automatons built in that one i'll take people out of here researching and ah oh, these guys came back as well awesome let's disband those ones and put them back in the back <laughs> and put them back in the workshop cool so the worker has been healed up which is good so i'm going to build that pub again i'll put it up here and then the worker can go and work in the pub. The messenger lives, hope rises. So we've done well there. Got that, got that going. And now things are going to start moving pretty quickly. So automatons are going to be flying out everywhere. And automaton integration has been researched. So things are going to be like stockpiling really quickly, which is what we want. 11 steam cores as well. As for heating, I think we are going to need like, to focus on heating for a little bit now. So let's do efficiency upgrade and then we'll maybe do heating upgrade or sorry, heating efficiency, all of that stuff. Extended shift, I won't, I won't address that right now. We need to keep extended shift on. I'm going to start with overcrowding because we are getting a little bit of like, sickness here, which is not ideal. I could go down the route of infirmary. That might be very useful. There we go. Another automaton is up and running. Absolutely fantastic. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put the automaton on the cookhouse. Then that can work 24-7. Oh, saying that, I do need to get more resource depots down. So, 
I'm going to put one here. And I'm actually going to do another one. So one of them is going to be for raw food. And one of them I think is going to be for coal. Because we need to start sending stuff to New Manchester when they ask for it. Cold homes, I literally never do cold homes. It's impossible to, to keep them warm. That's what I found anyway. Uh, we could do improved heaters. Yeah, we'll do improved heaters and then we'll do the efficiency upgrade on that. And oh, we need to build those steam coal mines, don't we? So we'll get those down. Did I build a steam wall drill? Yes, I did. Cool. That's all good. And then I think the other thing was... Let's see, let's see what we've got. I think that's all fine there. Industrial hothouse. There we go. That'll be useful. And I think we need a couple more um, cookhouses. I think this is going to be very helpful because we're just not converting this raw food fast enough. We definitely need, like, I think we need, like, 2,500 raw food for New Manchester, which is wild. It's like a crazy amount. Saying that these have just been sitting here for doing nothing uh it's all good though send them to the broken vehicle we can get automatons on these so that one's being built then we've got another four being built over here ah they should be should be on extended shift probably do with a bit more efficiency on how we're using coal but it's normal mode. I'm not worried about it, and I, it's, <laughs> I, it maybe is a little bit tedious to go around on on the video to get everything min maxed. So I'm not going to do it. Anyway, let's get raw food there. Oh, sorry, food rations there, and then we'll do. We'll we'll leave this one empty for now and see if we can see what to do with it later. Oh, we got three automatons built in the space of like, well, I think two. <laughs> Two were built in the space of not very long. Infirmary. Let's, you know what? I keep, I keep forgetting. I need to build those houses. <laughs> let's get those done. S you know what? Steel is not coming through as quick as I would like either. And these have reached that. An automaton has been built. Take those. Observation tower. See, look, this one's frozen over now. I'm wondering if I go here first, damage Snowcat, and then we'll go out to Observation Tower. I don't want that to be... I don't want it to be frozen over by the time we get there. So, Infirmary has been researched. It's probably a good idea to do that. Hothouse insulation will be good as well because you need to keep that hothouse operational. And then, yeah, maybe I will do the upgraded Steelworks. Even, like even better ones so let's get an infirmary built it's just out it's just out of range there of the heat it's annoying but I, i'll put it up here for now and we'll transfer everyone over to the to the infirmary and that will make things a lot quicker that does take a steam core which is a bit annoying but it's fine we've got 11 automatons i said i wanted 12 didn't i we build in we're not building any there we're building one there let's do two there and we'll do another two there and that is the four steam cores used up saying that we aren't we, we need steam cores to actually build some other stuff don't we so steel is not coming in quick enough and <laughs> and coal is definitely not coming in quick enough can do another law. I'm not going to do another law though because I think we've got everything we need. Super food additives I'm going to keep in the back pocket just if we are having a little bit of an issue with this food stuff. So we'll uh, we'll deal with that later. Cool. They've got 108 steel. That's very useful. Send them to the observation tower. I really need to know how much like stuff they need like new manchester i need to know how much they need that's been researched yeah let's get let's get the well we need to open up the next one 
that's annoying for that. Don't worry about it though. We'll, we'll deal with it when we deal with it. Industrial hothouse infirmary mechanization. That could be a good one to employ five less people. Yeah, we'll do that. Do that. So we'll get those out of there. Put them in there. Oh, we have actually got medic automatons. So we could use those possibly. But we won't for now. You know what else we could do to increase coal? We could do coal thumpers. That could be very, very helpful. Long hours of toil. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. I think, right, I think the reason we're using a lot of coal, uh, a lot of steel, is because we're building so many automatons. That's literally the reason. We've got 13 now, so... I think we, we will be okay. I am going to do coal thumper, though. So I do coal thumper and steam coal thumper. I'm going to work on those... Uh, work on those getting... Uh, getting more coal in. I would like another hot house, you know. I'm going to do another hot house as well. And that's going to really increase our food output. Coal thumper's researched. Steam coal thumper, because we want to get that one going. I don't think they take steam cores, the coal thumpers. No, it's only 15 wood, which is like nothing. So let's do like a row of them here. We'll do three. I think we've got enough automatons now. We've got 14. Let's get one automaton on each of those. And then we are going to need some gathering posts. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Do six of those. And get those two automatons on there and then i well i don't know like once we've got enough steel then we don't need to use any anymore and we can take those off there so that's all fine so here we go new manchester we are about to find out <laughs> what we need and if i remember rightly it's an absurd amount of stuff and we've only got 10 days left to do it minus 50 is hit that's fine because it seems like everything is warm which is good to see the housing is still warm okay i think i think we're good here i think we're good that seedling arc is fine that one is fine you know what oh we've got two oh, we've got two of these steam hubs here haven't we oh what have i done there let's get rid of that one and i don't think that's going to make any difference that is just burning coal that we need okay i th i think i was panicking a little bit about steel <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um and it's just because we were building automatons that's why we didn't have a lot as for coal i'm gonna put this one coal as well because i feel like we need to stockpile it a bit more cool so we reached new manchester a dying city we will try to help them. Of course we will. We'll do our best to send help. So let's see what that that requires. Aid for New Manchester. So, gather 600 steel, 600 wood, and one automaton. Send an exhibition. An exhibition expedition. There we go. So we've got the 600 wood. 600 steel should be fairly soon. And then we've got one... Uh, we haven't got one spare automaton yet, but we will do. Let's see what else we can do here. Heating might be a good one here. Let's do heater efficiency. And I don't think we're going to need the generator power upgrade just yet. Because we've got level 2. Like, we're, we're fine on level 1 with all this heating and stuff. So when it drops down, we'll put it up to level 2, and that should be fine. In fact, let's do level 2 now, just so we're not having any crossover time where anything gets cold. These have reached a broken tree. Carry on. Go to Ruined Warehouse first, and then swing back to Manchester Dreadnought. 
I think these are collecting. Yeah, these are collecting up a lot of stuff as well. So we've got one steam core, 300 wooden, 108 steel there, which is a decent amount of stuff. Oh, that has been done. Let's see what else we can do. Food, food, food. Cookhouse insulation. That'll be useful. Because we do need these cookhouses working. Yeah, that's all good. We don't need to do that. Right, these guys, I want to get you out of the factory. Oh, we have got an amputee. Let's get them a prosthetic quickly. And then we'll get those guys out and into the hothouse and we'll start making food or more raw food up there. This is the thing with me. I always put down I always put down stuff and I forget to use it. So cookhouse insulation research, absolutely fantastic. And do we need that? I don't think we do need that just yet. I'll do overdrive couplings. Yeah, no, we've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. Yeah, these have reached the frozen supplies and we'll take those off to the Manchester Dreadnought has they got steel yeah they got 108 steel so it's a bit funny they're bringing it all the way back only to be sent sent out again with the with the steel they've just brought back to New Manchester I do think we need more coal I, I honestly think we need more coal so once we've got yeah once we've got that still done i don't think we need any more still like i think that's fine also i need to remember how to send these <laughs> these aid packages out overdrive couplings research amazing i'm just trying to think what else what else we can do gathering post installation we just don't need it don't need any of that we don't need any i don't think we need any of that food and health but I think we've got everything there I'm not going to open up the next one because it does take quite a bit of steel to do that so I think I'll just do generator power upgrade too just so we've got it in our back pocket for later look at that our wood is filling up as well but that's fine Come on, let's get to that 600 steel there we go and we need to now send that out so how do we do this i need to remember how to do it um i think it's on is it on here yes it is so we need to free up an automaton from somewhere obvious choice would be the steel works right so let's get those sent out there we go first aid package has been sent takes a day to get there i don't think it matters about the, the length of time it gets there so as long as, as long as you send them out before this happens i think it's fine so 2000 food rations two automatons that is why we needed the food we are getting there with food which is good all right let's get these out of here put them back into there and ah oh, these guys have got even more steam cores okay that's very good because we could we i feel like we're gonna need um more like we're gonna need more stuff essentially oh we need those we need those steam coal mines that's what we need definitely people oppose you no you have to keep at least six automatons working in the city i mean i feel like we can do that but uh, we can't let the people down it doesn't matter it's not that much discontent on hope change so that's all good saying so that we need to turn that down a level because haven't got enough ah, we're running we ran out of space as well here what's this one food rations coal coal i think there's a couple here that's still yeah this well i say a couple that's still let's put coal in that one instead we need to because we need to send out essentially we need to send out coal to new manchester but then also we need eight thousand ourselves which is a lot <laughs> so two things we need to do 
Uh, these coal thumpers have run out as well. Let's get one back on there, back on there, back on there, and just keep keep piling that coal up. Have we got the steam. Oh, we have got the steam coal mines. We have upgraded them. Again, I'm just so forgetful. I just can't remember what I'm doing at all. A bit tragic, isn't it? What's going on over here? Food aid. Yeah, the man from New Manchester wants to talk about his city. See what we can do. We are sending you 2,000 food rations. Ah, there they are. The 2,000 two food, 2, food rations are here. We do need to free up two automatons, though. Where do we get them from? We can run from... Yeah, where do we get them from? Probably take one off the wall drill. Actually, let's take one off that one. One off the wall drill. I feel like we've I feel like we've got enough wood. And if not, we can just whack one on for a little while. That's fine. Yeah, let's send that one out. Ooh, that is on its way. Again, another day to go. Or is it two hours? Oh no, two two hours one day 20 minutes the guys are nearly back with more more stuff so we now need to send 6,000 coal for automatons okay we've got the 6,000 coal we just need four automatons now do we build one more I'm thinking we build one more yeah I'm gonna uh, but we're gonna we're gonna need to do oh hang on we've got Ah, uh, no, we need 500 food rations. Okay. That's fine. Let's get this disbanded first, though, wherever it is. So we can tick off the list. Oh, hang on. Where is... Oh, they're a minute away. Oh, oh there they... Right, they're back. <laughs> they're back now. Okay. I got confused there. I think I just jumped the gun a bit. But yeah, disband in there. And I think... You know what? Let's just... Let's just send... Let's just get these automatons off, off these coal thumpers. How many is that? Three. Take them off the steel works as well because we've got full, full steel now. That's all good. And we'll get those sent over. Sweet. So we now need to prepare for the storm. That's it. New Manchester has been cared for. Nothing else we can do for them. We just need to now gather 8,000 coal and 500 food rations. So food rations is going to be the one that's going to cause us issues. But I, we've got seven, we've got a whole week before that happens. I won't address that right now. People protest. That's that's not that's not good. I will keep sending aid. Literally, we've done we've done it like they're too late. <laughs> like we've done it too quickly. I feel like we've done it too quickly to the game. But it's all good. All good. Have I got... Yeah, I've got people in the infirmary. That's sweet. Voice of support. Someone said we're doing the right thing. Of course we are. Of course we are. We've got steam coal thumpers. Very unnecessary, but... Fine. I'm going to ch uh, change that to industrial hothouse. Just so we've got more raw food coming in. And final effort. New Manchester secured. We focus on our mission. Oh, so yeah, this is literally the last thing to do. Eight thousand coal, five hundred food rations. Let's let's just let's just do it. I would like to find. Yeah, let's take automaton off that one and put it on the hot house. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. So raw food we're getting 207 a day and we're getting 1440 food rations a day so we should we've we've got this covered we've got this covered easy if you need anyone to take charge you'll see just just give me a call and i'll sort your right out <laughs> i feel like we've, i feel like we've done so well here this is actually epic absolutely love it supplies are ready we have completed it the autonomous city has been completed it was fun it was interesting it was good i very much enjoyed that because not a lot went wrong <laughs> so no deaths new manchester cared for 
We did our best. We did better than I bet at best. We literally did everything you could ask for. So, so good. Absolutely love it. So I'll leave you with the time lapse as always. Stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you on the next one. It's getting a little bit lonely on the frost sand, so I really want to go out and find some new friends. Today we are playing on the edge, and this is what I'm calling the best friends playthrough. And what better way to start than actually sending scouts out to go and find some new friends? So just going to delete some of this path to give us uh, enough wood to send out these and get them on their way. So for this challenge, what we'll be doing is upgrading all of the settlements. We'll be building all of the safe routes. And we are not allowed to make any decisions that will displease any of the settlements. So those are the rules. It's going to be hard. And then just to top it off, we will save New London at the end. Because why not? So there's a few quirks to this uh, scenario. We don't have a generator and we can't sign laws to start with. So we are going to have to ask New London to sign them for us. And I really want to get heating sorted. Because like I said, there's no generator. And if those sick people go out of hand there's no chance but let's get the outpost set up uh straight away for the first night by getting everyone a tent so we've got 65 people to start with and then we will be finding people out on the frost land and also uh new london will send us some people as well so let's get everyone a tent so we need seven tents all good there nope that's only six that's fine there we go, we can get one more. And then I do need to get a medical bay built as soon as possible because I want to get those sick people in and out as quick as we can. So we now need to get in touch with New London. So there's a couple of buildings to build. That is the admin, uh, the outpost administration and also the transport depot. Fairly easy to build. Uh, also, we need to clear the path to this army warehouse. And that's where we're going to be getting most of our steel from. While we're at it, I am going to put a gathering post down here because that is a good source of like resources there. Also, I'm going to have to collect up this wooden hole here. I just realised I assigned workers like without even thinking about it. I want to. I don't want to be collecting up this one. I want to be collecting up this wood crates here uh, because we're using a gathering post up there. So these guys have reached the frozen den. Let's send them onto the crumbling hut. That's where our first lot of new friends will be. And we'll bring them back, get them housed in, and uh, send them to work, right? So there are not a lot of resources on this uh, on this map. Like there's, in fact, there's like zero resources. We've got these coal piles and wood piles and stuff. And then we've got this forest, which we'll be, we will be using. Uh, we've also got like a one coal mine up here, like one coal deposit. But apart from that, the resources have to come from uh, they have to come from the, the settlements and the frost land. So uh, let's get a medical bay down. And I do want to start with, well, I want to get these admin buildings up. Let's get this connected. 
well we can and people in there cool so we've depleted the steel wreckage so that path is clear we just need to put a path up to the army warehouse but we will do that in a second let's get um let's get the next thing going that will be faster gathering i think that's going to be a, a good one to go for and let's get these admin buildings down uh, 20 steel and 45 wood for that so hopefully we'll get that done oh, let's put engineers in there just get them sick people healed up and i do need to get the braziers down don't i so i think transport depot to begin with and then we'll get one brazier i'll put that that covers everything uh let's do let's do that there i think that's the best place for it and let's build i'm gonna build a path actually i'm, I'm not gonna build a path i need to be sensible <laughs> i need to be sensible i need a path to the transport depot Cool, so these wood crates are now depleted. That's all good. Can I build another gathering post? I can. So I'm going to build that there, connect that up, and hopefully we can start collecting up this coal deposit tomorrow. Cool, so we can now talk to New London. We have to talk. Basically, our task is to send them still, and we can ask them for food, wood, coal as well. However, the favor will fall and we don't want that we're trying to make friends here um so we won't we won't mind about that we are going to be able to ask them for uh laws though that will that is one of the things we can do otherwise it's going to be impossible and anyway we save them at the end of the scenario so they're going to be our mates anyway cool so let's um get these survivors back to the outpost I do need to anticipate them coming just by building some housing. Doing okay for sickness on the second night, which is good. So we just come up to day three. However, it is becoming more cold or colder. <laughs> so uh, I need to get another, well, I need to get those other houses built and more braziers. Do you need to think about food as well? Cool. What I should probably do as well is get people in the army warehouse. It's a good idea, isn't it? These guys will be collecting up the steel for us. Taking a long time to gather these resources, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So the children have arrived. Oh, right. We've got um, we've got twenty homeless people, and we've got another like thirty people come in. So. Yeah, we need to build these houses ASAP. Just put that down. Where are we getting our wood from? So we've got that wood crates there. And also over here. That's fine. So Faster Gathering has been researched. That's really good. I do not like these people working on the coal pile while it's minus 30. I feel like that's going to cause issues with a lot of sick people. And you know what? It actually is, I think. So let's get another two medical posts down. We need to get these people in and out as soon as we can. Cool. So there's a trove of steam cores has been found on there, which is good. However, New London are going to be asking for us to send them steam cores and steel at the same time, which is not ideal. But we can do. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. Let's get this brazier down here. Uh, yeah, that covers everything there. And yeah, these these are now asking for steam cores. So it will be a hundred steam cores, and no, sorry, not a hundred steam cores. That's wild. Two steam cores, a hundred steel, and they've signed emergency shift for us, which is absolutely fantastic. So those wood crates depleted there. So we've got extra people. Why is that path not connected up? I feel like someone needs to just go and build that. Are they going to build it? Yes, they are. Amazing. So we are really not having a good time with steel. So I'm going to actually put emergency shift on straight away. Let's get engineers in there. Engineers in there. Get those people into the medical bays. And start on our next research, which I think will be... 
Uh, let's do. Hmm. Let's do sawmill. I think. I think that's. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> sawmill. We'll we'll soon find out, right? Oh, we need. We need food. Let's get a cookhouse built, and also, people need tents. So I do need to be sensible here with placement, just to make sure they are in range of the braziers. So I'm gonna put that path up there. Get that in there. You can see that's in range just because the brazier turns white. So that's two. And then another one, I'll just put that right there. So let's get that connected up. So that's everyone in housing. That's all good. Everyone is in a. I was about to say everyone's in a medical bay, but they're not. Let's get people into that cookhouse as well. Cool. So these guys, are, are, they've just been there for ages, haven't they? I think doing nothing. So we'll send them, send them back out. Man, this is suboptimal gameplay if I've ever seen, <laughs> if I've ever seen it. But don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, I had a lot of comments on another one of my videos, and there were so many good tips which I've been trying to use in this one. Like so, like heating the tents and building, like sorting out fundamental issues. So. If you have any tips or anything, please leave them down in the comments. I do read everything. And honestly, it, it really helps out as well. So um, any anything I'm doing wrong, just point it out. And I'm happy. Happy to take on the on the feedback. Well, oh, sawmill has been researched. I did just put this um gathering post down so we can start collecting up that coal there as well. And you know what I'm going to do? I might do another workshop. How many engineers have I got? I've got six work, uh, six engineers. So yeah, let's do another another workshop. And I want to do. I feel like I need to do the next upgrade. However, let's do hand carts now and get this sawmill down. Sawmill over here. Not too worried about placement. As long as we don't destroy resources over there we need everything we can that's all good so let's get that going still runes depleted so yep the only still we can get now is from the army warehouse what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold out on sending any um shipments to new london because if we leave it long enough they will send us that uh, they'll sign us the extended shift law which is what we want so those guys have reached there, picked up some wood, and then been sent on to stone wall. Let's get engineers in there. And we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of hungry people, but we have got enough food. In fact, we've got a lot of food, which is really good. This should be, yeah, this should be depleted tomorrow, so we'll free up some workers there. Yeah, I think we're in a good position here. Uh, a lot of people are getting sick, though need to get on top of that I think so maybe more heating yeah maybe more heating cool so that gathering post has been depleted let's get rid of that we'll collect up that wood there as well it's only one wood but we need we need everything we can like anything we can salvage those can go straight into into there actually I'm wondering like, if I could put a sawmill up here. Would that be worth it? I think it will be, you know. We've got we've got some people spare, so might as well put them to work. Let's get that going. And then wood will be coming in thick and fast, which is what I like. The handcarts, amazing. Let's do drawing boards next. Getting a lot of steel. And what I need to do is actually change that over to make steam or collect steam cores. So I'm hoping this is going to be extended shift here. So yeah, they've said there's, is there a pro problem? No, we just want you to uh, sign extended shift, which you've just done. So let's put that on there. Every, like literally everywhere gets extended shift. Even the cookhouse, even the cookhouse. This will get extended shift. This one will, oh, that one will as well. And I think that's the last one that gathering post. So looking good, looking good what i do need hmm, i'm still not 
100% happy with the healthcare situation. We'd like it a little bit better, but at the moment, I think it's it's bearable. We'll get these guys coming back and we'll send them back out to the Frostland. Well, drawing boards have been researched. Now, I really need to think about this. More scouts could, uh, more scouts would be very useful. Bunk houses would be very useful. Coal miner would be very, there's a lot of things that would be very useful, let's be honest. <laughs> so, I'm thinking maybe medical, yeah, let's do medical post upgrade. That will help speed things up in these medical bays, which is going to be very useful. Saying that, everyone is in a medical bay now, which is good. And it's minus 20, it's only minus 20, and we've got homes heated, so we shouldn't see much sickness over, over the night. In fact, yeah, we are healing up people very nicely, down to seven now, which is very good. So what I will do, actually, I'll put a another workshop down and I'll take some engineers out of there and I'll put them into the uh, I'll put them into there so the first shipment is ready we need to send that off because New London will be sending us food for that that's the only way to get food at the moment they will be sending like food every day as well and they are acknowledging our first shipment which is absolutely fantastic Cool. let's get that workshop doing uh doing get it filled up <laughs> and let's get bunk house i'm gonna do bunk houses cool we'll send these guys back out those those are going for a nice long walk and let's get people in that sawmill absolutely fantastic we're doing pretty well you know i am gonna leave this on steam cores so we can just get another two um, New London are now sending us less food because something's going on over there. They're not letting on. So, uh, yeah, they're just telling us they're going to send us less food. Don't worry about it. Cool. So, this is um, where it gets a little bit tricky because we need to now think about gathering more coal. This gathering post has collected the wood and the coal there, which is good, but that means the only source of coal here is right here. So, 150 left which is not good so yeah coal mine i think is the next thing to do let's get these built i'll do like that many to begin with and then yeah let's do let's do the coal mine now so coal mine and we do need a steam core for that but we are collecting steam cores so that's all all good Maybe not the best, maybe not the best time to do the, the housing. Actually saying that, it's only minus 20, so not too bad. If it was minus 30 and I had no housing, I'd be more concerned. But it looks like we're all good. So we've got two steam cores. I'm going to let that go up to three and then I'll switch over to steel. What are these guys doing? We'll take those resources. We'll send them over to Forgotten Fishery. Up here at Nansen Stormwatch, there are more survivors, but we'll go we'll go get them later. Cool. And then gathering post resources depleted. So that's all of the coal gone. So yeah, we do need to get coal mining sorted out. ASAP. The wood is full, which we need to we need to be collecting that up. So actually, let's do. Let's do a resource depot, just one of them. That way we can we can actually start storing some wood. And yeah, let's just get this coal mine down as well. Get that up and running as soon as we can. What else do we need in terms of here? So hand carts we've got, wooden supports. We don't need really anything else at the moment. More scouts I think is going to be good because we are going to have to send them out to find these other settlements very soon. Cool. So that gives us more space for wood. So we've got the two sawmills going. We've got this going. And I'm going to move that over to to that now, to steel. So once we've got this more, the, the next shipment ready, so we need more steel, we'll send that straight out and that will give us more food. So more scouts, absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, that's all done. That's all done. Heaters. Heaters might be a good one. But I'm thinking let's do the next upgrade. Let's get people into the... Into the... Uh, well, what, what's he called? <laughs> Coal mine. Forgot it was what it was called then. Okay, I think yeah, I think heaters might be a good good idea. So extended shift on that, of course. And we're looking good. We're looking good. Isn't it funny when you heat the homes, people don't get sick? <laughs> I know, I know, it sounds silly, but I literally, I literally, one of the things I overlook, and it's the most silly thing to overlook. Cool. These have got raw food and some wood. Go to the observatory ruins. What have we all got incoming? How much food? We've got 30 food incoming. Which I think will come just in time. Okay, let's have a let's have a think about this. What are we doing now? Ah, we could do Ah, I wanted to do that, didn't I? To get some more food coming. So Um you can see like the food travelling towards us, which is pretty cool. On the old Frostland screen. But we're looking pretty good. Draft a machine. So this is where we can now start to do this. So we need to upgrade that army warehouse to be like 200% efficient. Because otherwise we're going to have no chance. Like the only source of steel is this. And it's not exactly the best. So the more upgrades we can do on it, the better. So that's all that's all done there let's have a think coal mine optimization might be good some installations would be good I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do heaters because we've got a temperature drop coming soon and then maybe efficient burners as well what I could do actually is do another brazier around here so that covers cookhouse two workshops and that medical bay Oh, and it co does it cover that other workshop as well? I don't think I can cover everything. Unless I put it... No, I can't cover... I can't cover all of them, so... Let's put that there. And we don't have... Well, we don't have any people in the medical bays down here, so I might as well take them out. But yeah, as long as we keep people warm, that's fine. And we can actually put a heater on this one, so that's fine. Oh, this one hasn't been on extended shift, so... We'll get that on extended shift, don't worry about it. This has run out of resources to collect, so let's move that sawmill down. And I have all that's annoying, isn't it? I wanna we can't afford to destroy any resources, so we'll put that there. That covers everything. We just need to connect up with a little bit of path. And get rid of that path as well so cool that's all of that wood over there covered we don't have to worry about that now what are these guys saying uh cool so they can now only send us food when we send them a shipment which doesn't seem fair but we are gonna have to we are gonna have to do that so let's get that back onto steam cores we'll get the two steam cores send off a shipment because we've got no food and we've got hungry people which is not ideal these guys are saying we need to act and find some more food on the frostland. So let's get another lot of scouts out and we'll get them over to first. Well, well, first we'll send them to this one here. So frozen den and then onto natural terraces are slightly quicker to do it that way. We are getting more sick people. So let's get another medical bay just filled up with engineers again, get them in. What are these guys doing? Nothing. Uh, cool. So they come come back. I will send them to Nansen's so uh, Stormwatch now, and just basically find out what's going on up there. So yeah, we need we need these steam cores very quickly. So hopefully we can get them out by the end of the day. In the meantime, lighter scout sleds would be very helpful. I think we need to get that food back from first settlement as soon as we can and anything that's going to help will be beneficial yeah i need to get i need to i need them steam cores so we got one 
We've got a starving person. Hopefully they don't die. Uh, long aisles of toil. Just don't worry about it. You need to work. Ooh, let's get people in into that sawmill. That'd be a good idea. And I'm going to build another bunkhouse. In fact, I'm going to build another two. I don't want to go below steel. So 100 steel, two steam cores. Let's send that off. And we've got the shipment of food coming. That's going to be arriving in 12 hours. Just hold on. Just hold on for 12 hours, you starving person. Please. I don't want you to die. <laughs> so I'm thinking what we could do here is just some of the... Uh, actually, let's do... We could do coal... Oh, hang on. Have we got heaters? Yeah, we have got heaters. Okay, that's fine. Let's do heaters on that one. And let's check the efficiency yeah so we've got enough coal coming in, in per day that's fine people are hungry we won't do that it seems like we won't be able to to do that in time yeah look we've got people starving two people starving you just got to hold on for a couple of more hours go and get that raw food in here we go right 30 raw food has arrived right on time uh, these guys have reached that, so send them on to Secluded Valley. Yeah, we've got... Okay, right. Fantastic. So, the starving people are getting fed. But we are... Well, we have got more starving people. So, these are... Well, I'm wondering, right? We'll decide their fate later. What I'm going to do is bring these guys back, because they do have eight raw food. And I need that raw food, <laughs> so I'm going to bring them back. I should have, oh, I should have, I should have brought the survivors. Actually, no, I'm not going to bring the survivors back just yet because that's more mouths to feed, right? So we'll go, we'll go back and get them after. I think that was a good choice there, right? In terms of research, um, wooden supports. Let's do wooden supports. That's going to increase efficiency of here, and I do need to actually put a heater on that. I can't afford people getting sick in there. Cool. Hot Springs, that's our first settlement and our first lot of best friends. So, what's this? No gatherable resources. That's fine. We'll get rid of that. We've got a lot of wood. So, what this does, what uh, wooden supports does is give the army warehouse an efficiency boost for 12 hours. So, what you want to do is hit it between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. for maximum, uh, maximum effectiveness. I'm wondering if we do healthcare installation, cook care installation. Healthcare installation might be good. Efficient burners. All we need, what we need is more, um, is more steel. That's what we need. Well, these came back with the food, so let's send them back out. So yeah, we've got a little bit more food, which is very helpful. And I think that has saved us. I think it saved us from anyone dying. Um, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed here. Not gonna lie, getting a little bit overwhelmed. Cool. Let's change that over to steel, and then we got four steam cores, and we did get a little bit of steel coming in, didn't we? So, hmm. Let's think about this. Eating efficient burners. I don't think we need to do that just yet. Let's go, let's go for, uh, let's go for infirmary, right? Because there is a, a thing that happens later on that we, we, that we will need that for, so. We'll do that. Again, people are starving, but these have reached the hot springs, terrific. Cool. Let's go back and we now need to create an outpost there, so. Yeah, we can trade with hot springs. Uh, but to, to do that, we need to build an outpost. So we need 50 steel at the moment, like coming in. So let's remember to hit that thing. So it's 6, 6 a.m. Do the wooden supports. Oh no, it should be done between eight. Oh no, that's annoying. 
between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Oh no, it should no. Hang on, no, that is fine. Sorry, the workday is six till till eight. So yeah, that's fine. But we'll move on from there. We'll, we'll swing back around and get them after. These guys are coming back 14 hours. Just hold on, please. Hold on for 14 hours. What we could do, actually, we could send. Actually, no, we want to send these out, don't we? To Hot Springs. Send the construction team out to Hot Springs to get that outpost set up and food coming in regularly. So, infirmary researched. Absolutely fantastic. Do we do the next one? We could do the next one, and that. Straddle carriers would be very good, right? But efficient burners, improved heaters, all of this is all of this is going to be very good. It just depends when we need it. I think I might go for mechanical calculators next, you know. So let's do that because I want to get them straddle carriers for like maximum efficiency. Long hours of toil, don't worry about it. It's fine. You need to keep working. 10 hours though until yeah oh no five hours until that raw food comes back high discontent no we well we could do that uh but we don't want to ask new london for things unnecessarily ah army warehouse insulation that's what we we're gonna do that'll be very helpful um i won't address that right now either just because i don't think i can do it uh, these guys explore there. Okay, we're we we're, we're going rapid here. Everything's going so quick now. <laughs> okay, good. The raw food has returned, and these guys again need to be sent out. So I might actually go and send them to Nansen Stormwatch to bring the survivors back. In fact, I will I will do that. Actually, no, I'll send them off. And I'll send them on a little bit further. And I'll only bring them survivors back when I need to. Also, these guys can now build the trading depot at Hot Springs. And we now have food autonomy. So that's all good. We are going to ignore New London for now. Uh, what are these saying? So yeah, they're going to ask us about um, improving their healthcare. However, like I said, we cannot ask them for anything. So... The favor will fall. We can't. We can't do that. So we'll never mind. Farewell. But we do need to like send them stuff. So I am gonna just send them. What was it? I think it was wooden steel. It was definitely steel, and something else. And then they'll send us food back. Okay. The people are getting fed, and we've got income in. 50, we've got 80 raw food coming in, which is very, very helpful. Cool, let's explore that. And I may, uh, we'll send, we'll send these off to Tesla City. I don't know, I don't know if we should actually be bringing these survivors back right now. Uh, I mean, we can, can't we? It's not that big of a deal. No, I think, no, no, we're going to leave, we'll leave them there. We'll leave them there. We'll bring them back. I'm just thinking because we're going to have to build houses and stuff for them, aren't we? It's now minus 40, so I'm going to actually build a, the rest of these bunk houses. And just check. So that's still comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. These over here, don't worry about it. It's fine. This one, you can put a heater on to make it comfortable. Heater on there to make it comfortable. The wood, like, the, the coal is still in the positive, so that's all good. We can be a little bit liberal with what we want to do here in terms of still coming in we probably should do this again okay so what's this um they're just saying we need to send them stuff we're not going to do that now don't worry we can't anyway we don't have enough still and yeah now they're saying about a new settlement like thank you for finding a new settlement but like we don't basically we don't need them anymore <laughs> so we are going to well we're going to make this into our own city no more masters new london can go away until we uh till we well have to save them later so yep we'll tell our people to back down because we want we want to be friendly 
trying to make I'm trying to make friends here, right? And uh, yeah, all good. So, what's going on here? There's, I heard I heard something going on. Ah, here we are. Yes, exactly that. So we are now cut off from New London. It's up to us now to do trade in and seeking help in the Frostland. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And it's difficult times, difficult times. I'm in charge though. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you safe. I'm gonna keep you warm. I'm gonna keep you alive mainly. <laughs> so it's all good. We've got 13 homeless people. Okay, outpost one. Okay, so we need to send people out again. So, yeah, these guys that just got back, we'll send them to higher pass. And this will be our third settlement. What I might do, actually, is do even more scouts. So, let's do difference engine there. Oh, we need to ask Hot Springs for help. So, we need help against New London. And now we have to upgrade their settlement. So, they're asking for basic health care and bunk houses. So, farewell. We will get that going. So, good thing with this as well. It gives you more food once you do that. So, I'm wondering, we send... Yeah, let's send those and let's send those. And then we will get that first one done as well. Uh, the pump repair for that third one in fact overnight i need to i need to remember to put that um how much wood actually have we got here 206 that's quite a lot which is good i need to remember to put the efficiency boost on are we free we are so let's rename the town i always uh i always all my town's endurance reference to my favorite film comment below if you know what it is and we can actually sign our own laws which is absolutely fantastic so i'm gonna do corpse disposal let's get that built down here uh, corpse disposal will allow us to go on to like organ transplants and that's going to really help our health care so we need to do that I'm not going to search Tesla City because you can die, and I don't want these to go, uh, these to die. So I'm just going to send them on. It's only, it's, I don't think you get that many. Well, it didn't look like you got that many. Um, oh, I forgot to do the efficiency thing. Half an hour wasted, but half an hour is better than five hours, isn't it? Oh, I think we can send. Yeah, we can send that over now. And this is how we upgrade the settlement. So we're on our first one. And the more we upgrade, the more food we get from them, which is good. And now they will start giving us choices where this is where the best friend rule comes in, where we can only do things that will please them. So if we do, we need it. Things will be displeased. As you wish, we'll, they will be pleased. So we'll do as you wish. And I'm pretty sure this makes things a lot harder, but <laughs> we will uh, we'll deal with it when we get to it. Right. What are we doing here? Difference engine, aren't we? So yeah, I'm going to get more scouts going. And then we'll do the army warehouse upgrade. Uh, the fever. So again, we have to do ones that make, make them pleased. And yeah, I, we, I want to get those other settlements. Um, I want to get those other settlements. Uh, discovered as soon as we can. Let's get those continuing on to Victim's Colony. I'm pretty sure there's more survivors there. But what I'll do, I'll leave them. I'll leave them there as well until we need them. Uh, cool. So, again, another one. Organ transplants. Let's do that. That gives us a 20% boost on the medical posts, which are very, they're in hand at the moment. That's because we've we've kept everything warm, which is good. All right, let's go on. Coolio of the dead. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know if that's pronounced right. I'm gonna say it is. Yeah, 
you know what? How many survivors are there? 27. Yeah, let's bring these guys back then. Uh, so we'll bring 27 people back. That's fine. Some people have left, right? So we've got 22 vacant beds. So we just need one more bunkhouse. Put that there. And we can actually send pump renovation to hot springs. So we will do that. And you know what, actually? We don't... I don't think we need that. Yeah, we don't need that house being built, actually, because what we can do is send... Uh, send those people that are coming back over to hot springs. So <laughs> it'll be like, oh, we finally... Finally, survivors have come back to the city. Oh, no, you're, you're going somewhere else. Like... You have to go on another trek. So additional scouts. Let's get, get these sent out. Um, oh, we need five people. Where, hang on, where are all of our people? <laughs> We've got like 67 people, but where are they? We've got 20 in there. I've oh, got 10 in there. Obviously, we've got five in there. I don't think we need five in there. So I'm going to take four out of there. I'm going to take one out of there. And we'll get those we'll get those sent off over to the icy ice caverns so that's going to be this is the area where our the last settlement is which is at the children's mine and then here we are going to do straddle carriers i know uh, need to think about i was gonna say probably need to think about heating again but it only goes down the minus 40 and we are covered which is good what i do need to do actually probably do another resource depot yeah let's do one more resource depot and that's going to be to store some more coal women in despair let's do that one there's no one dead so she's delusional she's delulu but uh, to be fair like you would be wouldn't you in this freezing cold wasteland uh, shipwreck cove or shipwreck camp sorry is Is the next settlement over there I might actually do a infirmary you know oh what else do we need here so yeah we need to send helping hands over don't we so stroll carriers researched so yeah we can now think about actually doing some of these things right so cookhouse insulation healthcare insulation Infirmary mechanization, infirmary checklists, all of this stuff will be good. House will be very good. You know what? I'm going to start doing some of the installation stuff. That was a lot of words just to decide on something that was probably pointless, but I think we're in a pretty good position. Just need to get things moving on the army warehouse. So I will actually do. Hmm. Well, there's not a lot of wood over there. However, these guys are our source of wood now. Great news. Again, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Send those over. We do need to get the construction team there, don't we? This is why we need to send... This is why we need to bring those survivors back. So we can actually send send them out. So, yeah. This is, this is probably, like, a good way of doing it. It's just bringing the survivors back when we need them. That way they don't take up food or housing and we can save a bit of resource so yeah we'll get 27 people come in which is good they can go straight back out down to minus 40 not too bad we can we survived it before let's get that coal going and yeah let's get that out so construction team now goes to shipwreck camp and what are these guys doing ah these guys can be sent out again to get these survivors and we can send the ones that just arrived over to uh, Hot Springs. All good. So many things going out on the uh, <laughs> on the um, uh, Frostland. Oh, another book of law thing. Another law we can sign, which is good. I'm thinking radical treatment. Radical treatment and overcrowding. I'm actually going to build an infirmary. Where can I put that? Yeah, I'm going to build an infirmary right there. 
because um, these settlements will start sending us sick people and stuff. We need to get that sorted as well. Do you need another bunkhouse, actually? Because we've got five homeless people. Actually, just going to delete that medical post there because we don't need it. And these have reached the frozen sea. Carry on. There's nothing there. Continue on. Okay, what else what else are we gonna do? I said we were gonna do the insulation ones, didn't I? Um But the re resource depot would be very good. Coal mining, coal mining. Right, let's do resource depot upgrade. This will allow us to stockpile more stuff. Mainly coal. We won't worry about long hours of toil. So what else do we need here? We don't need any food, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. We're just kind of waiting for that um, construction crew to get to um, shipwreck camp, aren't we? Essentially, we're just waiting for, for all of these to to go to where they need to. So I need I need the children's camp to to be uh, done. So. Uh, we've got 16 days left until the confrontation. It's quite a lot of time, but it will run out. It will run out very quickly. Uh, cool, so they're asking for another thing. Uh, so we can build something on there, but they're going to send us 10 gravely ore because that's the thing we need to choose to be for them to be pleased. And this is why we needed that infirmary. And to be honest, it's another thing that has just to come in time. I don't know how this has worked out so well I'll take those out of there put them in there I'm gonna sign overcrowding as well just so we can get everyone in what's here raw food take the resources cool so these guys can come back now nothing else really for those to do and survivors will escort these survivors back to the outpost some more engineers and stuff there which is very helpful I'm gonna get rid of this medical post as well because that's just now cold do I need any more housing? I think I do. We've got 15 vacant beds. We are going to be sending people back out. Okay, cool. That took a long time for them to get there, I feel. We can now trade with Shipwreck Camp. What I am going to do... Actually, we need to talk to them first, don't we? So, help each other survive. Amazing. One more thing. How can we help you... Basic healthcare and food production and stuff like that. We'll think about it. Cool. So, never mind. Farewell. Have a good one. See you later. Let's get those over there. We will also send the engineers and stuff over there. And you know what we'll do? We won't trade. Hang on. How many? How much wood is there? Yeah. We'll trade. Uh, in fact, I think 50 wood, 50 wood, 75 wood. Yeah, let's trade that and then we'll send those over as well. So like I said, I think once you upgrade these settlements, they start giving you more things. Uh, these are going to ask for even more stuff. So this is the first safe route. Five people died. Right. So I don't know why that happened, but we, we won't worry about it. This It, it kind of happens on every single one. Um, lack of treatment. I think right what i think it is is they come over from hot springs the gravely ill people come over from hot springs and they just die so not not the best but i don't know how to i don't know how to stop it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie no idea how to stop that happening so these have reached station ruins keep going i need that children children's mine winter home ruins and steel bridge again they're going wild out there so many things to, to do. What could we do here? Infirmary mechanization and checklists and also house. Let's do the insulation because I said we we're going to do that. But it's going to drop down to minus 50. So we do have to think about heating. Cool. So more people have arrived. Let's send those out to shipwreck camp. We'll build the safe route depot. And also we need construction crew to go and do these safe routes so i do need a lot more wood than what we've got 
and in fact we've only got <laughs> we've got zero wood uh, so let's just delete this path get some back and what we're gonna do now is we we're gonna have to get wood from shipwreck cove that's the only way to do it so how much have we got coming in we've got 50 50 75 50 so we've got 200 and 200 and something right so in fact uh yeah we need to we need to like slow down on these upgrades i think so again we need to drill the borehole here and this is, we'll make them pleased but it's going to take more resources to do that what are these guys doing doing nothing so i might send these out to good station i don't think there's anything up here but i'm going to send them out anyway because of the, like curiosity kills the cat so we'll go we'll go out there anyway i don't really mind more engineers in the infirmary We've got 21 people homeless so let's get another few bunk houses Okay, healthcare insulation has been researched. The music is getting very intense now. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do efficient burners. Oh, I can't because I've got no wood. But I need that wood coming in. <laughs> so let's see if we can trade. No, we can't trade at the moment. But we will once they come in. Cool. Let's get some more wood. This one here, I'm actually going to move. Uh, saying that. Let's, yeah, let's build the safe route there. So 40 wood. Need to bury them and claim the camp yes that's correct yeah then we'll move on so one location on each of the safe routes will have an additional need for wood and if you don't do them then your resources coming in every day will like be severely reduced uh so i think it's um i think it's if you do if you don't do it then you get a shipment every two days if you do the upgrade to like the safe route then you get a shipment every day and we are going to need a shipment every single day um cool so efficient burners we can do that now that's all good i do also need to build the upgraded transport depot so we'll get that down and we are currently just continuing building this safe route so we've got two winter home ruins who remembers winter home that was a disaster that one we'll take the resources and here we go children's mine that is the one that we needed so these have reached the safe route i just need to get that wood coming in which it just has so let's build that carry on so yeah the safe route is going to be very helpful for getting food over to us okay we'll they, these guys again will We'll send send them over. Send the gravely oil over. We'll, we'll deal with them. Don't worry about it. Did I do overcrowding? I did. Yeah, fantastic. So that's all good. And these guys, I think we can disband them. Or do we send we send them over? Send them over here. Let's send them over there. Can we build that? Oh, no, we already built it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. It's getting colder. Saying that 10 people are coming and we've only got four vacant beds. And yeah, let's get another bunkhouse down. Oh, running out of wood severely. This is where not asking for <laughs> for stuff is not good because you need that you need that coming in like all that stuff coming in cool efficient burners have been researched i'm now going to do radiator extensions and then we will probably have to think about upgrading our coal output we'll keep an eye on it though okay what are they asking now um, they want to build a snow pit, I think. So, yep, yeah, this will make them pleased. And we can send... Uh, let's send... Yeah, we definitely need to send these over. So, that will give us... This will give us wood. Uh, we'll do both of them. And then we'll be up on to level three. We'll send over... Uh, why not? We'll send over that. No need... Well, there's no reason not to, but then... I just realized we need to build the safe route so 
there was a reason not to. However, we do have some more wood coming in it's fairly soon. That safe route is going to be very helpful. Uh, the children's mine, we will support you. Of course we will. I don't think they've got anything useful. Like coal, we're okay with, but we would like to get those upgraded fairly quickly as well. So radio extensions, that does use more coal. So we're in a deficit now. So let's actually, uh, we'll do coal mine optimization when we can. Right, I think we need to prioritize here. <laughs> this is this is the issue. We need to prioritize. Have we got food coming in? Yeah, we have got food coming in. So explore that, take the resources and onto isolated camp. I, again, I don't think there's anything in isolated camp, but that's fine. These guys are working their butts off over here. Cool, we can do another law. I don't know if we should though. Soup could be a good one. Yeah, let's do soup because that's going to give us that's going to give us more food, and I think that's going to be very uh, like helpful. Cool, so we did get more uh, resources. We just need more steel though. Should be coming soon. What are these guys asking? Um, they will be pleased. What are they doing? Oh, I think they're just because they're ex cons, they're asking for forgiveness or something. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, right, let's get these. Hmm, I need to get another construction team over the here, don't I? Let's do that first. These guys. Uh, still, it's just still, isn't it? That's what we need. I'm gonna put that on. I know it's a, it's quite expensive, 50 wood, but that's gonna give us a bunch of steel today. So that's gonna, they're building a safe route. Explore here, carry on up to deep fracture. So yeah, we'll leave the, we'll leave research for now. But we've still got a lot, we've still got a lot to do. Take resources, dry in springs. So you, you, there's a lot of, there's a lot of places to re, like to scout out, but not a lot of resource at those places. So we can do, ah, we can do safe route to shipwreck camp now, which is what we needed. But also we need to get, um, we need to get food coming in. So we'll put them in touch with no, we don't need food coming in. We need uh, wood coming in. Uh, to be fair, we need wood and food coming in. So let's think about this. Um, safe route. That's that. Ah, that's that's going to be a good lot of wood that we need. So 50, 50, 50, 100, 150 wood. Because like realistically, we don't have any other source of of wood at the moment. We're just on, we're just about like good with food. And I think that's because of soup. Fighting arena could be good and then public house. We'll do that when discontent gets a little bit, um, it's a little bit more. Uh, carry on, nothing to do there. We'll go to Snow Rover. And yeah, we need to, well, we need to send these construction crews out there. I'm gonna finish the one to, I'm gonna finish the one to, whatever it's called springs hot springs first and then we'll do the wood one and now we can do the children's mine as well which is absolutely fantastic that's going to give us coal not that we need coal but it will be helpful that's great cool so yeah we've got upgrades to do there now Four hours until that comes in. Uh, some there's well, there's some people doing stuff to our bridge. We're gonna leave them. We'll leave them and let them work. I don't know like how that. I don't know how that like causes an issue or anything. But we can still go on to sturdy shelter. But that's all good. These are still waiting. These are still waiting for that wood and stuff to come in. 
I'm wondering, do we prioritize? No, I think we need to prioritize the food. There we go. Cool. So let's build the safe route there. That is a safe route built. What I'm going to do is go to, I think we're going to, well, let's go to natural stairs first. Yeah, the train, the train is going. It's an absolute marvel of science, the train. So this essentially will give us food every single day via the safe route. Oh, no. Shipments of 54, 50 raw food will be sent every other day. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was different, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I thought it was every day, but 50 is a lot, so that's all good. Um, nothing to do there, so let's go with the Grove of Bones. So we've got starving people, so we need that food coming in ASAP. <laughs> cool. So uh, we'll do the separate quarters so they're pleased. So yeah, I want to get that wood. Well, I, I need that wood coming in, don't I? So, uh, what have we got here? Take the resources up the trailer wreck again. Oh, they're going miles. They're going on. A, they're going on a trek. I tell you, they are going miles and miles and miles. Just need that food to come in. Seven hours until we got that food. We've got five starving people, which is not not the best. We've got here wood. Take the resources. Bring these, bring these back. So they've got, we've got some wooden stuff on the scouts, but not a lot, not a lot. Okay, what is this? Um, again, we need to just do the thing where they're pleased. So yeah, let's do. We'll send infirmary. Okay, we'll send that. the time four o'clock in the afternoon no i i i need to i need to remember to do this wooden supports and it's going to get colder as well now isn't it so i think we need to do um improved blowers i think we need to do that because like i said i want to get i want to Stop people getting sick. Ah, uh, still okay. All right, okay. That was that was that was fine. All right, let's get let's get everyone back. Have these reached? Yeah, they have reached. We've got 50, 75. I do want to get a little bit more wood before building the safe route because I want to make sure I've got the correct uh, the correct one. So. We'll send that and get some more wood. When I say correct one, I mean like have have enough to do the um, uh, the upgrade to it as well. Okay, that's that's everything explored on the frost line. Okay, let's get everyone back. I do need to think about doing how many times we've got twelve days left. Do need to think about doing this as well. Okay, let's get let's get that going. We'll, we'll try and get a lot more steel coming in. Minus fifty. Okay, that's not good. Heater on there. That's uh, we could we could do with advanced heaters, right? Advanced blowers though is coming. And that's going to be very useful overnight. Oh wow, <laughs> loads of things happen there. Seventeen improved blowers is done and I could do advanced or improved let's do improved heaters but I do need to turn these up to level 2 now and our coal is probably yeah it's in a, we're in a deficit now so you know what I'm actually going to do I'm going to not do that I know it's a bit of a waste but coal mining optimization we'll do we'll do that to begin with and then we'll go on to steam Coal mine. These guys have come back, so let's disband those. That gives us a little bit of extra wood. Let's have a think. Yeah, we sh we should have enough to build the safe route there. Cool. Carry on. Let's go to high peak. And can we actually do anything for here? 
We can. Let's, um... They give us they give us coal, but we don't really need coal at the moment, so I'm gonna smash that out later. This is what we need. We just need wood coming in, don't we? <laughs> so uh, we need we need steam cores. It's time to rest. You've earned it. Uh last offices. Um okay, we'll give them the body. They'll be pleased. And coal mining optimization has been researched. Again, still in a deficit, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Coal mining rationalization would be good. Another 10% efficiency boost, and that might be good enough. Let's do that. Let's do that. Have we got any wood coming in? No, we don't. I do need I do need to get wood coming in, so. Right, let's um switch this over to steam cores and we'll just get a bunch of steam cores going i do wanna i do wanna hmm in fact yeah we'll, we'll leave that for now doing steam cores 100 steel is not a lot but it's all really we can do probably should hit one of these actually you know what yeah let's do let's do that because we are kind of running out of food and if we send the people there, there's less less people to feed, isn't there? So oh, it gets slightly warmer, which is nice. A nice toasty minus 40 degrees. Oh, wow. They came back with quite a lot of stuff there. So that's all good. I think we can now build this safe route. And then, yeah, we can secure the route as well. Then we go to Rock Ridge. Now, having this safe route up and running is going to be so helpful. If we can get a sh shipment of wood every day, that would be that would be really, really good. I think we need to disband some people as well. So we'll disband those, disband those. And that gives us more wooden steel. Okay, what what now? Medical report. I don't know what don't know what's going on there, but don't worry about it. I wanna get the safe route or here as well so you know what i've actually got I've got to send some engineers so i'm going to take them out of that and we'll send them over and then yeah we need to get food rations over to them as well so once we can do that which is now we'll do that but we'll start yeah we'll start getting on them upgrades just need to get that steel coming back in now don't we so yeah let's go steel again on there what have we got coming in? We've got three lots of coal. That's fine. That'd be uh, to be fair. That'd be quite useful. Just need to get some more wood coming in. To be fair, and for that we need to send stuff to to there. So yeah, I think the best thing to do is probably going to be doing the steam storm steam sawmill over there. Okay, this is wild. It's a lot of juggling resources and stuff, isn't it? Okay, cool. So we'll let them uh, we'll let them organise themselves. They're all pleased. In fact, you know what? Once we get that seventy-five steel, we can build this build the safe route. And there we go. Those are going to be sending us wood every day now i'm gonna send these over to children's mine that's what i'm gonna do and then they'll they can make their way back on their safe route so cool they're gonna be sending us a shipment I, I didn't read if it was every day or not but hopefully fairly regularly so children's mine is now level two um hidden graveyard again we need to make them pleased so shipwreck camp will we be uh, will be pleased We've got 100 wood coming in. So confrontation happens in about 10 days, which is not a lot of time. To get the rest of these upgrades done. However, we'll send them, we'll send them that. This is possibly the last page of stuff. 
to do so we could yeah let's do that as well for more wood because i think more would be very helpful and yeah what i'm gonna actually do this is on still isn't it so yeah i'll put that on to the wooden structures it's back to minus 50. what's our thing looking like that's fine that's fine advanced burners yeah let's do that it will reduce coal consumption that's good i think these have reached the children's mine they have yeah absolutely fantastic cool let's um let's think about this right i, I want to get the safe route up and running don't i so let's do that and then we'll do the other two as well when we can what's this again we need to help you rebuild they will be pleased okay this is <laughs> this is a little bit wild now turmoil oh no something's happened over there i don't know what though shipman has reached shipwreck camp i think maybe i've missed a trick here with doing mixed crews Mixed crews would be very helpful, but it's less efficient, isn't it? So, uh, cool. Advanced burners has been researched. So we're now in. Um, well, we're now gaining coal every day. Absolutely fantastic. That's on sixteen steel an hour. Hmm. Let's get these. Let's get these on the way, right? Get that safe route built up. And hopefully we can do this. It's it's very it's looking very unlikely, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, right? I need to be sending these out, don't I? For the wood, so what are these asking for? Yep, yeah, so safe route can now be built. So that's all good. I just need to send these to shipwreck camp. That's what we need to do. Come on, I just need to get. Just give me 30 wood. <laughs> uh, 30 food. There we go. 30 food. We'll get that one going. Get some more wood. Social structures. I don't know what that means. We won't worry about it. What have we got? 100 wood. 150 wood coming in. Then I think we can send, yeah, let's send that over for more food. And then I want to do safe route, safe route and proper houses over at children's mine, don't I? So let's do both of those. That's a good chunk of stuff happening. Absolutely fantastic. And we may, we may start on the... Let's, let's do that for some more steel coming in. And then we'll swap over to steam cores on that one. Ooh, so yeah, these guys are having a crisis over there. So we do need steam cores. I mean, to send a major shipment of food. Food is coming in. So I hope we can... Actually, if I put people in there... Yeah, if I put people in there, that will create the food... Best, like, like, it will create the food faster. I won't address people eating soup. Look at the situation. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm just a little bit worried about that children's mine not being fully upgraded by the end. Um, children's mine will be displeased. Displeased. Children's mine will be pleased. Do nothing. There we go. That's, that's what I like. <laughs> There's a problem over there. Do nothing. It's fine. So we'll leave that on for a little bit extra till eight o'clock. There we go. Let's get steam cores coming in now. Because we def desperately need that wood, right? I'll get these guys over to Gloomy Hills to start with, actually, just so they're prepared to build. Healthcare is looking absolutely fantastic. 
like as just as I said that as load of people got sick. But for minus 50, that's really, really good. Yeah, we're just waiting for, we're just waiting for a wood shipment, aren't we? Or oh no, we're waiting for food. That's ah, minus sixty. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Peter on there. Right, people are gonna start getting really sick. So I think we need Yeah, we need we need that. We need that. Oh we could put oh we could put a brazier over there. Put a brazier over there, that will cover the mine and the infirmary, so that, that'll be very good. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting nervous, I'm getting nervous. I need those two steam cores, that's what I need. Okay, there we go, we've got that. And I need five engineers from somewhere. Where are the engineers? They're all over here. So let's take them out of there. Oh, what do these guys want? Again, children's mind will be pleased. I don't know what's going on there. That's all good there. We'll leave it on steam cores for now. But I think we've got more wood. So we've got another 150 wood coming in. Six days left. I don't think this is going to happen, you know, but I'm glad we could help over there. That's fine. Maybe we need to think about getting these upgraded. So, yeah, I might. S I'll send those over actually. The borehole. They've been waiting for that borehole for ages, haven't they? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get that sent over. And that will hopefully give us more food every day. Okay, these are still waiting to build the safe route there. I don't know where else you can get wood from. There is nowhere else, is there, to get wood from? Unless I'm missing something. Again, we won't... Uh, yeah, we will We will do that safe route. And we can trigger the avalanche. It's all good, so we can secure it. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, glad we could help. Amazing, so... Shipwreck camp is fully upgraded. There's no more we can do there. I mean, we can send them. We can send them the food, but it's fully upgraded, so I don't know why we would. So we want to do the shaft expansion. Okay, we've got we've got more steam cores. That's fine. We will actually keep on. On the steam cores just for now what are these asking for no let them plan their time again keep them pleased <laughs> oh my god ah let's have a look actually we may have vacant beds yeah we've got 24 vacant beds so we can uh let's find an empty house or this one get rid of this one i can get rid of this one this will give us some steel back actually Every little, every little helps, doesn't it? Um, set up joint watches again. That's the, the pleased one. That's all good. Okay, let's go for... Just leave that on for another hour and then we'll go back onto that. So we can get the steel coming up. Four and a half days, really. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is tough, right? This is tough. I really want to fully upgrade this. So, helping hands. Four. That's what we need. Ah, saying that we need to send twenty people. So, hmm. Why? Like, I don't know, understand why we're not getting any wood coming in. Ah, no. Send them. Send them that. Send them that. There we go, so that's all sorted. They're still waiting to build the safe route. Oh dear. We'll send them to helping hands. That sends another 20 people. So that should give us some more. Oh no, it hasn't. It hasn't given us vacant beds just yet, but I guess when they arrive, they will. 
Um, Hot Springs Favour will be exhausted, but they'll be pleased. So we'll come clean and apologise, but we will sort them out later. Don't worry. So Shipwreck Cove is done. Hot Springs is completely, is so close. So I think Joint Watch is going to be the next one to, to do. Again, still still waiting to build that safe route. It's just that wood situation is dire, isn't it? I feel like you need to be hitting these trades all like all day, every day. Uh, shall we do? No, I don't think we'll do that just yet. I want to get. Well, I do. Let's do that, and then we'll do that. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll do Shaft's expansion, right? Good day, people. Good day, people. Let's keep going on and on and on. Let's do, yeah, let's do the shaft expansion. There we go. And then I think, I think we need to do the new pumps. What's happened over here? Nope, don't worry about it. You're eating soup for the, for the rest of the time. Just, you just have to deal with it, everyone. I think we're okay for temperature wise now. So we don't have to worry about any more heating things or anything. We've got two, three days left. What we got coming in, we've got well, I don't know what came in there, but whatever it was, we'll take it. Hot houses. Yeah, let's get hot houses done over here. Saying that we need to, we need wood coming in, don't we? Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Just a lack of a severe lack of wood. I think we may have vacant beds. Yeah, we got 24 vacant beds again. So let's get rid of some housing. We'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of that one. That does give us some wood back. Not a lot, but like I said before, every little helps. Cool, so that will give us more food. I don't think we need more food. Let's get hot houses done there. We don't need to trade for coal. We do need to do the other new pumps one. Um, old saboteur. He'll be pleased. He'll be pleased. Don't worry. Discontent is creeping up very high. Not a lot we can do about that. We've got wood coming in. Yeah, let's do some more wood. Don't need more coal. We do need steam cores though. Let's change out the steam cores. Tempted to put 24 hour shift on, you know, but let's let's just build that safe route and continue. Um da -da -da. please, please, please send replacements. Send replacement and equip the kids for their trip. I don't think we can do that. Let's just send replacements. Replacement workforce. We'll send them over. Luckily, we... Um, yeah, luckily we... Kept them pleased. So that's all good. Let's build that last... Let's build that last safe route, right? So that's all done. We must hold on for a couple more days. Discontent is off the charts. We'll move these guys back over. What we will do, let's sign fighting arena. That will lower discontent. Also, we'll just knock off extended shifts everywhere for now. This will lower discontent, hopefully. And then we will build, uh, we'll build the fighting arena. We'll, we'll build two fighting arenas there and there and 
Should be good. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to, to do. So we're going to get 100 coal every day now from the children's mine. Absolutely fantastic. So that's all good. And discontent is going down. So close to going all the way down. Have we got anything else we can do? I don't think so. Let's disband those. We'll get some stuff back. Oh, yeah, right, okay, right. Discontent has fallen. So back on extended shift, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, but it has to be done. <laughs> okay, we've got quite a lot of resources now, which is good. We just need more steel. Uh, so that's all good. Let's do... Let's do better healthcare there. And I will actually change that to that. Uh, we too are responsible for this. Hot Springs will be pleased. Just everything, literally, like, everything is our fault, apparently. So we've got 20 hours left until um, New London is done. Or oh, they're coming back, in fact. So yeah, New Londoners are coming. Do you need to get children's mine upgraded? Which is easier said than done. We've got vacant here. We've still got vacant beds, so again, let's um let's get rid of let's get rid of one, right? Get rid of that one. Give us a few more resources. Shipments reached children's mine. Children returned. All good, I, I think. <laughs> All good, I think. Could ask for more wood, actually, from from here. I think this is the problem I've, I've had, is I haven't been doing this enough. And that's because I haven't had enough food. Also, oh, they're starving. Oh, no, of course they are. New London have arrived. We must help them. Those poor people. We're just trying to make friends here. That's all, all we're trying to do. Of course, we'll help them. So, we need to think about it. So, essentially, we need to now consult all of the locations. Can you help us with New London? Um, we They owe us. So, we... Uh, we should be good. Cool. We now need to talk to... Nope, not shipwreck camp. We need to talk to the other one. Hot Springs. Let's see. Can you help us with New London? Whatever you decide, we won't deny it. Cool. So they will help us as well. Absolutely fantastic. And Children's Mine. Let's see what they say. We'll help you as much as we can. Sweet. Never mind. That's that's the benefit of having friends. Do have a couple of bunk houses we need to build, though. So put one there, one there, because there's a couple more. Well, New London has arrived, right? So we need to decide the fate. Answer New London. Let's go and talk to them. We have an answer. We will save you. <laughs> Don't worry. We're best friends now, so that's all good. Now, hopefully, everyone is going to say... Um, there you go, yeah, look, there you go. So, children's mine are going to give them some coal. These guys are going to send them workers. That's all good. And then these guys should be sending them food. Yeah, sweet. So, those shipments are going over. We do need to send a shipment of building materials over to New London. Which is steel and steam cores. However, we do want to... We want to continue with these upgrades, don't we? We've got four days left. Cool. So hopefully, ah, saying that, we... It's, it's annoying that we didn't actually manage to get the... Um, the, the things fully upgraded. I mean, we could do still, but it's going to be... It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Right, 
I'm going to move. I'm going to change over the steam cores because I, we do need a lot of that coming in. Coal is absolutely fine. That's all good. New law. There's nothing really else to sign, is there? Nothing, nothing worthy of signing. Maybe pub because the discontent is getting a little bit higher, but... Oh, look at that. Loads of sick people. That's because we're minus 60. It's fine, though. We're going up in temperature. So minus 50 now, so don't worry about it. Oh. So yeah, steam cores. I think we've got a couple more things to do here, you know. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna prioritize New London, um, and then we'll see, right? Because New London that is gonna be the one where, um, that's the main thing, right? I won't address this right now. Just a lot, a, a lot of stuff going on. I think what I think our problem here was was not trading for wood enough, and maybe not trading. Uh, yeah, I think that was the issue: trading for wood. So we've got four steam cores. I don't want to do any more research. I don't think. I don't see the point, unless we're missing something. Maybe the mixed crews would have been good as well, but. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you got this far in the video. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a good. Um, it'll be nice to, to try and see if this actually is possible. Is it even possible with the choices we made? I don't know. But yeah, let's prior, let's prioritize New London because then we can actually say we've completed it. So, right, let's move that over to that. We'll put the thing on for efficiency boost so right that is the shipment ready for new London try and get some more stuff coming in I mean I think we did a pretty good good job of us making friends right we've nearly 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 done those I am going to still try. I'm still going to try. In fact, let's put 24 hour shift on. Oh, the city is saved. Nice. Oh, sweet. Okay, we've done it. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to upgrade the other uh, the other settlements, but I think we can we can say we made some best friends right <laughs> so thank you for watching if you did enjoy it remember to subscribe and uh stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one